Okay, let's wait for some folks and put these no tips on while we're waiting. What do I get on here? Get our tips on while we wait. Okay, I keep losing everything. Hey, Robin girl. Hey, Robin, are you subscribed to a lady um, named Cindy Jimenez? There's Cindy. Hey, Cindy. I've been putting it out there for all the sisters to subscribe to Miss Cindy. Y'all, I'm, I'm cutting these down. They ain't staying this long because I'm waiting for PJ. She coming. Um, a stiletto pointer and a stiletto pinky. Because, y'all, I got these tips. Oh, thanks, Robin, darling. Hey, Riri girl. These things are long, but they are a deep C curve, so I'm not going to use them tonight because i got to see how I can function with them doodads. I, I meant to lay down for like an hour and take a nap, and it turned into like three hours. So I jumped up. On my life, babe. I jumped up and started getting everything ready and seen that PJ had messaged me and <clears throat> but I made it. Um on Amazon, Robin, it was like ten dollars. Because I was on Zule's page and I put them in my cart on there. And then I had got a couple of little things from Amazon. I'm gonna show y'all here in a minute after I get these tips on. <laughs> Mm -mm. I think my battery died. It did. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me. Hold on, guys. Let me get my hand in this lamp. Um, Yeah, I wanted them because they are like... Let me see if I can find one to show you all so you can see what the world I'm talking about. So, Zule calls them like a coffin stiletto, coffinetto. See how it's a stiletto, but it's flat topped. And I love... The way those look. I don't know. Babe, you see my glasses in there anywhere? <laughs> yeah, I don't know where my eyeballs are as I'm in here trying to do some nails. I can't see unless they're an arm's length away. No, I don't want them things. Them things give me a headache. Let me look around in here. There's so much crap on my desk, you guys. I got a little area. <laughs> I wonder, I hope PJ got the link. Uh, she'll probably text me if she didn't. I don't know how to. Hey, why don't you guys go on Instagram and hit PJ up and tell her I emailed her the link. Just in case she got, she's so busy. She's busy like me. And I'm trying to find my eyeballs while we at it, y'all. I'll be like, my own funeral. And I got some little pretties to show you guys. Ouch. I got that, and I got that, and I got that. I got these butterflies from Amazon, $7. And these flowers are different. There is a gray one. I was like, what? Get the freak out of here. And a teal one. There ain't a lot in here. Oh, man, I'm sorry. There ain't no little teal ones. No little pink ones. Well, there's a lot of gray ones and these, like, nude colors. I was, so I was hyped about that. Uh, and I got other colors of little ones, so that don't matter. We work it out. Where in the world is my glasses? Now, let me grab this spare pair, guys. One second. My bad. I had them this morning. These ones will get the job done. They ain't my favorite, but I can see. I can see that's all that matters. These butterflies, there's so many different kinds. And they're so freaking cute. 
Ooh, Olive Garden, Brittany. Yay. Uh, me and my best friend went to um, Applebee's for lunch today. She's the lady that was here with me. I don't know if you was here that night that um, she just got out of a cluster F. And she took me to my doctor's appointment. After my doctor's appointment, we hit up Applebee's for the two for 25. They got two new things on their menu. Look at that one. It, it was mashed potatoes. You know, they put the bacon and all that in it. Oh, I like that one right there. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, it was, you can get chicken or steak, but the chicken had a white cheddar Parmesan sauce on it. And, you know, it had like the cheese melted to that hot plate that is on and broccoli. That was so good. It was banging. I'm going to take my honey there. I'll check out all these tips out because I didn't know what I was going to do. There's PJ. All right, darling. Hey, girl. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Joseph, Mary, and the shepherds. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yep. my God, girl. I'm over here trying to take my, well, let me just hello to everybody. Hello to everybody that's here. Hey, Robin, Cindy, Free Ring. The game here. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, girl. Dude, I was like, hello, John. Um, Excuse my arm, y'all. Trying, trying to trying take to... these stupid nails off. Girl, I put them, <laughs> again. I, put them, I know. Well, I had put the, the pop off method, and then so I was like, okay, I know we're going live. I had a little bit more time, and I know. Remember the last time we had talked, you were like, file around the edges, file around the edges to get them off, dude. I don't understand what the heck is going on. I've never had an issue using this method uh, with the pop off. Like, are you using a different glue or or a different tip? This no, the the only no no everything is exactly the same. However. I don't know if hey, my base. Hey, Diane. Hey, Diane. I don't know my, sorry. Or hey, Latina. Hey, I don't know if my base has anything to do with it. Maybe you can tell me because normally I put it on my natural nail, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. This time I have see this. I put a rubber base on the bottom for my. I put the rubber base because of my natural nail. I'm having issues with it. Right to protect the natural nail. And then what yes. do you put on top of that? Then I put the 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 Zanist on top, which is my pop off method that I use. I mean, it's not even a whole method; it's a thing that I put. You know, I, I buy it off of, off of uh, Amazon, but it works. It works for me every time. This, hmm. I know it's I know it's gonna take a method a, a minute for you to see it because it's like there's like a lag or whatever. I see. So it. Um, what kind okay. of glue do you use? So and then I don't. I use base coat, like I always do. I hmm. always use base. I don't know what's up with that. I've noticed with me, if I use regular glue, or I use Zule's bling adhesive, which I ran out. I got to get some more. This poor thing looked like it been through the war. Oh, Lord, girl. I like to, so I put on, I usually put on rubber base, although I didn't today. And then I put on two layers of foil gel. Right. Here in between and a layer of base coat. And if I use Zule's glue or regular nail glue, like my CADS, it pops right off. If I use this gel glue, it lasts a little longer and it's a little harder to get off. But I plan on keeping these on for a couple of days and using my hand. I don't know what the smack is going on, dude. Like, what the heck? And it's like, I, I don't want to have to cut them off, but I'm going to have to. Because I, I thought I was going to be ready for, ready to go. I had like, dude, girl, I'm sitting here thinking like I'm going live at five, right? So I'm like tripping. I was on the phone talking dude. to... to to China and Latina, I'm eating a salad and I'm like shoveling the salad down my throat. <laughs> you got a whole another hour <laughs> to try to yeah to try to try to like hurry up and eat. And then I got the message from you because John was like, "Dude, aren't you supposed to be going live already?" And I was like, "Oh my god, what time is it? Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> oh well, that was before I made the salad. So then I'm making the salad and I'm shoveling on my throat. And then I get the message from you and you're like, "I went to and I was like, okay, something's going on. I haven't heard from Donna yet." And we're supposed to be going live in like 10 minutes. And then she, I, I got the message and you were like, okay, I'll message you in an hour. And I was like, dude, I'm sitting here choking on salad. <laughs> and I got a whole damn hour. <laughs> Swallowing your food hole. <laughs> I was doing the most fun. Girl, I laid down to take an hour nap at like 3.30, 4 o'clock mm -hmm. and woke up and it's like 4.30, quarter to 5. I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm running around. Trying to text you, trying to get all my stuff together. Like, <laughs> Lord have mercy. 
But the kids had left, so they normally wake me. I'll, I'll hear them banging yep. around, arguing, whatever. Right. And they were both down the street. So, oh, shoot. Went on, and the dog had her nerve to go in a cage and take a nap this time. Uh oh. That and the other time she went to fool with me. <laughs> Girl, you got messed up all too. the way around. <laughs> and I got Hello, all these. Hello, Clara. Sorry. Hey, sorry. everyone. I do remember you, Clara. How you doing? I know you weren't talking. I don't know if you were talking or not, but I do remember you. <laughs> mm -hmm, I'm oh, eyeballing this link. She, she came on the uh, the last live, I think. I. What do I? I'm just gonna. Have to Aha, look at there! I did that pretty damn good. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Eyeballing, cutting these tips down because I wanted more square, but I had these super long um, coffin nails. Uh huh. And I didn't, my other square nails that, my favorite ones, I'm almost out of them, but they were too long to go with the stiletto. Okay. Pointer and pinky. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't And then I got these. Have you seen these? I love these. Those They're are short, like, though. let me see. Uh, let me see, get the bigger Because the stiletto the that come in the ones, you know, the, the, you know that brand you like? Damn, baby, where'd you get those from? Girl, uh, Amazon. These are those ones Zule has on her site. She calls them Coffinetta or... Yeah, coffinetto, coffin and stiletto. So they're like flat topped on top. They're not like, oh, we get the little plastic nip off the tip of it so you can see what the world I'm talking about. But these are like, because I had them in my cart on Zule's. There's and, no punto, there's no point to them. Yeah. Right. And um, then I went over on Amazon and seen them for like $10. Be my luck on Zule's. They're not deep sea curve because these are a deep sea. And I'm like, I, I ain't like even going to try to fight with them suckers on no live. And. <laughs> <laughs> be them mess jacked all the way up and so i'm like nah so i got out these long coffinetto or coffinetto coffin ones i had and cut them down to squares so they the same length as the stilettos and i was eyeballing it i did a pretty damn good job you did a damn good job girl mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just eyeball did you did you happen to match them up just to see how how good your eyeballs are <laughs> after I cut it off, <laughs> it'd have been too late if I wasn't right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these butterflies I got from Amazon. They were like seven dollars, and there's a bunch of different ones. Let me see. Oh, that is so over. cool. Those are beautiful. There was like three packs for seven bucks. There's a couple of dang. Girl, shut the hell up. All three for seven or yep. seven each? No, it's all three for seven. Seven nine -nine -nine -nine. So about eight. But uh, are they still on Amazon right now? Yep. I'll put the link on this after um, we get off and I make it public. Oh, yes, I'll put the link in the description. And these little flowers, they got gray ones. I've never seen one that had the Girl. gray little flowers. I, 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 do, I, think, I want to say I think I have some of those. But I went Timu this last time. Um, not this last time. I got, I got stuff for my giveaway. But the last time that I went charm shopping, I went on a bow over. Like, I just went, like, bow, bow overload. Wait, girl. <laughs> Uh, you you have no idea. I did the most. I got like I don't even know. And then it, I I do this shit every time. Like I didn't even uh I try to like call myself editing my cart to make sure I got no doubles up in there. And I didn't even realize it was so many that I bought that was like those are cute. Those are cute. I got what them on Timo. These are flowers. Flowers. Oh, those are <laughs> yep. cute. I hadn't seen those before. I hadn't either. They got like little gold rims on them. And when you put them on the nail, they look like they're cupping upward. Mm -hmm. That is really cute. Those are really cute. I've, I have legit never seen those. So I love when I have, there's a find that nobody has seen before. Well, then I got <laughs> all these other flowers, but I didn't have a teal color. So I ended up using this funky, like light blue one with the uh -huh. ones I did yesterday. And this one had a teal. So that's why I bought it. Oh, shoot. Girl, your nails are absolutely beautiful. Did oh, you, did you, you get them off? The, the butterflies came off for you, right? Or they were on your left hand, right? Yep, let me grab them. No, they were on my right. Oh, or, they were your right. No, my left. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I did them with Dude, my Dude, they, they came out so good. Like, they came out really good. Thank you. Oh, and I kind of draw that damn butterfly. <laughs> 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 How long did it take you to do that? Um, The butterfly, I probably spent a good hour by itself. Hour and a half. Girl. Just for the damn butterfly. Now, gluing all the extras on there, the flowers and the bling. and Girl. The no, there's Even about more. three hours all together. I wouldn't bling know. takes me forever to get it just how I want it. <laughs> Let me see if I can bring in Zen a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not <laughs> the woo, woo, woo. There they go. Look at I that. didn't want to take Those them off, so but I'm like, beautiful, y'all. Hey. I didn't have are to work them. Are y'all looking? 
Open your eyes, I said. <laughs> what was that on? Was that on Friday? No, um, I know on American Me, I don't think he says open your eyes. Oh, my God. Ooh, I don't know what I've seen it on. He's one of the movies, and it cracked me up when I heard it the first time. <laughs> yeah, it's it comes out on American Me, but I don't think it's, he, he says something like, breathe, I say, or something. But there is a movie where somebody says that, open your yeah. eyes, pup, like, not puppet, um, I think they say that. Open your eyes, puppet. It's somewhere. Somebody got it. I'm sure somebody I don't know, but it's funny. I could have swore they said essay, but maybe not. Then I got these no. from Diane today, yeah. y'all. Oh, yes. I, I got her this oil. little bag. It's like a little tiny crown royal bag. <laughs> I do. That's exactly what I thought when I saw it. <laughs> it's only me and you, PJ. <laughs> <laughs> and I, Look, I and then the bottle's rainbow. like ombre rainbow. It's so freaking pretty. My friend's like, oh, I'm going to order one. Hey, yes. Hey, quick case of my cat. Which one? Oh, ahead. my God, girl. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'm sorry. The dog's Hello. chasing my damn cat. Now yes. I'm going to put you in a cage. We're at the, part, at the pool. This one is jasmine, and it smells <laughs> so okay. good. Okay, bye. Okay. I love the little I... otter with the red fingernails on the Shopify. That is so freaking cute. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> I ordered this one in Jasmine, but that was before, right before I ordered it. The day before, they made Pastor's Prayer. Yeah. Because I kind of gave her a little pushy push to that, um, that one with that, get started. Well, I, I don't, I don't want to put my foot in my mouth or say something out of whatever, but would that have something to do with something that you... Had well, because when that before Diane started, you know, she was kind of leery about doing it. I'm like, girl, go, 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 yes. go. Push, let me be the eagle mom and push you out the nest. <laughs> like, <laughs> the worst they can tell you is no. That's I mean, right. the worst you could get is no orders, Nothing. but That's come right. on now. You got to try. You don't know unless you try. That my That's dad said, Kate never could do nothing, so <laughs> do it. And this smells so freaking good. Let me go get the paper that says what's in it because. She okay. said it smells heavenly, and it really freaking does. Like Aww. I couldn't even figure out what I was smelling at first. It smells so good. I know. I got. I got. I know she went over there to go get her stuff. I. I I'm talking to chat now. I know. I ordered two I the papers. Here. I'm sorry. I had the. He puts a little card mm. in it that says what's in it, like the jojoba oil and all that. Oh, I don't yes. know what I did with him. But oh, it smells so I'm pretty sure. Hold on, good. Mine, mine might be in here. Let me see. I ordered uh, uh, oh. sweet pea and uh, jasmine. Which one did you get? Ja this one's jasmine. Okay, look at mine because I got this one. Look. Oh. You and could the crown royal. Okay. The crown royal bag. I love it. I got the crown. <laughs> I got the crown royal bag. This one, I believe, is. Um, God, is this a sweet pea one? I think I think I did the bigger one, sweet pea, and the smaller one I did the uh, roll the the um ah I can't talk, girl. The brush, the nail brush I did jasmine, I believe. I believe that's what I got. I Diane, mean, you guys what... haven't put um Pastor's Prayer on the have you put it on the site yet? And I got these. Look, she gave me these stickers. I yeah, I got stickers too. Dang it. And I was gonna I use them. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so check this out. Folks. I got it, girl. I got it. I'll read it to them. Watch out, Nyla. Put you I got the card. Today. If you're looking for the card, I got it. No? I was looking for the one for Pastor's Prayer. Oh, Pastor's Prayer. Okay, I'm going to read Sweet Pea. So this one says, it contains the following. Ho jojoba, if y'all see it, some people say jojoba, but jojoba oil, it's um, an antioxidant properties help to repair damaged nails so they remain strong and healthy whilst the vitamin E content provides essential moisture needed by your nails. Argon oil will moisturize nails and start to heal weak or damaged areas on the nails. After the oil is absorbed, the nails will be much smoother, which will make the nail polish application easier. Grapeseed oil helps effectively restore nails. Grapeseed oil also rehydrates and encourages and encouraging longer and shiny nails. Rose hip oil, the ultimate moisturizer, is great for your nails. Soothes unwanted hangnails, y'all hear that? And have your nails looking healthy and shiny. Olive oil, while it does not promote new growth per se, it does improve brittleness and reduce breakage, allowing the nails to grow to the best of their ability, to the best of their ability. Okay, y'all going to help me on this one. Is it Babasu? Babasu oil is rich in vitamin E, which is one of the main nutrients responsible for nail health. 
It works to soften cuticles and strengthen nails by providing them with an infusion and nutrient-rich moisture and then avocado oil. Uh, the potassium boosts keratin content, which strengthens nails, and vitamin E uh, gives nails a natural luster while encouraging healthy growth. It can also help nourish and soften dry, cracked cuticles. And that's for sweet pea. Okay, I'm good. Your, your turn. I found it. So <laughs> this one's jojoba oil, argan oil, grapeseed oil, rosehip oil, olive oil, babasu oil, and avocado oil. So I was about to say, let me see, hold it up real quick. Let me see. Jojoba, argan, right? Grapeseed, mm -hmm. rosehip, uh, yep. olive oil, babasu. So yeah, they basically have the same. So it's just the fragrance that's different. Right. I think right, they're right, right. exact. They're all. They all have the same oils in them. But then she she add they add the fragrance that that changes the um. Uh, but they smell like all. And these are so there. pretty. They're more little oh winter stickers, but a couple have butterflies on. Ain't those cute? Those are I was like oh so cute. I like that rustic look, dude. I love that one. I it's love like a little it. house That's very the... beautiful. And I've got but, the sunflowers with the girl that has the pigtails in the orange hair. I that love the cool. smell. Oh, girl. Oh, I can't smell, I'm sitting here. I put it on when I first opened it. And I'm just sitting there sniffing mm. my fingers like the bitch on um, Superstar. Was it Superstar? Dude. Jesus, Jesus Superstar. Uh-huh. <laughs> I put it. Look, I know you You can put it. It's, I mean, I'm rubbing on my cuticles, but I put it right here, too. Look. Yep. Yep. I sure did. And behind my ears. <laughs> yep. And then you can put, I mean, girl, it's oil. It's oil. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. But the smell. This is sweet pea. It hey, is Chris. absolutely amazing, Mama. dude. Mama then, Elle's. Oh, hey, Mama Els. Hey, and Chris. What's up, Chris? Mama, Mama Els said, hey, y'all fishes. <laughs> she <laughs> says you, she left work. She used to want to say later, Someone bitches, but word. she couldn't Inter say it. So she had to say fishes. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fish? <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm going to file these cuticles, or well, around this cuticle band down just okay, a little so bit. Okay, so I'm going to do something very unorthodox right now, girl, but I have to. Because earlier, I took my kids to the pool. It's like right here across the street. And I did, I totally forgot about the time we were going live. So, and I knew once I remembered, I was like, oh my God, I think Jonna reminded me or that. Yeah, let them, yeah, Jonna. So I, I, I told him I'm going to drop them off and I'm going to be going live. So I have to run across the street real quick and go get them. I will be super duper fast. I promise I will not take long. Oh, go ahead. I got one question before you go. Go. So you know how I did that one nail with the uh, the polish and instead of peach acrylics? Yes. Yes. So should I use the colored acrylics or should I use all polish with the um, nude color acrylic and clear acrylic? Should I do them all that way or should I just use the acrylics? I'm going to I'm gonna be honest. I think what de depends on, on your time frame or whatever because I know... Well, I mean, it depends how you lay it on your acrylic tube. It's obviously going to be faster to use the gel method, right? But if yep. you have the color you're trying to achieve with the gel method. Because yeah, I got all the colors in the gel. Uh, for the uh, acrylic, I have everything but the peach. That's right. Okay. And that's why I did the one thumb. And you couldn't mm -hmm. tell the difference once I got them done. No, you either. can't. No, you absolutely cannot. Because um, I mixed God. the pink and the teal. And that's I'm like, totally hmm, I think I'll do the gel today. Yeah, I, I think I mean if you're trying if, to get it done, son. Yeah, because I, I can be, be slow as Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is fast, girl. It comes and then and I use this um, bad and bougie that's I've got paper all over it or bad enough. <laughs> it's their version of bad and bougie for the yeah. uh, nail bed and clear acrylic. Yeah, I think I'll do that because I was thinking about it and I'm like, well, that would be faster. It, it is because you know you think about all you have to do is just lay the polish down, right? You know what I'm saying. Uh, yep. put your not even the not even the um. Are oh, you talking about a Frenchie, right? So you lay down your nude, or, or is it an ombre? Ombre. Oh yeah, girl. You throw that polish down, and then uh, ombre with the with the acrylic, and then add that clear on top. And boom. Yeah, that's, that's it. What You're I was done. Thinking. Maybe you done. I was looking at the set I did, and I'm like, why does it look so different from the inspo picture? I'm like, because I didn't matte top coat it. I shiny top coat it. So today I want to matte top coat it. <laughs> I get it right, Donna. Get it right. <laughs> Dude, you can do it any way you want. <laughs> I wanted it because I just love that look. And I'm like, what the world? It just 
wasn't looking I, right, and I'm just in there looking. I'm like, oh, she matted it, and I'm like, yes, <laughs> I know it's like it's like the controversy oldest time, but I definitely love me some matte nails. Like I'm a matte person through and through. I I think I just not that I don't like the top, the shiny or whatever, but if I can put matte down and it looks it looks good, I'm gonna matte it first before I put before I put a shiny top coat on it. I, I generally don't always end up going shiny, and I, yeah, I wanted I, well the the decor like the lines and stuff on top are shiny. On right. top of the mat, I love the way that looks. Yes, that, me too. When you lay down the base and it's matte, and then whatever you add, whatever gel polish you add on top is it stays shiny. So whatever you know, your base is matte and your top is shiny. That's a really, I mean, I I do too. I absolutely love the way that looks. And I was thinking okay, about doing maybe a three D flower or two. So I'm like, yeah, I better do the gel polish. That'll be faster. But I wanted to. Get your opinion before I decide it, because I can't decide. I'm very fickle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I and I'm, me, I'm the type of person that that does not make decisions. Like I'll be throwing it off on the next person, always in a relationship. I'll be like, "What do you want to do?" And like if somebody tells me, "What do you want to do?" and I'll be like, "Um, I don't care. Whatever you want to do." You do. And they'll be like, "Well, I'm, you decide." I'm like, "No, you decide." <laughs> same. <laughs> Today, Angela's like, "Where you want to eat?" I'm like, "Girl, I don't care. Just pick somewhere. Whatever you got taste for." Because I, could, yeah, whatever. I'm. I'll eat. Yeah. Quiet, you know. <laughs> I think that's what I think that's what makes it like that because I can legit eat whatever. Like I'll eat anything. I don't care. Just so what yep. do you want to do? So if you're the like from and and with my with my kids dad, he's picky as hell, girl. He is picky, picky, picky. Like. He for real. Oh my god, I got so tired because he has this thing like where he just wants to eat Mexican food, Mexican food. He's never had Italian. He's never mm -hmm. had Chinese. Like I'm not lying, girl. I I asked him like you've never had like not even like Chinese rice, like not even like pasta, like you know what I'm saying, Alfredo, anything. He's like nope, nope, never. Like oh hell no. He don't know what he's missing. Crazy thing. Nothing. I I the first time he ever tried ribs and 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 um not steak ribs and um. Like brisket and all that was with me. I was shocked. Like your whole life, dude. All you've been eating is Mexican food. He was like, "Yep." <laughs> I'm like, "No, dude." Uh -uh. He Sean never had never had a roof when I met him, and I'm like, "How you ain't never had no Reuben? <laughs> Where you been hiding at under a rock?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me check on the. Let me check the chat. Come on, make sure. Hello, Irene. Oh my goodness. I'm so hello, sorry. Hello. I you. I'm sorry, I miss you. Uh, let me see. Let me go back a little bit. Catch up on the chat before I go. I'm I'm gonna run across the street real, really quick. But yeah, I just go ahead and give business. I know it's okay. I was trying to take my nails off before I went. My daughter was calling me right now. I don't know if you heard the phone ring. It's just like calling back to back. And I was I've totally forgot, girl. So I was like, quit calling me, quit calling me. And then I was like, oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> I was just calling because she wants me to go pick her up. I'm tripping, dude. Okay, honey. One time we was leaving the park, and I'm doing a head count because it was so many of them. I'm like, hold up, we forgot somebody. <laughs> <laughs> when I was over there still playing basketball, we had to pull back in. Yeah, mm -mm, girl. So let me see. Okay, okay, cool. Because this is the term doing for me. When I didn't see, um, I got this. I got that as soon as I said how you say. Okay, hold on, let me fast forward. Fast forward. Did a poly gel set on my toes to get ready for my cruise? I'm going on for my mom's birthday. This is Brittany. All right, you going on a cruise? I'm gonna yes. go on a cruise. So bad, girl. I know, right? Um, Latina says hi to Cindy. Cindy says love your giggle. Like my giggle, PJ. <laughs> I have a really. A, it can be one of those you have to either love it or hate it because it's an annoying laugh. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it makes me so, laugh. <laughs> Donna, she's like, uh, yes, yeah, right, Robin. Thank you for uh, reminding me, Donna. How is your son? Um, and then Cindy says hi, Latina. Latina says have fun, Brittany. Cindy, go hit the like button, girlies. Jonna says, how fun, Brittany. So we're all talking about Brit Brittany. She's going to be doing the cruise. Um, and then Robin's wishing her uh, safety and to be have fun. And then Otter Claws. Well, if we got Donna's approval for the scent, I will make it official on the site. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. Okay. And then Latina, I mean, I'm sorry. Brittany says, Latina, I can't wait. I can't wait. We're leaving on March 20th. Girl, I bet you can't wait. Oh, my God. I would love to go on a cruise, man. Um, yes, y'all be kind and hit the like button to support the content creator. There's only two likes and there's eight people really? in the Thank house. Thank you, right Jonna. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, Jonna. So then Diane says, uh, juicy. Yeah. Caught them before me. Or you caught them before me. I guess somebody came in. Uh, Chris, Chris says, yay. Have some fun, Brittany. 
And then Latina, she says, Robin, oh, why you didn't make him pancakes? I don't know what happened. And then Robin was like, I'm watching on TV and phone like a security guard. I know you do, girl. Robin be on it. And she does a, a oh my God, I can't think of the word right now. I totally forgot. Uh, moderator, there you go. And then Brittany says, I have a special breakfast planned on the cruise for my kids and they don't know yet. But it's a it's a Dr. Seuss. Oh my Ooh, goodness, that sounds. They're gonna so love it. Cool, they're gonna be so excited. Oh my god, they're gonna they are they're gonna they're gonna absolutely love it. And then uh, uh, Cindy, she's saying nice to nice juicy to Robin. Uh, Diane's laughing. Jonna's laughing with Robin. Irene says she loves the nails. On uh, Iron too, they were absolutely stunning. And then Ooh. Robin says Latina, he probably didn't need them. Latina says hello, Irene. She'll be saying hello to Irene. Jonna says, Brittany, that's amazing. I hope you and you guys enjoy it. I hope you put photos up or shorts uh, or shorts super or something. That sounds super awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, hello to Irene from Diane. Latina says, everyone needs pancakes. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Robin, she's saying hello to Irene. Jonna saying hello to Irene. Cindy says, damn. Mm. Robin says, Latina should laugh. Latina says, Brittany, y'all are going to have so much fun. Cindy, she says she's hungry now because everybody's talking about pancakes. Yep. <laughs> Jonna says, a uh, content creator. And then Latina says, Cindy wants pancakes. And she laughs. Cindy says, yes, please. Uh, Robin laughs. Jonna says, stupid autocorrect. <laughs> please smash yep. that like button to support the <laughs> content creator. And then Jonna says, uh, welcome in, everyone. And then Robin says, some troll came in wanting pancakes, PJ. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? He straight up came in asking for pancakes. <laughs> oh, I'm done, dude. Okay. My son, y'all, right. he ended up with influenza A and B, which they Ooh. said is very rare. I guess A usually comes in at the top of the season, oh which is the rough one that kicks your ass, and B is mm -hmm. not so bad. But he's got both somehow. Yeah, I know, John. I gotta go. I know. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying. Yes, go get your kids. Go get your kids. Woman. I'm go gonna get go kids. get a quick. I'm gonna be back. It's two. Is it two shakes of a lamb's tail or two takes of a tail feather? I say that too. <laughs> Which one is it? Is it two shakes of a lamb's tail or two shakes yep. of a tail feather? It's two shakes of a lamb's tail. Shake your tail feathers. A Tina Turner song. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an oldie too, right? Yep. Because I I remember hearing it on uh, like on some. Y'all remember that movie Hairspray? Yes. And in the movie Hairspray, that one girl, Amber, I think that's her name, she says, they're asking what song you want to hear. And she goes, Shake a Tail Feather by the Five Do Tones. I don't know if that's really <laughs> a band or not, but that's the first time I ever heard Shake a Tail Feather. But I know Tina Turner has her version. Um, oh, hello, Chrissy. She said, Chrissy comes in. She says, Hi, everyone. The scoops are back. The price went up. I just ordered mine. And I'm yeah, not going to lie. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Donna, girl, I'm sorry. I know you're going to be like, PJ, what the hell were you thinking? But I totally went in and ordered a color scoop. I thought about scoop. it and I'm like, They'll probably just see my name in darkly. So what's the point? Oh, I know. So I, I want, I'm kind of playing like curious card right now. Two shakes of a cow's ass. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go now. I'll be back in a minute, y'all. I'll be back. Go, 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 go. Chitty chat with the chat. I will yeah. be back. I don't do good with keeping up with the reading, y'all, but I peek up and see something and speak back. I got got to be glued on my hand, and I've washed my hands like 15 freaking times today, and it's still there. I put it on my eyebrows when I'm doing my eyebrows, and I end up putting it on my hand so I could put it on my eyebrows. can't believe it was still there. But yeah, somehow that child with his asthma having ass ended up with both of the influences. So he got um, albuterol, which I already had albuterol, but it's so funny. I gave him his nebulizer and it looks like a dinosaur because it's for when he was a kid because that's the extra. Because I got one when I had pneumonia last year and a, a lung clot. So oh I God. gave him the dinosaur. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> that was fast. No, I gotta go. I need my phone. I forgot my phone. Oh, girl, if you don't hurry, them kids gonna be able to be mad at you. <laughs> she is so funny. I love her. Her laugh makes me laugh. She has got the cutest laugh. I love it. When somebody has a contagious laugh like that, it's the best. Hey, Bree. Oh, I know. I. Yeah, he's getting better. He's just like when he it reminds me when he was little, like when he get but having an asthma attack, which generally only happened when he got sick. 
he wouldn't be able to like walk around because when he got up to walk around, his pulse ax would drop and he'd sit right back down. So hopefully he doesn't lose his job. I don't know if he went today or not. He didn't call me. I told him he better take off for a couple of days and recuperate or it's going to be harder for his body to recuperate. But, you know, he's grown. I can't tell him. I got all I could do is my mama thing and he can listen or not listen. That's on him. My other son, woo, doggy Lena, get out the way. We was both watching the mail today because I had my um, oils coming. I got to grab a sponge. And he ordered a air freshener for his car that's got his girlfriend on it. He got lighters with her picture on it. He's got, now he's got the air freshener with her picture on it. I'm like, well, you know, at least you're not some cheating jerk that's trying to hide the girl. <laughs> Thank heavens, because his daddy ain't worth a plug nickel. <laughs> his real father. His real father was the stalker. That did not act like that until after I gave birth. And then he lost his whole ever-loving mind. But it was so cute. There she is looking in the mirror, taking a picture. And I'm like, oh, he was like, mommy, be watching the mail. My um, air freshener for my Jeep of Alexa is coming today. He had it sitting here because he wanted to surprise her with it. Like, you're so sweet. What a good boy. I am having a great day. I'm just trying to read a little bit, y'all. I don't know, y'all. What do y'all think? Like, everything in me wants to order that damn scoop and try my luck again. Like, because honestly, what I think happened, and it does not make it right in any way, shape, or form, was right after I ordered it, um, they uh, said sold out. So I'm like, they sold more than they had product to keep up with. And like my logic screams, don't you dare. But then the nail tech in me, the, oh, I love everything nails, just wants to get a decent one so bad. And my son was like, well, mommy, if you want to try again, I'll give you half. Because I was lightweight embarrassed even showing them kids what the frick I got. Like, man, this is some bull feathers, but because they helped me get it last time. They put in on it 10 here from this one, 10 from that one, 10 from this one. And then I had like $35. And this time I got some shop cash and I have a code that's good whenever. So do y'all think I should give it another whirl? I think, yeah, the, the only thing not back in stock is the $20 ones. Hey, Eileen, babes. PJ ran to get a kid. She'll be back. And I've had a couple people like that and they back in stock and I'm like, oh, I know. I got an alert the second they went back in stock. Because <sighs> one thing I have noticed when I when Iris packs my orders, when her name's on the thing, I always get a shitty scoop. Anybody else, I don't. But what And what are the chances of me getting hurt again? I was like, I'll put my son's name on it. It'll be Dimitri McGee. It won't even be coming to no Donna Basin. Because I'm sure they don't remember the dog on address. Let me see. And I don't know if I want to do blue or green. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should do blue and green. Pink and yellow. And purple, but I've already put the peach on my thumb, so we got need four more colors. I don't know which one I want to use. Maybe I'll do the pink and leave the purple out and do blue, green, pink, yellow, orange. Loco! <laughs> PJ's on here texting us. <laughs> hey, now it's on MJ, Miss Muddy. What's up? Y'all got to help me, y'all. Do I order another Super Scoop or do I just not even bother? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm told y'all I'm fickle. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to put yellow and pink on these two. Baby blue on the pinky. Ah, mother sucker. Mm, cheese and crackers. Uh, woo. Got him. 
order it. You think I should, Latina? Oh, Latina, did you see the first one I got? Girl, they dogged me. They dog. They were all dogged my ass. They dog walked me. <laughs> they put my ass on a leash and walked me. I, it was like a half a box of dust and no armrest, no glue, no happy gel, no uh, cup, no good size acrylic brushes. All I got was one size six. Like I got next to nothing. I got a bunch of garbo. Order it. I think I'm going to. I, I mean, you know, I'm like, just try one more time, one more again. If the kid's going to help you pay for it, why not? And what's the chances of them just coming back in stock of me getting the last scoop garbage again? I don't think so. So I, I guess I will. Matter of fact, I'm going to when we get done with the live. So that way, because I knew it last time. I'm like, man, I got the last one. And I knew I did because as soon as... I paid for that sucker. It says sold out. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get crap. Like something in me just told me I was going to get Garbino. But then I'm thinking, you know, maybe I'm just overthinking it. And surely to goodness, a corporation like that would have enough product to keep up with their own sales. But, you yeah, know. I mean, this time I'm getting it early in the game. So. I love this green. This green is so pretty. It is a dusty pastel green from Madam Glam. My new Madam Glammy box comes tomorrow, and I have to go help my friend. She's going to see her attorney, so instead of cleaning her house, I'm driving her to her attorney and helping her do a little packing. Mm, I keep bringing that down too far. Let me cure it and then put a little more on and just bring it up a little bit further. All right. Her scoop at a super scoop. Yes, she did. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just order the damn thing tonight, y'all, because I'm sitting there and I'm looking at it today like, oh, do I kick myself in the hind end for doing this or do I just go on ahead and do it and take my chance one more time? I guess I will. Everybody's saying do it. Eileen's saying do it. Jonathan's saying do it. Latina's saying do it. Uh, all right, y'all. All right, y'all. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Because I would be mad if I... <laughs> be mad at myself. Because I, I want that cup. Y'all know how girly and frou-frou I am. And everything in my no rooms. Pink and bubbly and happy, happy. And I got little gnomes and cabbage patch babies and teddy bears and little busts from France and just diamonds and girlies stuff all over the place and i'm like i really want that armrest i really want that stupid cup <laughs> so i can put my damn monsters in it and everybody some people got like all these great brushes and things and i got oh garbage <laughs> it was garbage i mean literal garbage i was like i really like i i'm not a crybaby I cry when at other people's sad, and I cry at other people's happy. But for me, myself, the only thing that really makes me cry is the Holy Spirit. Like I could be mad as a hornet. I could be sad to the ends of the earth. And if it's all just my crap, I'm not much of a crybaby. I open that bitch, and you got teary eyed. I'm like, oh, the, what the fuck? I got a bunch of crap and wadded up paper. Like, I spend my money on that. God don't like ugly. And you done robbed a disabled woman and a pastor? I hope God strikes you down. <laughs> I was mad. I was Old Testament in that moment. Woo, 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 woo. But I do tell people all the time, God is your vindicator. Vengeance is the laws that don't belong to us. And it really doesn't. All right. Now, I think I got this the way that I want it. Well, almost. I just jacked up a little bit. I'm trying to think how far down I'm going to bring my ombre. Not quite that far down. Y'all, go somewhere. I'm live, and I'm not doing this with you two. I will tear off in both y'all tails. Go on somewhere. For what? Well, then get about this room. Bye. You ain't trying hard enough. If you wasn't messing with your brother, your brother wouldn't be messing with you. And you better off dealing with your brother than you are me. I was 
Bye. <laughs> Y'all wasn't in here to wake me up three hours ago. Don't come in here now. It's dead. I, look, y'all, bye. I don't know what to tell you. I can't even find a secret for my lamps. And here y'all come. A yellow, pink, blue. Let's see. The yellow on the middle finger. I love this yellow. This is caramel corn. It's D&D. &D. Don't they always just come in at the wrong time? I know. I Because my plan was to get the super scoop and then get a color scoop. But... I got the crappiest super scoop ever in the world. And I got gel polish galore. So I'm really not pressed for the gel polish. I don't want the gel polish as bad as I want the damn super scoop. But I don't know, though, because he's got those reflectives and the space kitties. Might be safer for me to just order a color scoop. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to be like, Lord, help me send your child in the right direction. I don't know what to do as usual. No, I pray about everything. They say pray about everything. I said, the Lord probably get tired of hearing me. Because I sure do. Had a little doctor appointment today. I've been having these headaches that just last for days. And that was going on. That's what was going on when I had the strokes back in 2017. Like, it was always in the same spot. It would hurt for days. I take Tylenol or ibuprofen or something, and it would take just the edge off of it, and then it would come back with a vengeance. And it's not been as bad of a headache. Now I gotta put another layer on this yellow because I don't want it neon. I want it pastel. Hey, not you, now. Now I'm gonna go upstairs. Go upstairs. I ain't asked you nothing. I does not require a response. If I said little boy and asked you a question, then that means you get to say something back. However, I did not, so shut up. But I don't want it lemon yellow. I want it pastel yellow. Sorry about that, y'all. You can't. They only let you buy one. Oh, man, they want you to pay hella. Oh, Miss Marie, you know what? I think PJ uh, said she wasn't going to use hers. I appreciate that. Y'all are the greatest. Did Miss Marie, did you see my box? Was you on um, PJ and Jenna's live the other day? Right, Bree, and that's that. That's that shady business. That's that shady business. Now these are from Timu. I got these last year, and it's a very pretty pastel, but it's not as opaque as like D and D and Madam Glam and stuff is, and it's not much of a difference from this. Caramel corn, candy corn, caramel corn. But it's a little more pastel-y. So I put the, the caramel corn down and then this on top to achieve my color. Um, oh, honey. I'm, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all here in a minute. I'll take you over there and show you this little raggedy-ass box. Y'all might not be told. Matter of fact, let me just do it right now. Well, let me cure this first before I tear it up. It was like Eileen seen it and PJ and John have seen it. it. It was just, it was sad. <laughs> it was sad. Then we're going to use Nail House's Baby Blue. I love, they got great polish, y'all. They got great polish. Whatever I catch them having to sell, it's on. And Angel Wings. So I've used Dusty Pastel Green, Angel Wings, Baby Blue, Caramel Corn with a little Timu on top. I don't even think that one's got a name. I think it's got a number. But it's the uh, Sweet Nose. You know, the Sweet Nose products are pretty good. Yeah, it's CO1. And Peachy. Peachy, Peachy. All right, let me take y'all over here and show y'all this raggedy ass box. Here I Look at my catastrophe. These are bling boxes and mess. These are the nails, the sunflower nails I'm working on for. I know, I got to do the other hand. I've been working on forever. See, I got gel polish coming out the yin yang. So that is not like a necessity, but go check this out. Empty tip box, extra long empty tip box, which I'm not mad about because I need that. The, the stickers. This damn thing from 1994. Are you kidding me? That thing's old as me. The damn tips to go with it. 
I did forget to show you guys that it had these five gel polishes the other night when I showed it. So I sent John and TJ picture next day. Like, I forgot to add these five little funky gel polishes. These two inks. This little set of inks. Oh, I should have used this little regular thing. Eh, whatever. These and a size six, um, like acrylic brush. Those, one pack of these. I got one pack of the big white wipes. Oh, wait, there's another gel polish. I already have this one, so that's a dupe. One pack of these. Another freaking dappin' dish. And these acrylics. And that's it. Y'all, I opened it up, and it had this little crap in here. And a whole bunch of stuffed up uh, paper wadded up and stuffed in there to fill the box. It was horrendous. I'm going to use this for a raggedy mother barfing nougat. And I met, I emailed them like, what the world, y'all could have just kept this. Uh, orientation locked. There it goes. I'm like, you. Got, it looks like somebody literally walked past the trash can. So with the Dirty 30, you're saving like 680. Oh, yeah. So Dirty 30 Hi. is the um, code. I'm if you can use Dirty 30, because I know he was talking about he didn't want us to be able to use the code and get the scoop at the same time. But let me to give you all a little something, something. If you can't use Dirty 30, use HK10. No, you can use Dirty 30. I use Dirty 30. You can use it on it? Yep, I use Dirty 30. All right, cool. Well, I was asking back, them, people. should I take I'm my back. chances and go ahead and try again because it's at the top of the cell and not the ass end of it since Ooh. I desperately wanted it? <laughs> So when I when I put this when I put dirty thirty in, uh, I didn't see the, the I, mean, I can't remember the whole thing, but let's just say for the color scoop, it was like what um fifty something for the color, right? Yeah. Okay, with dirty thirty, it was forty nine. Was it fifty something? I thought it was sixty something, sixty five. I'm sorry, you're right. It's sixty. You're right. It's sixty. So it is sixty or sixty five, something like that. And then plus the sh shipping or whatever I think. But when I put the dirty thirty in, a color scoop is is forty nine and some change. So that ain't bad. No, it's not. It's like John figured it's like two dollars a bottle. Because my plan was to get that super scoop that go around, and then to get the color scoop when they came back in. Right. Well, now I'm like, do I try my hand again? Because when I, I was telling them when I ordered it, it went out of stock as soon as I paid for mine. I'm like, oh, man, girl, I'm gonna I'm get crap I know everybody, because I ordered the last one. You know, everybody is telling you on the on the thing to or go for it, go for it. Right. I'm gonna tell you like this: if you're gonna do it, Donna, you need to do it now. Don't wait till the last minute because. Well, that's what I was, said. I'm gonna do it tonight if I'm if I'm gonna do it. And yeah, because I showed them my gel collection, and that's not even all. Let me. I'm gonna show you, PJ. <laughs> it was either it was either the timing or the person or a bit of both. Honestly, I like told the them, person like, that I packed it, my package is crap every fucking time god yeah. forgive me and my terrible language but every time that heifer packs my stuff it's, it's oh my dirt. god donna the language yeah well y'all know I, I'm, I'm a little rough around the edges so girl shut up uh, we don't we ain't judging ain't but you know what when i minister to somebody that's like trapped in addiction or their husband's beating the hell out of them and they right. hear me talk to them the same way they talk they relax girl. and they trust me who you telling? I, you know, I hit the streets too. You know that, and I do the same thing. I talk to people like mm -hmm. I would talk to, like I do here and anywhere else, because it 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 helps them understand that I'm not I'm not a holy roller. I ain't holier than thou. Like I have issues, just like the next person. I am a flesh. Look I am a people. sinner. I sin on the daily. Well, because when I say I'm a pastor, they they look at me like they 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 just squeeze their ass cheeks tight or something, and I'm like, right. I'm not that type of pastor, honey. I'm right, as fucked up as you are. <laughs> That's so, why a lot of times when you see them pastors that are all tatted up or they got the piercings and the whatever, it's easier for them to get through to the youth. Honey, our they, pastor preaches in his do-rag, his Harley Davidson shirt with no sleeves, his right. combat boots. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Look at this. Just, this is my gel collection because I'm like, I really don't need to get the gel scoop. Like, I'm not pressed about it because look oh, at this. Oh, wow. Nice. Donna. Now, you I know like I'm a young nails so I got all this young nails menagerie. And that's not okay. I'm sorry. Half of it Mama, uh, Mama says the, the color scoop is fifty five ninety nine, but that's that's regular price, right, Mama? Yeah, I got gel for days. Put a week on it. 
Oh. My desk is a disaster. Why well, I thought it was this, Look at this. You can't find the damn desk. I was <laughs> reading it. Why are you responding to me when I'm reading it, Jonna? Ugh. Oh. I was Adjusting literally enough. talking to Mama when you gave me your little text comment. When you use the code, it will cover the shipping. Um, yeah, go get my right purse. Around uh, because I know with doing the scoops, he's losing a lot. Also, that's why he got it the way he does. Well, yeah, he, he bucked my MF and self. So Dude, he's but I was on that box. I still want to touch on this. I was talking to Mama already. Okay, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> No, yes, I see that. Way. So, I, hello, Marie. How you doing, MJ? <laughs> hey, before I forget to say it again, our girl Cindy Jimenez, I'm trying to get her subscribers up so she can come over from um, Instagram and do some collaborations and lives and stuff with us over here on YouTube. So, if you're not subscribed to Cindy Jimenez, what is it, 7161? Y'all go hit that good sub button and do what we do. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, just, uh, just, uh, just a little heads up. No big deal, Donna. No big deal. But what? Wait, what are you getting? What are you getting? Who's it for again? You, Chucky, and and. Chucky's not going. It's just me and Damon. Um, what y'all getting? Thank you. This is what for you and Damon. What? Two bundles are like eleven dollars. Two bundles of what? No, they're not. They're four, three something each. Four dollars. That's eight. Go here. I want my change back. Thank you. I want my change back. Thank you. Appreciate ya. <laughs> Oh, they be trying to hustle me, these kids, all the time, girl. Mm-hmm. They fin what they call finessing you. Girl, why she say a a bundle is eight dollars, ten or something? At McDonald's, those things are three something. Get out of my facial. Get out of my facial. What kind of bundle? You know, like a double cheeseburger bundle. It's like a oh, right, burger right, right, fry. fries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they like three something. Get out here, go. Trying to trying so, to hustle. Answer me this, because I've never used um DoorDash. Riddle me this. So I you go on this uh, site this morning because I'm like, damn, we ain't getting no bread. Ain't none of this house to eat. The old man was taking a truck to go to work. My friend was taking me to the doctor. <laughs> and um, I'm like, so I go on there and I'm going to just get something from McDonald's. But and you know, the first dash, when you first use it, is supposed to be zero delivery fee, right? Uh-huh. My little yes, sausage that's true. muffin meal with a coffee went from $6 to $11. What? Right. And I'm like, what your freak? Are they charge me for the cream and sugar and the coffee? So I took the cream and sugar off. And I'm like, if the delivery fee is zero for the first order, why in the hell is one sausage muffin, a hash brown, and a medium coffee 11 flipping dollars? So I'm like, man, damn that. Uh -huh. Sean had to go all the way to the east side because the store up the street didn't have, well, he leaves at 545 in the morning, but they ain't had no bread. So he had to go to Dairy Mart to get me a loaf of bread. Dude, what? That's why I'm like, I don't understand. Like, they charge you more when you DoorDash it. If the delivery fee was on there, I would get it. Yeah, but right, there right. was not one. So I'm like, um, yeah, no. Damn that. Sausage <laughs> yeah, <muffin."> no. <laughs> <laughs> Sean laugh at me. I'd be like, yeah, fuck that sausage muffin. Uh -uh. Nope. They keep it. Yes. <laughs> well, here in, I'm just responding to Cindy real quick. They used to have, um, they, hey, Bramble. What's up, Bramble? Bramble what's up, girl? What is up, B? Oh my goodness. Um, I love these colors. I'm trying, <laughs> trying to read real quick. Um, uh, going back a little bit. Bree says he's playing it smart. Bree, I'm so sorry. I did not BBB. -B -B, big boss Bree. I am so sorry. I, did not <laughs> I wasn't here when you came in, I don't think, but hello, boo-boo. Bree girl, um, and I tried to go find that music and I couldn't find what you was listening to, boo-boo. You gonna have to send me a link or something. You're talking about the the which one? I don't know. I was watching her one morning as I was getting dressed, and oh, because like, she got oh, that like, she got that copyright, not non copyright, right? Yeah, well, it's like contemporary gospel, like Christian, gospel yeah. rap and stuff. Like I listened to, girl, I cried my lashes off. I had to get dressed again. Right. <laughs> it's like I told y'all, the Holy Spirit is what will make me cry, and I'm mm -hmm. like, all my eyeballs out over here. And she told <laughs> me, you know, just go on YouTube, you know, no copyright, but yes, I wasn't finding what I was hearing on her. Story. I found it. I, I found it before, not 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 with what Bree was saying, but I I've, I've ran across them before. When you put in copyright, uh, um, hold on, no, uh, what is it called? Copyright free or? Cop well, that's why I went to no copyright, you know, music, you go. YouTube music or whatever. But I didn't get yes. the contemporary gospel like the gospel rap. Have y'all seen that girl that does the gospel rap on IG? 
No. Yeah, she, she, blew up. she blew up. She blew up. And she, oh my right gosh, she's right spitting. I loved it. Um, I'm sorry. I totally forgot to, to finish what I was saying. But you know, I squirrel so my bad. bad. For Cindy, uh, her last name, When whenever in, in, in uh, Spanish, you know, Hispanic, whatever, uh, J's are pronounced like H's. H's. Yeah. So Jimen Jimenez. 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 Mm -hmm. Jimenez. You, yeah, sound so, friend, you sound so uh, like, girl, like you speak Spanish all the time. You said that real good. <laughs> well, I when I worked at McDonald's, I was the only white person in there, and it was one black person. Everybody else was Spanish, and my girls was trying to, because I'd be like, I don't know what the fuck you said. And Jacqueline, uh, Jacqueline would get tickled at me, and she was like, how do you say it? I'm like, scissors. <laughs> and she always helped me try to figure it out. Right. And we had a Jesus and a Josue and, you know. <laughs> I love when people say Josue. It sounds so cute. <laughs> Could they be talking to me? And I'm like, you know, I don't know what the hell you just said. And they're like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, wait, there is actually a Josue. Isn't there actually, for any of the, for any of my uh, Spanish speaking people, where there's in in our in our uh, names or in culture or whatever. There's Jose I'm, and there's Josue, right? I think. Right, I think there is, isn't there? Yeah, Brie, I'm gonna try again, babe. I'm gonna try okay. that. Happy so I said free Christian music. I said, um, oh yeah, dude. I, I do like uh, I I do like uh, I, I do of course I like contemporary, but I do like the um, rock that they have. Mm -hmm. Some uh, Christian rock because I listen to rock music. For any of y'all who don't know, Dude, I know you, you gotta can't look up tell Crowder. by listening to me that I've listened to rock music, but I'm very much I listen, I do listen to all types of music. I don't want to seem like I don't, but my, you would my like Crowder, PJ. Oh, I do like Crowder. Yes, yeah, that's who my son went to see the other day. Yeah, I know. I remember I was telling you. I know, isn't it? I think I could be so wrong, but I'm pretty sure his name is Jimmy Crowder, right, or something like that. Something I, like that. I know he's I, like um. Have you heard that song Run Devil Run where he's got the old schools and it's like the down in the um like the the bayou where there's alligators and yes, yes. Down like that and like one 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 devil the devil's supposed to be driving one old school car, he's supposed to be driving the other one that's more like a contemporary gospel rock, but then it'll have like a little rap thrown in there every now and then. Mm-hmm. Um Raise Your yes. Head Weary Centers. That song has the uh the rap in it. Yes, I know when you said his name, I was like, I know, I know him. I don't like I'm not a I'm not the kind of person that knows songs by words or even artists. But if you play it, I'll be like, Oh, yeah, I know that song. I love that song. You know what I mean? Yeah, my I husband memorizes I, every artist's name and he'd be like, Oh, such and such. And I'm like, mm -hmm. Dang. Scoot over. Uh, what's it called? Um, Shazam. <laughs> Move over Shazam. I Did heard you're... that. So you remember the Shazam movie with Sinbad in it? Oh, yeah. Though there was an app called Shazam. And if you didn't know a song, it's just like when you Google uh, music. If you don't know the name of a song or the artist, you can you can go to Shazam, which is the same thing you do when you do with Google. Go to Shazam and put the, put the speaker to the song or whatever, or mm -hmm. sing it or hum it or something. And it'll tell you what the song is and, and who sings it. That's um, what. Oh, I, girl, I had to think about what the world I was thinking about. Baby, the movie Shazam. Bring me a cigarette. Light it for me. Um, yeah, they. So, um, you know, you get those things and it talks about the Mandela effect. Oh yeah. Uh huh. They said you. No, I just need. I got some minute. I need you to light it for me. I ain't gonna light it. Um, yeah, they please. said that you cannot find that movie anywhere. Like it never existed. Only that newer Shazam. And I'm like, nah. I know good and damn well I've seen that movie with Sinbad in it. What? That was a 90s movie, but I was watching one of them things on YouTube talking about the Mandela effect, and they said, you cannot find that movie anywhere unless somebody's just hoarded it and kept it. The the Are you serious? Yeah, that's a heart attack. <laughs> I wonder what happens if they, there's a reason why they get rid of them like that. Like Yeah, they, I don't know. Is there something on there that we shouldn't know about, government? Well, they were just talking, right, they were talking about how the Mandela effect, and I'm like, what else was it? Like the Berenstein Bears? Oh, my goodness, yes. Is not Berenstein them. or Bernstein. It has changed to one or the other. I can't remember which one it was supposed to be from the jump. But I think I thought it was Berenstein. Yeah, I thought it was Berenstein, too. It's not oh, Ber now, Berenstein or whatever. Now it's Berenstein. But that's one Shut of the up. Mandela effect things, yep. So, and they're not the same or what? 
No, like stain, you know, S T A I N. Now they spell it S T E I N. It said that it's always been that way. And I'm like, no, it hasn't. Oh, like, wow. Us 90s babies were just crack babies or something, and we don't know what the world we're talking about. <laughs> you know, apparently we've been smoking too much or been around it or something. <laughs> My, in the 90s, we was too damn little to be smoking on anything. <laughs> well, that's true. I thought you meant, you know. I mean, I had a little weed even back the then, but you know, it didn't get deeper than that. I mean, I graduated in 94, so I was in high school, but. Damn straight. Oh, I definitely smoked me some weed in the nineties. But girl, no, I I was, I was probably smoking in the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> probably, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> but I also stopped smoking. When when did I stop smoking? I think the last time I ever smoked was when I was like eighteen years old, girl. And then I, of course, by that time I had already graduated to bigger and badder things. And then they took over, and it was like weed. What? Smoke what? Uh-uh, you better give me that hard stuff. Yeah, see, yeah, I was always terrified of, like, we did X a few times, me and my old man together and right. stuff like that. But I told you what happened the one time that I tried to do a line with my sister. My eyes were uh -huh. shut I'm allergic to it. So that was never an option. Yeah. And I couldn't drink much because I would always just be sick as a dog. And what fun is it to just be sick having a toilet all night? Now, when me and him would go out after we got together, I would. But when I was younger, I was always the pothead driving everybody home because they was all lit. <laughs> I told you all the story about me on acid going into the bar, didn't I? What, um, why does that sound familiar? Like I've heard Girl, that. I walked in, hired a kite, and it was a midget dancing with a man that had his arm amputated up to the elbow. Right. And he bumped into me, and the wa he had his watch on the stump. And when he bumped into me, the watch fell off. Oh, okay. and I spent the whole night in the bathroom just laughing, laughing and crying. I was, my friend was like, come on, water baby. It's <laughs> time to go. Every time I started coming out, I just started laughing again. Uh -huh. It was the watch falling off because I'm like, well, why in the fuck did he have his watch up past the elbow on the stump in the first place? That's crazy. I, it was just, it was the acid. It was the acid. And I didn't, I wasn't a person that, because I'm a downer type individual. I'm already hyper as shit and running on all cylinders all the time anyway. So you don't want to give me no upper. <laughs> no. It's all bad. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't, I'll pass. I don't know. I never, like, unless I had it, well, I can't say never. There was a time when it was, I could, I was, I was cool doing it by itself. But most of the time when I did uppers, I did, I did combine it with my opiates, my, my, uh, you know, my drug of choice or whatever. I just never really. I mean, I did do it by myself. I guess I did, but it wasn't like something I enjoyed. It was weird. Like I didn't like it, but I did it. No, so you weird. You use these peach to use these, babe. I just got me some, girl. Oh, Let these it. are the schnitzel bam when you uh, doing around that cuticle. Yes, I literally just. I'm holding right here. I just got me a, a pack of these. It's, it's a shot I glass. I was putting some like in my giveaway because they they came like a three hundred. They they come a hundred in a bag. So I put. Because I'm doing the two giveaways. The one is for the beginner and the other one is the extra. So I'm putting a pack of these in each giveaway. These are really good, dude. Yeah, I, I keep them in there. This was a shot glass my friend gave me, and I keep them in there. Yes, because I have these too. Like the pink, you seen these pink ones? Yeah, I've had the pink ones, but I like them pointy ones better. I No, let me tell you something. The, these are actually way better. They are they are way better. Um, I think I still have them. I think so too. Because... On the pink ones, while they are they're, they're just as small and they clean good, the little cotton tip comes off. Yeah, well, and, and they're round. Don't. I like the point on these. right, and they are a little more rounder. You're right, and th these have the point to it. So yeah, but um, well, I'm you know, I think whatever to get these giveaway boxes out to you. And um, so the girl that won the press ons never hollered back. So I'm going to do just a random little giveaway for a set uh -huh. of press ons. Um, like she never contacted me on Instagram. I don't even know if she followed the rules because I never really out again. Yep. Because, okay. So I told you I was getting that little black cobalt from my friend. Yeah. Well, if she could find the key, I can ship him out probably by the end of the week. If she can't find the key, I got to pay $56 for the dad burn key. Oh, shoot. Cause I guess in cobalt, all the ignitions are the same, but to program it per the right. uh, safety or theft, anti-theft safety, whatever the freak it's a $56 yeah. flipping key. Dang. Are you I'm like, bitch, you better go and find that key. You gotta take that key with you. <laughs> well, Sean and um, his dude had had it when they were working on the car, and he gave it to her, let's enter the mat something, but now she don't know what the world she did with it. She said she's going to go home and tear the house up. I'm like, I'll come over and help you tear the house up. We got to find that key. 
<laughs> I, these boxes are sitting in my nail room floor and they need to go. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I know I know it's not like a, a a rush. I'm not I'm not in any hurry. You take your time. Mm, but I am. I was shocked, girl, because I mean, you know, even when I've had for, for one of my first giveaway at the other uh, content uh creators giveaway she had, I was so shocked. Like I've never I've I'm not that person. Yeah, I don't know. Win I, you. I've never, <laughs> I never win. <laughs> I have tried so many different types of giveaways, whatever. And so I got to the point where I was like, I'm just not gonna enter giveaways anymore. <laughs> no yeah, point. What, why bother? <laughs> have high right. And so I remember that time I was like, ah, I'll enter. Everybody else is entering. And I won. I couldn't believe it. I well, legit I put cried. On that little willy do hickey thing, and I could not figure out how to get it in the video. So I'm like, you know what? It just is what it is. I'm going to film me spinning the daggone thing. And right. the first person that won the uh, third prize, the nail uh, press ons, I didn't know who she was. I mean, I've seen her name here and there randomly a couple of times, but right. she's not a regular. And I'm like, oh, Lord, come on. I want some right. I know. I know. how. The, I, I told you, the, it, it's we all fam here. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like you have that in you where, hey, Eileen. Oh, my God. I didn't say hi to Eileen. I'm so sorry, Eileen. Forgive me, dear. Forgive me. But Eileen, you, or Eileen, uh, Eileen yes, Latina and to... Sean would get along good. They said she always wanted a burger. We can go eat anywhere and he eats a freaking burger. <laughs> Ooh, MJ. I want to apply some pizza, Marie. Oh, my God. Ah. Um... But I, um, girl, what the heck was I saying? How we oh, want one I of the sisters. Like, I, <laughs> I legit feel like I, I really hope because you know what happens when you have the giveaways, they come out the woodwork. The light ain't yep. even on, girl. PG, turn the light on, damn it. People that never support in any way, shape, or form. You, but, but you, but you know, it's a giveaway and then you put it out to the masses and it's the yeah. rules. And, so you can't, there's nothing you can do about it. You can't be like, this is the giveaway for just my nail family. Next time right. I do that, if that's what, you know what I'm saying? But Well, I told um, Tether, I was thinking about it, and um, yeah. I, think I forgot how I said I was going to do it. But it was right. going to be something like you had to comment on X amount of videos for like three months and like, so that way, because you're you a writer, you're not going to comment on every video for three months. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to be able to keep up with that. That's like that's so put on true. A if if you don't follow, you don't follow. If you don't, if you're not subbed for the for the fam, and you're, you're not, not going to do it, and so mm -mm. then they'll give up and they'll yeah, exactly. Thank they you. They won't be man. able to I keep up with it. All moldy girl, I know. Because like I was literally planning on calling it a giveaway for the writers. Period. And but that's why that, right. That's <laughs> why I had done that. Girl, why do I keep doing this? I'm, I'm turning this thing on without putting the light on. Um. That's why when I did my extra credit, I made it a personal question that you have to have seen my videos to know. And I'm and I'm let me tell you something, girl. Even people that have watched me, it's still a little like uh maybe not not difficult, but I mean it made it a little it was a little bit challenging. But I remember when I had initially talked to Jana, I was telling Jana and Latina about how I wanted to do my giveaway initially. And I, I know Jana had done we, we it, it looks like we did the same thing because we had talked about it yeah, but John um, made me think i had to really think because she was talking about liking danny phantom and stuff and i'm like nah but that ain't it that ain't it i know it ain't it yeah no no because she used the word anime but what she likes is a cartoon but she did say yeah. cartoon though she said anime yeah. or cartoon or something like that well i remember yes. i ain't gonna burn it out but i remembered <laughs> no yeah yeah so so we had talked about it and i said you know what girl this was before we even had gotten to doing our sub our giveaways I said, then when I do my giveaway, I'm going to make it more personal and I'm going to make sure that it's something that you have to actually watch the video to see, you know what I'm saying? And I know she did that with hers. I totally missed it too, but she didn't, like I gave everybody a heads up, watch the video with your eyes because you've got to see the secret, you know, the, there's right, a message right, right. on the She did the same thing also, but she didn't, you have to actually just watch it. There was no heads up that, that Girl, she I had told you, I had to watch your video like four times because I was doing nails. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, I went, I, I like, I drifted off twice and I, and I still, but I rewound it and I still missed it. I was like, what? that's not there. She took a screenshot. It's right here, PJ. And I was like, you didn't <laughs> tell nobody to watch the screen. You got to give people heads up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I heard you say, and I'm like, man, I ain't been watching. I've been listening. And then <laughs> someone would distract me. And I'm like, well, I got to go watch. I watched like four freaking times before I could comment. <laughs> yeah, dude. So you and but I told her I said it really should be something personal. Like I think it'd be so much better. Like if you watch me over time, there's things about me that you know that you should know, hopefully, right. or you picked up on. And that's why I had done that extra credit. I figured if some if anybody watches me, and I was surprised because let me tell you something. 
MJ, she's a new sister, right? She's mm-hmm. fairly new. She was the very first one, aside from Jonna, because we were on the phone talking about it, and she told me over the phone, and I was like, wait for the stupid giveaway, but yes, you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she was the first one that commented, and I was so shocked. I actually cried. I was like, um, because I really did. I'm about to, Why am I such a low poo-poo face? I cry about everything. Dude. I'm about to cry again. Oh, Lord. I thought she was new. <laughs> She's a new sister, right? So she, you think mm-hmm. that she wouldn't know. She was the first one that commented and the first one that got it right on, on what my extra credit question, which is if you'll only know if you watch the video and you listen to me, you hear me mention it in several different videos. But Miss Marie's I, a writer. Like, you could tell. She'd be oh, on, please, she's girl. Johnny on the spot. She's there. Mm-hmm. Yep. So she made me cry. I read her, her message and I was like, I cannot believe this. She's like legit, like wow. And then of course other other you know people were coming in, but it's totally understandable if you don't know because how can you expect? This is how I trip, dude. How can you expect? There's so many of us, and there's content coming out all the time. I'm so behind, I can't catch up. You know what girl, I'm saying? Like, I'm right there with you, babe. Ooh, I'm right there girl, with you. like how do you do that? How do you spread it out? How do you, uh, you know? So I remember one time I tried like go to my subs, start from the bottom work my way up and watch a video, 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 video. You know what I'm saying? I tried doing that and you can't ever finish. Cause I just got out. to the point where every day I pick somebody and I sit there and watch and comment right? And and, <laughs> because I can't, my, exactly. well, you're like me, our lives are so hectic. Mm-hmm. It's impossible. Yep. I'm telling you girl. So what am I a good do? time for I'll me is when I go to the it. vampire clinic because I'm there for two hours. <laughs> and I'm, I can't get up. I can't get distracted. I can't run away. I'm strapped mm-hmm. to the machine. So I can sit there and consistency, consistently, consistently, right. I can talk, listen, and watch videos and do my little one too. Like yeah. I was trying so hard to keep up with commenting back when people sent comments. And when my son car went bananas and all that happened, and then the women, like ministering to women, especially women in heartache, is very time consuming. Oh, gosh, yes, girl. Like, there's times I'm Great up on the phone all in the middle of the night because one of them couldn't sleep. They woke up from a nightmare, and I got to get up and talk to them because I would want somebody to get up and talk to me if I was all ziggity-boo. Right. So I'm not going to say no. I'm not yeah. happy about it, but I'm not going to say no. I know. Yeah, I totally understand. I get it. it. It's just, it is, but you can't, you, you know, you can't never just turn your back. You can't never just mm-hmm. turn a blind, turn away, and you have to be there. But it is. It's extremely Depending on what every, what what they're going through, you could you find yourself spending you know quite a bit of time. And well, then, you know how heartache is. No, I didn't. It's like feel all this it's like the worst withdrawal, plus the worst flu ever. Right, combined. Mm-hmm. It's just okay. misery from hell. There's no explaining it. It's just horrible. I was trying to explain right. to my mother what withdrawal was because she would kept asking me about my uh, sister, my blood mother. Well, why right. can't she just quit? And I'm like, Mom, it's not like Shoot. that. And she's like, Well, what's it like? And it I'm like, only. I said, Take your worst heartache, multiply that times ten, and then right. take the worst flu you've ever flu, had and right. multiply that by ten, right. and that's withdrawal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and you, I mean, and ten is putting it generously, because, right? Mildly, because you're about to ooh, jump out your own man. freaking skin. It's it really depends on how long you've been using, how much you use daily, if you're going to be going through stronger or harder withdrawals. Because there's been some days that I thought I wanted to die, and I felt like I didn't almost. And you you do feel like I just want to die. I yeah. just want to die. Like I can't handle this. I can't, especially. Oh my goodness. Especially when you don't have the funds and you have to get up and go get you something, you know, like go make a way to make a way. You know what I'm saying? Right. Dude, I'm not about to knock my mom over. I keep... Girl, the other I last weekend, I think it was one of the guys that, um, because I didn't know what withdrawal was. I had never been on anything like that, and it was doctor prescribed that they told me was non narcotic, non habit forming. So. I just decide one day, oh, I better quit taking all these little mm-hmm. pills. I'm probably killing my liver. So when the withdrawal came, I didn't know what the freak was wrong with me. I didn't know it had anything to <laughs> you do with it. thought you had like the flu or something, right? I thought I was dying. Sean the kept trying to rub flu, my yeah. back and try to, you know, relax me. And I'm like, stop, don't touch me. I'm about to lose my mind. In and out the shower. <laughs> Finally, at three o'clock in the morning, I went to the ER like, I'm dying. I don't know what's wrong with me. Right. And the doctor comes in and he was like, do you use heroin? And I'm like, no, why in the world 
would you ask me that? Like, mm -hmm. what does that got to do with the price of tea in China? And <laughs> he was like, well, are you on any doctor's prescribed medications? And I'm like, yeah, and I pull out the Xanax, the right. Tramadol and the Gabapentin. And he's like, did you recently mm -hmm. stop taking one of these? I said, yeah, the Tramadol. He said, how long ago? I'm like, eh, about two days ago. He was like, you're in full blown withdrawal. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, get the fuck out of here. Because <laughs> when the doctor offered me something for the arthritis, he was like, you're covered in arthritis. What do you do for pain? And I'm like, I suffer. It's been that way for a very long time. Right. He's like, oh, well, we could give you something. My family has a history of alcoholism and addiction. And I'm like, no, no, no. No bikes, no perks. I know what that's going to turn into. And I know me. I'm going to like it. And it's going to be a problem. Uh huh. And oh well, we could give you Ultram. It's um non narcotic, non habit forming. In 2013, it was. Yeah. No, it's smoky because y'all are burning the house down. Crack the kitchen window. Um. Sorry, guys. Yeah. I'm trying to light me a smoke. Um. And they gave me. It was. It, it's funny now, but it wasn't funny then. They gave me um, a milligram of Ativan IV, and then they gave me a prescription Ativan. I get home, and I took the Ativan. I got into bed probably at daylight. Well, you know, at daylight, that's when that stuff starts wearing off, and you could fall asleep. Well, we've always kept a deadbolt on our bedroom door to keep the teenagers from stealing shit. Right. And Damn. somehow, Donovan was only like 18 months old. He got locked in there with me, and Sean had to... Them to beat the door down, take it off the hinges to get the baby out. <laughs> oh, shit. And I usually sleep super light, like if the floorboard creaks my shit. eyes. Open. <laughs> like, where are you going? What are you doing? But I was out. I was done. Yeah. I'm like, never, ever, ever, ever. Like, I quit smoking weed. I quit doing everything. I'm like, my cigarettes and my coffee are the only demons I have left to deal with. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not trying to get rid of them anytime soon, although I know I should, but. Oh, uh, my, my friend finally got her response back from the uh, doctor for about her lumps in her breast. Oh, did she? Oh, Lord, today she was like, girl, they said that they're non-cancerous, but they, then it turned around and said that her tissue was so dense that they couldn't get a good view, but it they deemed both of them, uh, what is it, benign. So. Oh, good. Oh, wow. For that. Okay. That's and they good. said what took so long was they was comparing her mammogram to the one she had in 2023, 20, 22, and 16. Well, they went all the way back to 16, I don't know, but they did. Yeah. I was like, well, oh. tell them next time, uh, do a good job at terrifying a person. Oh, shit. That shit had me worried because I know that when it takes longer to get your results, that's not a good sign. Oh, that that I know we, we talked about that right we touched on that just a little bit that's yeah. true though it, it's very worrisome it's worrying like when you haven't heard nothing and I know some people we we tell that too like hold on I can't open these things with my fingernails no news is good news is not always true good news yeah <laughs> right. just like ignorance is not always bliss bliss right <laughs> sometimes we must know we must <laughs> like Especially that, sitting around for three days. Well, because when she had the lump removed last year, they put a little clip in it to show where they removed the tissue from. Mm -hmm. And that's where it was hurting at. And she was like, dude, this is hurting like, it, she's an RN. She's like, this shouldn't be hurting the way it's hurting. Yeah. But she's the one I told you guys also hypersensitive. If a dude breathes under the wrong way, she gets a bacterial infection. Dude. Like, she's hypersensitive. So, like, hold on this Damn, dude. I don't know what the hell to do. I'm trying to find a third color. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I am so excited about doing this right this time and doing the matte and not the shiny with my goofy self. Should I just do blessings? Theo or... says bueno. God is good. Let's just do food coma. That's all right. I, I oh. might need it. Well, thank you, Cindy, because I did not know that. Now I know that. <laughs> ah! I totally hit my leg. Hit my shit off. Ouch. Damn it. Oh, dang it. Having issues, Peach? Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I, I hate when that happens and I hit my, um, because once once the tip comes off, it, it peel, takes off my peel off base coat. So I have to do it all over again. <laughs> I sure hope Angela finds that key. Y'all be praying that she finds that key. Okay. Because I already got to buy a tire and I'm just going to put the battery from my Lincoln over into the cobalt. Girl, mm -mm, them tires are not. 
I like, I don't know what happened between 2000 and, you know, 2020, but like these tire prices have like really gone up. Well, and it's when it's a common size. It's ridiculous to find a good used one. That's true. Yeah. Like around that, here, we have places where you can get a decent used tire for 40 bucks. But if it's a common size, you could chalk it. But yeah, that, yeah, that is true. But you know what? I hate those same thing with the battery. Like there's places where we have used batteries. Where you can get a used battery just like you can get a used tire. But it sucks because they might it's not get a dead cell. Like it's not necessarily, you don't know if it's still really good or you can tell by the tire you can see it right you're right you can tell the battery by the might end up with a dead cell tomorrow but it doesn't mean that it's not there there ain't like little uh issues with it that you can't always catch you know it's do you have tire. a rule king by you pj no i've never even heard of rule king oh man they got decent batteries for like what baby like 50 60 bucks oh wow batteries at rule king you can get a mm -hmm. decent one for like what 50 60 dollars and they got a lifetime warranty. Oh, really? So if the mother sucker dies next year, next winter, you could take the thing back and get another one as long as you're yeah, no. Girl, I mean, I have to go through like not lifetime, but I have to. I go to like Walmart to get my batteries because they're probably like reasonably priced. And then I ha it has it has it has like a, a what a two year warranty or something like that. I think that ain't bad. Which is not bad. It's not. It's it's either two or three years, something like that. And then, you know, usually, usually, if there is an issue, it'll happen then. But, oh, uh, hey, Queen of Nails. All right. Before I forget Hello. to tell you, Paige. Come on I, in. Pull up a chair. Grab a seat. Get a drink. And mingle amongst the folks. <laughs> I um, put in an order from, uh, what was it, Honey Secret Nails, Honey Fan? Yes. Oh, dude, I forgot to check out. Oh, my God. Did you already do that? Yep, the only one that I got that was eleven was that green. Oh, uh, you know that's so funny because that's exactly the same one that I ordered. That that was eleven. <laughs> it's and then I put nine. a few of them princess that? colors in there were all five bucks. Right, but did you see that and check out though? It's not eleven. It's nine. no, it's like nine something. Yeah, right, yeah, right, right. girl. They even I have more to off. check out, dude. I, I still have them in my cart, and I've got to check out. Yeah, you guys on Instagram, me and PJ happened upon a good sale the other day. Oh um, yes, honeys. Honey fan, honey S, honey's with an S, honey's, honey's. nail secret. You gotta secret. put the S in or you can't find it. Honey's nail yeah. secret and click on shop under one of her pictures. Yes. And there's a sale where they're like marked down from like, I think what, 17 to 11? Yeah, it, it's, yes. And then the pink one, there, it's her like her, I want to say the princess collection, but yeah, it's not a collection. It's all her princess pinks. They're for $5 right now. And then the ones that are marked down from 17 to 11 are coming out at nine at checkout, I believe, right? Yep. And the top so If y'all ever heard 50. of the Honey Honey Fan, Honey Fan is a brand, it's a nail brand. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of Honey Fan, but um, you got to see that. Just when you go to Honey's Nail Secret, go to her page and check out that application. Look at the the consistency, consistency. Of, oh man oh. we're on the phone talking and looking and we're like oh look at that oh there's a sale <laughs> for real it was it was it that was it it was over i'm like popcorn <laughs> <laughs> i'm like yeah oh, i'm not gonna pass that and there's so many different colors and shades of pink and a couple are like nudie so you could use them for like covers the top mm -hmm. coat I've heard is fan freaking tastic, and it's six fifty marked down from fifteen. Yuppers, it don't do me no good to hit a freaking sale. Which clear to use, dude? I'm stumped here. Secret Nell Affairs um got a thirty percent mm. off sale right now on their gels too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know who's clear to use. Um, and I love Monica and Stunna. All women know. ran business. I don't see. I'm gonna use the what you call it. What are you doing, PJ? Any who's? And I'm asked you. What are you thinking of doing, Miss Lady? No, no, I'm trying to figure out. I don't know which clear to use. What clear? Well, that's what I'm saying. What kind of set are you doing? Oh, um, it's just just a, a little neon pink and blue with with some nude and these uh, decals and capped. Oh, those are pretty. Yeah. What shape is them? I can't see. Okay, so there's there's numbers and letters right here. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, butterflies. Tiny I like that shape of butterflies. Those big butterflies, I love those. Yeah, these big butterflies and small ones. And then we have the, the small flowers, uh, hearts with the cutout heart. And then you have whole hearts, tiny whole hearts. 
um, the circles the, with the little cutout dots, mm -hmm. uh, stars, and then uh, solid stars, cutout stars, and then those four pointed sparkle stars. stars. Yeah. Oh, those are pretty. So I don't know what to do. Girl, I'm I'm a little I'm a little like I don't know yet, but right now I need to work on getting my my, my base laid out. So well, I know I've went butterfly bananas. So I know, but I don't want to do. But I know <laughs> I was trying to think. But then I don't want to do hearts either. Do so a I'm mix. Like stars, do like some and stars, hearts some hearts, and some butterflies. Flower. There you go. I was mix I was gonna up, go man. just really left field and do letters and numbers. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're just gonna have alphabet <laughs> soup on your nails. I mean, I would have to spell spell something out, I guess, and that's not a bad idea. PJ, no, but I'm not going to do that right now though, because that's a little too. I need to hurry up. I want to get these oh. D's. I'm going to go see if I can find some on Timu because Dude, um, I what I see them at on Daily that. Charm, they had these D's that are. I had them once before, but I don't remember where I got them from. And they're like cubic zirconia, like luxury charms. Yeah, because I rock me a little D on my nails in a minute. I'm going to use the Reconca clear. I know it sounds crazy, but I am. I, I, yeah. I, I, I love Reconca. I do love Reconca, but I'm like, I have, I have dynamic. I have, uh, B, Lom. Um, I have, um, Drea's. I have acrylic ears. I have, um, yeah, I need to get some stuff from Drea's. I haven't got nothing from her and I want to. Drea's, uh, her, they're seven seventy right now for her, but they're they are one ounces, but still, this is Drea's right here. I'm gonna use her Victorian rose. What is her uh, the name of her site? I don't I have uh, trouble. Finding uh, it. Dream Nail Supply, but go to IG and look up her page, Drea, because I keep every time I Google it, it won't come out. But okay. if you go to her page, uh, Drea, her, Drea's uh, IG page, her mm -hmm. link is there, and you can just catch the link into her to her site. But her Right now, her acrylics are seven seventy for a one ounce until she runs out, and then she's gonna re up and and bring in a new collection of uh, browns, I believe she said, and Ooh, um, so and then go back to regular price. So you bring my wallet because I need some too. Okay, let me let me stop messing around here and get started. Man, I'm trying to get um, this ombre together. I guess I can buff that out down there. Although my okay. money's getting funny. <laughs> just unzip that thunder bag. I try to clean it out, but it just seemed like it's just as heavy as it was before. <laughs> I go my crazy. purse and my wallet. My poor little wallet stuff to the gills, too. Oh, it's got a change in it. Raise <laughs> <laughs> a ton. Uh -oh, I got this daddy. daggone song stuck in my head. Honey. I feel like the yeah. color blue. You know what I need? You got change? I need a little mini spoon or something. Oh, oh shit. Shit. Mm -hmm. damn it, bro. Because that's all I got, and I'm trying to make it scratch. Yeah, look at this. This is ridiculous. What happened? <laughs> it weighs uh, a ton. Dude, you sound like me. I'm telling this you. It's like 10 pounds. Down. And my poor purse is stuffed to the gills. I forget what it was for, but he got me the matching coach wallet and purse. And my purse is like about uh -huh. to bust the zipper. I keep cleaning it out, but it just seems like it's just as fat when I get done cleaning that out. Like I got uh, shit. <laughs> that's that's called you call yourself cleaning it out because I do the same thing. I call myself cleaning my purse out, and it's exactly how I everything is still in there. It's just organized. <laughs> yep. And then if I take something out, I'm gonna end up needing it tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? That's why I stopped doing that because I'm like, oh, I got it in my purse, and then I opened it up like, damn it, I took it out. <laughs> I think it's. I think it was our anniversary, and I told him I said, you know what? I want a bag. I want a designer bag. I'm like, um, there you go, because. I lost 55 pounds and I get, and since I've been disabled and can't work three jobs, yeah, I get dressed okay. every day, even if I ain't going nowhere. There you go. People's because always like, why are you all dressed up? Because I can't. Because you like, gotta be. I ain't walking around here looking like a bag of money with a raggedy Walmart purse. I want a nice purse. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Not a bag of money with a purse. I am a cheapskate. If I can save 10 cents mm -hmm. on a sale, I will fish around for 20 minutes on a site. To get it for 10 cents cheaper. <laughs> mm -hmm. I totally understand. That's understandable. And I'm always I, the one like, $60 for a purse? Are you freaking kidding me? I could buy four purses for that. I know, I know. But every <laughs> once in a while, every once in a while, you have to be let to, for somebody to love on you and splurge for you. Like, you have to. I know, because I'm not name brand at all. I'm not a name brand person. I've never been. Like, I just yeah. haven't. And, and it took me a minute to get used to, because I know, like, my kid's dad used to buy me, like, well, back in the day, it was more like, you know, where people use coach more or like 
right. Michael Kors or whatever. And so he would always, he, he bought me like the shoes and purses. And I'd be like, no, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah. no. I'll never <laughs> no. own a Michael Kors, nothing. I can tell you that. Don't, <laughs> yeah, but it, I was like, don't be buying that. That's too much. You're just give me old Walmart. I'm cool with Walmart, you know, but he was like, no. And I'm not even, I'm not, I don't get all fancied up and stuff, but it's just nice to have something that if somebody can get for you just to show you a little appreciation. It's okay. Like, let, let it happen. Well, girl. Let Sean's happen. thing would be, you know, I'm tired of buying fake or knockoff. He was like, you right. know what? You get the good and it'll last longer. I, I was just going to say that though. And the quality, it actually does help because then you don't have to worry about buying a purse every damn, you know, six months month. or a year or whatever. <laughs> as heavy as yeah. my purse be, honey, it'd be every month. Oh shoot! Because well, I've been carrying them zippers and the, the straps right on it, but uh, girl, I had to go from purse to backpack. I carry a backpack now. No, <laughs> Tina, I love designer. Don't get me wrong, I love yeah. it, but my pockets would be like, no, nah, bitch. <laughs> you know how they say you got you got uh, champagne taste and beer and pockets. money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and I was always trying to buy five pairs of Nikes for five boys. Look at my stove; it's a hot fucking mess. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some children for you. They fry everything on hell, and I'm like, it's going to be raw in the middle and burnt on the outside. <laughs> like, every time, I'm like, I don't know why y'all think it gets done faster. That way, you're just jacking it up because it ain't done. Come on, thingy. Right. Cooperate. Um, what was it? Oh, one Christmas. This was, we the the 16 and 11-year-old were like, I don't think this, the 11-year-old the even existed yet. For Christmas, he came out of Victoria's Secrets with this big old box. I said, oh, my God, I'm not even going to ask you what you spent on that. Uh-oh. I was, like, having a whole panic attack. And it was, like, uh, it was probably about $75. But I'm over here, like, oh, no, the hell you didn't. And the rent's fucking six fifty, dollars And the bills are $600. No. And we got all these damn oh, kids Lord, living in here. <laughs> I can't pick up the flowers. <laughs> like my the boys, they're, like, Mom, drawers are so expensive. I don't know how you did it. I said, fuck, neither do I. Because <laughs> two pairs of boxes are like fifteen dollars, and I had five boys. Girl, and they ha it hasn't got any better. It's gotten so much worse. Like you, I have to buy, and I think thank the Lord I only have one uh, one boy because pant uh, panties are not as yeah. expensive as boxers are for some reason. Like uh, you can he buy wears a boxer brief, stuff, but... like some cute little flats or whatever. I mean. Mm -hmm. I get my girls some Nikes too, but you could buy cute little flats and stuff. Boys, no. And one of my sons had a size oh, 13 know, foot girl. when he was like 14 years old. So right. his shoes cost a guap every time. Yeah, I'm working on it. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to, I wrote, oh, my ombre is crooked. I got to fix that one. It's going downhill. Um, I did downhill. mat it the other day. So I want to, I'm not doing the butterfly, but I want to mat it and put the design on top because I'm like, right. why does it look like honey fans? And I was aggravated. <laughs> so look at it, it's crooked as hell. Yeah, it's going downhill. <laughs> I'm glad I looked at it. I'm glad you said something, Cindy, because I'd be done and sorry. <sighs> Let me fix this. But yeah, because I mean, thirty dollars for four pairs of drawers, and, and you go to Walmart and you get a six pack, and it's still close to thirty dollars. Right. Let me switch. Let me switch. And there's switch. five boys. But you know what? I'm a mf'er when it comes to saving a buck. I bought six pair of Nikes one year. Two were Jordans, and I spent two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, what? Mm-hmm. Girl, I'm I'm a pro when it comes to making a dollar turn into twenty. Girl, but like I said, my family left me here on my own at, at like a nat's ass off of eighteen. I figured out how to survive real quick. Girl, you remind me of those. Have you seen that show? That um um. Take it. Put it in my wallet, mom. Please. please drop the little bit of change. Mm-mm. Go put it in my wallet, please. Have you seen that show, those coupon clipping, like they're... Yeah, the... the um, I, what is oh, it what's it called? Extreme, extreme couponing. Extreme couponing, yep, yep, yep. Yes, Ooh, I have. They Dakota's be doing... girl does that, uh, Sabrina. Yeah. She gave us a nice little basket for me and Sean together. It had, for Christmas, it had um, some Dove shampoo and conditioner in it, or Pantene shampoo and conditioner, and then a Dove body wash, a big bottle of mouthwash. Just a whole, she's like, I didn't know what to get you guys because they hadn't been together too. I'm like, girl, this is great. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm happy. <Well. laughs> we had a laundry basket with some washing powders in it. We had a um a, a thing at the church. Um, well, they do it like every year. It's like a volunteers appreciation thing, and mm -hmm. they do like raffles. 
And um, right. they, everybody gets a number and they have a big table full of stuff. And when they call your number, you get go up and pick what you want. Yeah. I was like the third person called and everybody thought, you know, I'm going to pick, you know, this bag or this or that. Because they had some nice leather purses and stuff up there. Girl, I got the laundry basket that was full of rolls of toilet paper. And it had a gallon jug of gain washing powders and some dryer sheets and all that jazz. And it had a couple of magazines that said for the other throne room. I grabbed that. I'm like, shit, I don't know what y'all talking about. This is going to come in handy in my house. All these asses I need toilet paper for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Hello, like, I'm Jay. the only one that sits down. I don't know why they go through so much tissue. Sorry. I'm just going back a little bit. Jay's lovely nails. Jay's is here. Hello, Jay's. How you doing? Sorry. sorry oh, sorry. Alicia, babe, I'll be praying for you, honey, to feel better. That sucks. Yeah, you could just sit there and watch silently. What happened? You know how to talk. She says she's not been feeling well. She's just going to listen. Oh, I'm sorry, Mama. And that's perfectly fine. The you. fact that you are here, it, yes. Preso por ti. The prayers of the saints availeth much. Yes. I pray, Lord, reach down and lay hand his healing hands on Alicia, our sister, right now in Jesus' name. Thank I you, come Jesus. in agreement, Lord. Amen. Amen. Or two or more come in my name. Ooh. If one can put a thousand to flight, two can put ten thousand. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jesus. You know how many arguments I've got in with folks because they'll say Ooh. that a loved one that passed away turned into an angel. Aye. I'm like, no, they did not. Oh, my goodness. Cordy. I'm like, angels Cordy. are angels. People are saints. Beauty queen. <laughs> Cordy, darling. Hey. Poor Cordy. She's on such uh, an opposite time zone from everybody else. I know. And still, but but still but makes still be there. Go. Thugging. Ooh, right. Wee. Cordy, corny. She's so beautiful. That's why I call her beauty queen. She's beautiful. For she real. is gorgeous. A lot of these girls are. Uh, a girl, lot of I was just going to say. You're talking smack about yourself. And I'm like, no, bitch. You're gorgeous. Shut up. <laughs> yes, man. I, I can't. I mean, it's amazing how many beautiful, how many beautiful women we have here. How many beautiful nail. No, and girl, sisters. it's amazing how many cool ass women that this community has been blessed with. Like, I know, I'm so thankful. We don't argue, we don't talk. Smack, right. We ain't getting into it over mundane bullshit. Over this, the most ridiculous thing ever. And I'm glad that in the process of us going through all this, and 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 the how do I say this without being like I don't want to say trash, but the the problems, the toxicity has managed to weed itself out on its own. Yeah. Where we don't have to get into these big old platos, big old uh, you know, arguments and, and about big, nothing. Uh uh. Nope. Thank you, Jesus. Trash took itself <laughs> out. I say it. <laughs> there you go. She said <laughs> it and I it. agree. You know how on on what you call it? Um you said it, but you were thinking it. <laughs> Mm. on um what's that white girls the movie white girls yeah my dad laughed so hard at that oh movie. my god britney and he was what? so sick to hear him cackling like that was uh, refreshing because daddy suffered at the end of his days <laughs> he had black lungs yeah. in the coal mines and oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, the girl. bottom lobes and then he had emphysema and copd in his upper lobes mm -mm. and congestive heart failure and all the medicines he was on for his heart and his i mean his lungs and his heart brought up cirrhosis. He hadn't drank in years, but when he did drink, he drank shine out of my granddad's still when he was younger. Wow. So the medicine kicked in cirrhosis into overdrive, and my dad had that beer belly. He was a big truck driver dude with the square toed boots that looked like Elvis. Like, <laughs> I, I'm going to send you a picture. My dad looks like Elvis. Okay. It was funny to me my whole life. I'm like, Daddy looks like Elvis. Like Conway Twitty and Elvis ran together. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and he had a heating pad on his belly one night because his liver enzymes would go through the roof and he'd go into a coma mm -hmm. wow. he was in the hospital one time and when he would start to come to he would hear the overcome and he'd be like hello, hello, somebody answer that damn phone <laughs> 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 he was he was a are rough one are you kidding too. me dude come on, <laughs> the, the hospital yeah, he'd hear the overcom, you know, the intercom, people talking on the intercom. Yeah. He was coming out of a coma because he would, like, his when when you have cirrhosis and your liver enzymes go up, your body's drunk without right. you drinking. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. And he would be out for two or three days. And when he started to come to, he'd hear the intercom and be hollering, hello, hello, somebody answer that damn phone. <laughs> <laughs> One time he was fixing to pass out and he was like, ladies and gentlemen. He said Alvis, not Elvis with his country ass. Alvis has left the building. Alvis has out. left the building. 
<laughs> he had that big beer belly and he put a heating pad on it because he was cramping and he woke up with three big blisters. And I'm like, what the fuck was you doing trying to bolt water? I'm like, good Lord. That thing must have been hot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He was a character. He passed at 54. And my mama has stayed single since. She said, I had all the trouble I needed out of the first man God gave me. I ain't looking for another one. <laughs> they divorced twice and got remarried, so I don't blame her. Wow. But my mama was a preacher's daughter. That Adultery was just out of the freaking question. And my oh, dad yeah, was a wild right, one. right. I caught him the second time. I was pregnant with my daughter. I'll never forget that. What do I use? You know what? Let me do. Let me scratch that. I'm not gonna do nude. I'm gonna do pink, blue. Should I do green or um green or yellow? Pink, or purple. blue, purple, yellow, or pink, green? Pink, blue, purple. No, I pink, blue, I, pink. Wait a minute. What did you say? Pink, green, and what? Pink or blue? I, I have either purple, green, or yellow. To go with what? We just said, oh, to, for these, for these. Look. Oh, okay, so you're doing pink and blue and purple, green, or yellow. Purple, um, green, or yellow are the other colors in here. Green. I think pink and green look great together. I do love pink and green. Pink and green. Total vibe. Total it really, really, really is. I need to just smear some down a little further on these beds. No, it's like, which green? Oh, what if I do a green glitter? And I'll mm, that'd like be a nice glitter. kick. I don't even like it, but I know it's going to look so beautiful. <laughs> I think this always kind of fades in the ombre a little bit better. Just to put a little... I just can't. I don't want to handle it, though. That's all I always is. get my middle finger crooked as a dog's hind leg. Look at that. Oh, dude, really? is this a good green match, though? Is that a good green match? I don't know. Let me see. I, guess, I know it's hard to see, like, right... I think so. See, that? see it? Okay. Yeah, I think so. I love this dust brush Heather sent me. I love it. I love it. Let me see. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's like a Dolly Parton microphone. Y'all know I love Dolly Parton. Did she bleed it out herself or did she get it like that? No, she bought it like that on Timu. No crapola. She got me this. She sent me a six-piece pink gel polish set. Um, another one. I can't remember the color at the moment. A silver blingy mat and this D that lights up. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's so cute. Shut up. Yeah, she sent me a nice little birthday pack. Her and them babies. And her little boy is so cute. She sent me a picture. Ooh. Their trip from New Mexico to Oregon took, they left at fri Friday at 4.35 o'clock. Oh, is she there already? Yesterday, they got there. Oh, wow. And they hit bad weather along the way, and the babies were out to lose their mind, being trapped in that car. God bless her. She's going through it. What happened? They hit bad weather, and the baby's being trapped in the car. Because oh, hers are little ones. Oh, like, dude. the little dude looks like he might be two. Maybe 18 months to two years old. He's yeah, no, no, no. He's, yes, very little. Mm -hmm. And he is yep. so fucking cute. She sent me a I picture. And I'm like, oh, I my gosh, Andre is adorable. I know. I see she was him. like, he is absolutely adorable, dude. Because I messaged her, like, are you guys there? Like, are you okay? What's going on? Because I hadn't heard from her. And I tried to call a couple right. of times. And she usually always answers. And so I knew they were still traveling because she would answer. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, go ahead. And I'm like, honey, I'm losing my mind in the car with some kids for six hours going back home, <laughs> much less three days. <laughs> I, 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 let me use this one. I can't find my brush. I'm just going to use Papa this. My Papa Bayesden always told me, leave at around 11, 10, 11 p.m. so the kids are asleep and you'll get here about 6 a.m. Don't stop at roadside rest. A single woman with kids in the car. And because I had boys, he said, put a gallon jug in there and tell them to use that. So I didn't have to stop for them to pee. I'm like, well, what about me? He was like, you better hit a gas station. <laughs> I don't know if I like that rest. mixture. I don't know if I like that mixture. I mean, I like the idea of it, but maybe not. I shouldn't. You're going to marble kind of... it? Yeah. I just don't look. See, I don't know. Mm. Well, I don't. The green kind of looks caca. Thank you. That's the one that I didn't like. I maybe I should have. Well, stuck since with pink like, and blue make purple, maybe use the purple. Well, I didn't and know pink and blue does make purple. Pink and blue makes purple. So once I mix it, it's already got the purple in it. Purple in it. Hmm. But um. But I and I have these greens like regular uh greens. You know what I'm saying? But I think, I think. Excuse me. I think I'm just gonna do pink and pink and purple. Oh my god. Because then the blue and the yellow would make green. So that's kind of redundant too. Yeah, I don't know, Beach. 
<laughs> you, you got some silver or gold glitter? Like no, gold? no, no. I, know, I didn't want to bring something into it, but I, I think I know what I'm going to do. Just to bring in a sparkle, I'm going to do it with the pink. Um, I got my new Greg brush. I'm so happy. This is my favorite, 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 favorite. Let me see. It gets that sharp tip. Oh, that Greg yeah. signature series. Because when I lay my cuticle bead, I put it like right here. And then if you tap at the back of the bead, it will tuck it in perfectly around the cuticle. Like yeah. I haven't filed yet and right, I already right. have my apexes kind of apexing. <laughs> they apexing, girl. I love that brush. And I've not been able to, like my Kiara Sky brushes, they're too fat. They I can't do that with them. They're just too fluffy. The, br the bristles are, you know what? Huge. I think I'm going to clean gonna, this one out. I'm going to go another route, I think. I may still do the marble, but for right now, I'm going to go another route. I may have to. I like to use this Kiara Sky, either the 16 or the 20, to do a one big clear bead. But I mm -hmm. might have to use. I don't like to do it with the color because then it don't turn out. I don't get a smooth application like I do using the 12. Right. And But this ah. is, I don't know if it's cleaned out or not. I thought I cleaned it out pretty good, but it felt kind of stiff. Like their oh, brushes are really fat, like the the feathers. The hair on them is really, yeah, okay, we're good now. Really fluffy. <laughs> it holds a oh, lot Oh, yeah, you talking about Kiara Sky? Yeah, their brushes yes. are fluffy. Yeah. Then it holds they a lot beautiful. of money. They is beautiful. I have one, and I only have one because I was gifted it. It was given to me as a gift, and I am so truly grateful for that. Um, All my yeah. expensive things were gifts. My husband generally buys me. They know that I'm always going to be happy with nail stuff. And they're like, you know, what do you get mom? Mom, you know, she's cool with just about anything. Right. But they know that if they really want to get me something to make me happy, I love nail stuff. Oh, it yes. It doesn't matter know. how much I already have. <laughs> the way to my heart is through my nails. <laughs> yeah, totally, girl, totally. <laughs> Like, I so wish, okay, so I didn't finish Kaz in the 90s because I was pregnant with my daughter when I graduated. Right. The third time I had sex, I was a virgin till I was like 17 and a half, and the third time I had sex, I got knocked up. Mm -hmm. My luck. And um, so I couldn't, I was missing 150 hours, a 1,500-hour program, and the doctor would not let me travel to Columbus to take state boards. Oh, wow. Okay. And back then, even, it was $1.50 an hour to make up the missing hours. And I never had that. And I became a nursing assistant before you had to take the state test. So I got grandfathered in. Uh-huh. And that was where the money was at for a single woman with a kid. So I didn't ever, I just did hair on the, so actually, me and my ratchet BC, before Christ life, I had a couple of friends that were call girls. And they kept trying to get me in it. And I'm like, no. I will do y'all hair. <laughs> like their dude would send me, send them to me every time they went on a call, like three times a day to redo right. their hairdo and 20 right. bucks a pop. So I was Ooh. making like $120 a day on two heads just doing hair. My goodness. A French twist, a couple of French braids, some cornrows, you know, whatever, cornrows into a French twist. Right. Yeah. And I knew how to put the sock in it to make it fat and stay. Well, back then we put a sock in it. I think they got things to put in them now. but Yeah. But no, no I know what you're talking about, though. The sock, yes. And That's they true. was always trying to talk. I said, no. My daddy will drive, especially up here, to kill my ass. <laughs> like, no, we're not We're not going there. I'll just do y'all hair. And at, back then, in the early 2000s, I, I guess, I made 12, 13 bucks an hour. Right. Oh, Yeah. So, I was doing okay for me no, with that, two little kids uh, running around. Especially back then, because that was not that was not like minimum back then. That was no, really back not. then. It was like seven, eight bucks minimum wage. Shoot, sure, girl, it's still over here in Texas. Minimum wage is still seven dollars, seven seven seventy five or something like that. Get the hell out of here! So they raised I'm not it up joking, everywhere really. there. Girl, yes, it's not raised here at all. Girl, no. See, that's crazy. I that's know. Crazy. Well, every time I tell Latina, she wants. She's like, tell me again, because she can't. She can't get over how freaking low our minimum wage is here in texas it's, it's no joke it's for real i'm not making it up y'all yeah i was gonna say something oh. but i don't want to offend nobody so let me not no. know that. i rebuke you hair in the name of jesus <laughs> <laughs> damn fuzzies uh, they come out of nowhere the second yes dude hell. mess me up got my acrylic already hardening up and i'm over here messing with that hair Rebuke you in the name of Jesus. They burn up in my ashtray when I'm doing nails. I really don't smoke that much. 
Mm-hmm. Y'all. Oh, Bulldogs. Hello. Hey, Bulldogs. And where you been, girl? What's up, girl? I know. I feel like I haven't seen you in a minute. Hey, listen. Well, you stopped by the live, I think. Not this. Was it the last one or the one before? For like a, a, a little minute there. You were there. You was you was hanging. You was hanging. I look what, look at this. So y'all know I'm a Yan Yu. Uh, yes. Girl, I ordered me four. I ordered four clear Yan Yus. Uh, you're uh, not going to regret it. the price. I use and, my clear Yan Yus to make my glitter acrylics now. Right. And and okay. just so you know that, because that I am not a fan of the beige, the color of it. So yeah, I, it's kind of yellow. It one, right. I mix it with one of my uh, other products that are a, a good formula. And it's it's perfect, like perfection, dude. Like well, I look, can't I got even. this for like five dollars and some change, four dollars and some change. The pink, yeah. beige, and white. But same, I, I've used the beige one time, and I mixed it with um, like a darker brown to bring it to like a medium brown because I wanted a brown right. beige and not a pinky beige. I mean, a yeah, pinky, I know, a brown nude, not a pinky yellow beige. yucky. Is. Yeah, it's it's a really funky. It's a yucky color. They don't. It doesn't color. look like that. But obviously, they're not showing us the real color on the on the advertisement. You know what I'm saying? But that's okay. The now, point. I is, like my young nails clear for like to encap encapsulate, and I get the big 660 gram right jar when they have it on sale, and I get it for like 50 bucks, 52 dollars, something like that, because um, they'll have it on sale, and then they'll be doing their 30 percent off on top. Right. And because I, when I make colored acrylics, I will only make colored acrylics out of Young Nails clear base. Every other clear base I've tried to do a, a pigmented acrylic just does not do what I need it to do. Yeah. Like I'll use the Yan Yu. It's good. I mean, it's really good for especially the price. Oh, I'll yeah, use it for glitters, but not pigments because I don't know. I just can't seem to get the pigment to mix in the way I want it to with that. I love young nails, man. I've never been disappointed with not nearly a thing I've gotten from them. I know, I know you're you're a uh, you're a major advocate for young nails. I know you are. Yep, totally. Because I've never like everything I've ever gotten has been cool. Like I've never right. got, and then their customer service is bomb. I've never like had to do recently customer service, so I I don't know, but I I have I've gotten a couple of like I've gotten their um. Bye, Bree. Have Bye, a good night, Bree. girl. We'll see you around. I'll talk to you later, Bree. In the nice mystery boxes this year, She's what not was it? Boss. It was the um, she big boss. Those like ink markers that they had in the mystery box this year. Yes. My white was just dried out. The rest of them were fine. They sent me a whole new box, and it was yeah, months yeah. after. It was like last month because I asked mm -hmm. Habib on the uh, live. I'm like, I just opened these. Uh, um. Is it too late to get him replaced? He was like, nope, call customer service. And I, the white mm -hmm. one was the only one I had problems with, but they sent me a whole new box. Oh, did they really? Yep. Them and Mia Secret. Oh. Mia Secret has really good customer service, too. Oh, I have never. I'm not a big Mia, Mia Secrets uh, user. I'm not, a, not like a fan, but I've never. I don't. I wouldn't know. You know, I used their product early on in my back when I was back in my nail journey again. Um, I started with the monomer and I was completely like, no, I can't. It's it's very strong for me. Strong, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives me a freaking headache, a migraine girl. I'll be I'll be dying. It does the most. I'll be all Melody over. Susie too. They are another one that I uh -huh. uh, always deal with because so McCart, when I had um I was getting their your nail live in a box and stuff, they had a sale. I remember those, like, yeah. Five dollar acrylics, and right. so I ordered a bunch of them. Instead, I went through Google. My app would not let me check out, hmm. and so I'm like, I went through Google and I typed in my address. My address on my account with them was my correct address. Right. The address I used on my shop tracker at the time, I didn't have my real address in it. It was I was new to it and I didn't uh, trust it. Right, but right, I didn't right. order through shop. I didn't even track through shop. So why in the world? They Are they using the shop address of my shop account? I don't know, but right. they bucked me for like sixty dollars worth of acrylic. Melody Susie? No, uh, uh, McCart. Oh, McCart. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Are you? Yeah. Serious? So when it came down to buying, yeah, they told me that it was a five dollar restocking fee for each piece. Well, that's oh. every fucking dime I spent. Whoa. I, so I I ditched them quick, fast, and in a hurry at that point. If I get anything from McCart, is on Amazon because I do like the product. Right. But when I went to buy a drill, I'm like, 
Melody Susie or McCart. I got this well, one from well, Melody Susie off of Amazon. And right. I've had it for like two years now and it's still rocking out. But I had my first drill I got from them was this little white ball. It was about the size of an apple and it was a table drill. And uh-huh. um, like it wasn't cordless or nothing. And it was one of them that didn't lock. The bit didn't lock in. It had like that. You just push thing. and pull? Yeah. You just push it in and pull it out. Yeah, yeah. And it kept, like, wouldn't hold the drill bits in. So I yeah. contacted him, and I'm like, you know, I got this from Amazon. I don't know what's wrong with it. She was like, oh, just send me, like, a 30-second video. Show me what it does. Oh, okay. I just expected Watch. them to send a new handpiece. They sent me the entire the drill. drill. Right, yeah. And wasn't no questions asked. They didn't give me a hard time. I hate these places that don't have good customer service. Yeah. I figured out where the little hairs are coming from. Uh-oh. Where? My nap um, off my towel, my thing. So I, I used one that was already here, and that was my bad. I should have just got a new one. I so buy these. Um, my shop towel. So I'm using this. I love these paper towels. These are the oh. brawny. I like the Viva better, but these I have get these like blue ones from out the automotive department. Yeah, I have those too. I'm just talking about just for like randoms. I mm. use I like these because they have you know how you can cut them like this, like rectangle. Yeah. But they also have a little line in the middle. You can cut them into squares if you want. I you know like, what I mean. Um, the Viva cloth like ones to clean with, but not the yes, nails girl. Ones. The Viva are they good. have too much fuzz to do nails with. <laughs> they do. They do fuzz out, but you can't um, use but them for nails. Like, they're they're very tough though. They're very strong. So yeah. I usually buy the brownies. I because every time I go into the dollar store, I buy two of the single packs. Ugh. Yeah. And I've got like twelve st- just thrown up under my sink <laughs> because every time I go in, I just buy two. Yep. I, I bought the huge pack this last time, but look at how much fuzz. And I think I got like that because back in the yeah. day, having all those kids, and at back then for the first ten years of our marriage, Sean only brought home one hundred twenty five dollars a week. Yeah, because he had six children when he before he was old enough to be able to even raise a damn child. He was a child himself. And um, (laughs) when he he stayed in and out the joint before he met me, he ain't seen the inside of a penitentiary since he met my ass because I ain't having no dumb shit. Right. And um, well, he he owed rearages galore. So they still take seven hundred a month out and his youngest child is twenty five. Jesus, Jesus. He'll pay till he's dead. Right, basically. I mean, he makes it a little better now, but shit, with the prices of everything gone up, it really kind of equals out. But that's why I had three jobs for ever and ever and ever. Right. Because I had to make sure everybody was okay. And we, like I was telling you guys, we got all his kids as juvenile delinquents. Thick right, enough right, right. And I was like, my answer to everything was, I'll get another job. I'll get another job. So then when mm-hmm. I went down, by then we just had my four left. Justin was grown. Because I got custody of his son, Justin, when he was like 11, 12-ish. And um, he was grown and gone. I think he was in Florida at the time. And my older ones were 17 and 15. And the little ones were 4 and 10. And I kept like, God, I'm like, I know I'm not supposed to question you. But why in the world would you let this happen? <laughs> not but. Like, we we got to move out of our house and sleep in somebody's yeah. basement. And that shit was killing me. Man, I've been on my own my whole life. And having to sleep in somebody's basement was... Uh, I couldn't fun. sleep. Yeah. It was killing me. And I'm in the basement. And after I got gone, everybody gone that day, I'm like on my knees. Like, you know, it's a dark, cold, wet basement. I'm like, God, please mm-hmm. save me from this dungeon. I cannot take it anymore. I've got a bunch of 20 year olds partying over my head every night. The oh, kids wow. can't sleep. Yeah, because my daughter was completely disrespectful. She did not care. I think she did it on purpose. I kept taking her speakers down the street when I left every day and throwing them in a random dumpster. What was she bringing more? She found them or what? Yeah, she'd buy more. She weighs more money than a little bit. What, babe? I had left the change in the car. Well, that didn't help me none. But last time I had, uh, I made him do it. So this time I thought I'd give him a break. That time my motherfucker was like, oh, we're going up. I said, shit, I mean, fuck that. You better re-ring it, Dan. <laughs> he was like, huh? I said, re-ring your shit. I told you, hold on. Re-ring it up. Yeah, put on that food stamp card. I ain't going over there. <laughs> He's like, oh. I said, yeah. You going to re-ring it up? No, I know that's right. I mean, you spend my money for me. Tell me how I'm going to spend my money. You gave me a break. <laughs> but, um... So, like, I mean, literally crying in prayer, crying out to God, like, mm-hmm. do something, anything. I had, a, as soon as I had the strokes, I went and applied for um, 
Metropolitan Housing. I'm like, because at that point, I didn't know what else to do. And I know there's a six month waiting list for Metropolitan, the Jets over around here. And um, as I'm praying, like, God, please, because I, you know, I've lived in the Jets before and I'm like, it's not where you're at. It's what you make of it. I had a nice yeah. little apartment in the Jets. And um, when Dakota was one, we moved out before I wanted to move out of there before he got big enough to know what was going on. Uh-huh. And I did because I Hi, lived Bramble. in the Jets sorry. when I was young and I know how, is she leaving? Yeah, I'm sorry, Donna, real quick. Bye, Bramble. We'll see Bye, you Bramble. later. Have a good night, girl. God bless. Good night. Good night. Love you. Okay. See you. Bye. <laughs> That's why I always say, love you. See you. Bye to the kids too. Yes, I um, know. I've heard you. <laughs> Your um, videos. What was I going to say? Oh, see, squirrel. Um, Dude, I'm so sorry. I know. I'm so <laughs> sorry. sorry. Honey. I, 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 I knew I, better. I'm glad you said bye because I would have missed saying bye to her. But <laughs> so I, my phone dings and I've always been a believer, but you know, at the time it was like, you know, God, I'm sorry. I hope you understand. I got to survive. Right. And you know, I did my one, two and me and him met, like I literally went to the hood that day to sell the couple of pieces I had to pay the light bill because I was on maternity leave and I needed to pay the light bill. And he was staying with his cousin out there. He had, not been out too long. And um yeah. oh, Lord, I need to tell. hold on. Good so, night. Anyways. Jonna, have a good or I know she's still she said she's still gonna be on, but she's not gonna be chatting. Okay. So I'll talk All to right, you babes. later. She gotta get her nails done so she can look crude for the doctor's office tomorrow. She I'm like that. I'm like, I'm not going out the door with my nails looking right. <laughs> Everybody knows I'm the, they call me the nail lady. I cannot go out looking crazy. You know and, what I'm um, saying? Okay, go ahead. I'm so sorry, girl. I had this daily, because when I was little, my granddad was a Baptist preacher, and we was in the church every time the doors opened. Right, right, right. Like, there was no option that you didn't want to go. You better <laughs> get it together. Like, they, my grandparents would look at me like, who told you you had an option? Like, you have to pick <laughs> if you go to, go or not. You better go in there before I knock your block off. Right. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I had the uh, daily devotional on my phone, and I heard the daily devotional ding, and I'm like, well, it's two hours early. Damn it, my mm -hmm. It was like 9.30 instead of 11.30. Oh, okay. okay, okay. 9.45 instead of 11.45. And I'm like, well, that's odd. And I go over and I read it and it said, God's smile in a dungeon is better than his frown in a palace for a believer. And I'm like, hmm? I'm like, well, that was oddly on point, but okay, Lord. Okay, right. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I go to the mailbox and girl, it's not only the um, approval letter for the Jets, but also the approval letter for Section 8 I applied for four years ago and forgot no about it. No way. Are you Move. kidding me, girl? To where to God. And we could not find anything anywhere in Elyria. I refused to move to Lorraine because my mom and dad moved my schools every time I blinked. So I swore I would not do that to my kids. Mm -hmm. And I don't like Lorraine. It's very depressing to me. And we moved back, Sorry, ended up moving back in the house and moved out of. And my neighbors are Christian. Alanda that comes on here. She got her first nail kit too, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Alanda, okay. Yolanda Ogletree. O Ogletree. She's been uh -huh. on a lot of the Sunday shenanigans. Oh, okay. Um, she got her a Beatles Gel X kit. And, or no, she got a, a Tip X kit. And she got some Beatles gel polishes. But anyways, we ended up oh, moving okay. back in here. And the land, we moved out November 1st. We moved back in like the second week of February. And the landlord hadn't did nothing with it. So... If we painted and did everything to move back in, he was, he was just waving the security deposit, just carrying the other one over into, because I asked him, I'm like, Jim, would you take Section 8? And he was like, yeah, you was always a good tenant. I ain't got a problem with it. It's guaranteed money. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Why wouldn't you want to? It's guaranteed rent every month. Right. You ain't even got to be bothered with me. Right. They do their <laughs> thing. and But we put, two, I'm like, leave everything in the storage. Put two queen, be queen beds in the middle of the living room floor so I can paint these rooms while everybody's gone in the daytime. Right. But that's when I'm like, and I had, I was, you know, kept asking God, like, why, why, why? And before that, but he stopped me as I'm walking through the house and was like, this is why. It just hit my head like a ton of bricks. This is why. Because <laughs> he knew that on my own, I was going to keep depending on me and the almighty dollar and not him. Right. Yes. And he's like, this, I had to allow this to happen so you would depend on me and not yourself anymore. Because mm -hmm. it wow. was it was killing me. Like, I was stressed out, depressed all the time. Like, I was not me now. Right, yeah, yeah. I was too depressed. And, you know, I was the person before, like, I would think, man, what if I'm just praying to the ceiling and there ain't even no God up there listening to me? Mm -hmm. like, I'm just praying just to pray. And after that, mm -hmm, I know that I know that I know. You can't tell me no different. 
he didn't show himself too much. Oh, yeah. shit. Remember I was telling you and Johnna about my threes? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Girl, I texted Johnna earlier and told her, I'm sitting there this morning, and, you know, I'm always thinking about quitting smoking because I know that I should, and I know that I need to, and I know that's bad for me, <laughs> but I really don't want to. And I kept seeing these... um do like these commercials about quitting smoking and causing strokes and heart attacks and stuff. And girl, right. the freaking number to text is 333-888. What? And I seen that Quit second it. three times this morning and I text John like, girl. <laughs> Quit it. Are you serious? I'm like, I seen the damn commercial three times <laughs> and the number is 333-888. And I'm like, all right, mm -hmm. Lord, I hear you, man. I hear you. Got hear you. you. <laughs> Loud and clear. <laughs> And people laugh at me how I like my personal prayer because that's literally how I talk to God, like a friend. I don't, you know, come all holier than thou. Right. What if this thing just broke before my eyes? Said you ain't got to use fancy words like the publicans do. Nope, you can't. You don't have to. All it's, it's going to do is annoy him. <laughs> it's, it's all in the love. It's all in the love. Yep. So there is absolutely not really. Yeah. There's absolutely no point to it, none whatsoever. And I've come to discover that the most <laughs> evil, ungodly people are religious people. That's that's kind of true, though. You you really you really make a good point. Um, like they're like stuck in the Old Testament, like they didn't get the memo that there's a second right half. No, you ain't lying though. No, no, no. Seriously, like. That's the issue that I had. I've discussed this with my mom several times because I feel the same way. Uh -uh. They act like God is a mean grandpa in the sky just waiting to strike you down, and he's totally not. Right. Like, he's just there waiting for you to mess up so he can punish you. <laughs> no, he is not. He's lovingly nudging me back on the path that I tend to get myself off of. Yeah. Bad. So, I told her that. That's how I feel. Like, you have these people that are extremely religious, extremely. They be the most judgmental, which is mm -hmm. clearly what we're not supposed to do. Right. Right. I mean, you the know that. Fan of sins. Right. So, and um, judgmental, they be the most, like, just the most of everything of what we know. Um, I can't even think of, I, I know I'm my, like, my mind is half, here and half I'm trying to focus on this stupid nail. Right. <laughs> but, but you basically know what I'm saying. Like that's how they are. Like, yeah, they're not, very it's not just the judgmental. It's like the the um the way they're expecting it's it's unrealistic of what they expect. And they're, because of, sorry, go ahead. Acting like we're not made out of dirt and like we're not supposed gonna mess up or supposed to mess up or right. heaven forbid you're you're going you're just doomed to hell if you mess up and that's not what it says. Right. So and a righteous man falls seven times, but he gets back up. Back up. Mm -hmm. It's all in like we oh. were talking about, not intentionally. Just, oh, well, I'm going to kick it tonight. And God will just have to forgive me again Sunday. And I'm going to go kick it next Saturday. And he'll forgive me again next Sunday. And uh -huh. so on and so forth. It's not that. That's it's, right. We're uh -oh. going to uh -oh. screw up. What, 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 what? Someone's got Bill Miller's. Okay. Hey, Irene, I told you he's going to have to um, show when he gets here early. Sorry, Did you see that I left a comment on um one of your shorts or videos? I'm not sure. Hold on. I'm sorry. You're talking to me. Eileen. I'm trying Eileen. to get her to go live with one of us one day. Like, come on now. Tits. You do I good know. work. You've been here for a while. It's time to get down with the get down. Dude, I had to do it. I was scared out of my mind. I was so nervous because I thought nobody. You, you know, I have discussed this before. I have mm -hmm. a kind of major personality or whatever and i really was so worried that people wouldn't get me because i'm very out there you know what i'm saying i'm loud i tend to hey Mc, 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 baby but you oh know what God. i've come to realize that most people love hey. a big personality right so well i i was so and, and if you watch if you ever were to go back and watch i'm so sorry i know she's She's, I'm, I'm saying hi to McBaby. She's new. I haven't seen her in the chat before, so she's new. I just want to let you know, Donna. Oh, hey, McBaby. So, um, yeah, practice, I, practice, practice. That's right. <laughs> for real. Practice makes 
progress. Yeah, it used to be practice makes perfect, but no, there's no, there's no perfect. It's only progress, progress, progress. You can never stop learning ever, 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 ever. I don't care how good you are. You will never know everything and you can always learn something new. And so, Miss Portia always says practice mm -hmm. makes progress. That's and true. So make sure you've got some decent acrylic and a decent That's brush. Right. That's right. A decent monomer. That, I, we all, when we start, try to mm -hmm. go the cheap Amazon route and we just end up say, costing ourselves time, extra yep. money on madness, trying to make some crappy right. shit work that ain't going to never work. <laughs> I know. I did that too. I got some, got some bunk clear. And a bunch of chalk, and I made my own, which is not bad, but I, I didn't use a good clear base. So um, the first time had I issues. had enough money, I went and bought me what I consider to be a decent, uh, what I wanted to try. And it was, they were good. Uh, I actually, the first major like name that I got or whatever was Ann Acrylics. She was the first mm -hmm. one that I tried. And I, me personally, because everybody has their own view or, or you know, um, thoughts on her, but me personally, I, I do love her her, her uh, formula. It's very. I've it's like, never it's had very, her. Um, I don't know if you ever tried Anaclix, but it's very cloudy. It's like marshmallowy, so it's it's a different texture. But if you can, you'll figure it out if you try it. So, uh, but but basically, what I'm what I was trying to say though was like in the, in the beginning, if you ever go back and watch like some of my earlier videos, you can definitely tell that I was trying so hard to be somebody who's not me. You know, because I thought there's no way that if at the minute that somebody starts seeing me, they're going to be like, oh, hell, this girl's crazy. This lady you is crazy. You kind of dumb yourself down, wouldn't you? <laughs> I did. And I no, tried it for a couple no, no, videos no, no, and I was no, no, like, no. it took me a minute. You know, I met um, and along the way, I, I met Latina and um, she really encouraged me to get back in there. And um, Amen. thank you. I'm glad she did, because we'd all be missing out if you weren't here. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> for real, for real. Like you make my freaking day sometimes. You are very upbeat. And oh I can be like not Donna. so in a great mood, and you here you come and you just I laugh every time you laugh. Your laugh is contagious, <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> Girl, oh my god, that's another thing. I had an issue with my kids, made me feel so self conscious. Like my, my daughter yesterday, she was like, Oh, mom, stop laughing, you're laughing too much. Oh, that's like, your damn okay. kids, they don't know, but what it's the fuck my child, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I did. I really, she was like, Just get in there, get some shorts going until you feel comfortable, and then start filming again. And I was like, oh, I'm so nervous because. I don't want to be that fake person. I don't feel comfortable being her. I just want to be me. I just want to be normal, you know? Well, you know, what is normal? You know what I mean? Just be PJ. So yep. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it. And I started little by little. So I let pieces of my personality out a little bit at a time. You know what I'm saying? Girl, I'm not going to cry. That I'm too much all at once. <laughs> but you know what I heard Zule say one time? And because I get that a lot. Like, I'm loud. I'm, I say right, some crazy right. ass shit. <laughs> right for real yeah i know but i've always been the type i don't give a flying fig what somebody else thinks mm -hmm. if you don't like right. it then keep it pushing there baby doll and that's what zule said i'm not for everybody and if you don't like right. that i cuss then go bye you don't have to watch me right exactly so i remember thinking that like you know what if you're okay with me you'll stay and if you're not you'll go and i'm okay with that like yep. i'm totally okay with that I'm not for everybody. I know that. I, I, I know I can be annoying sometimes. I know that. And that's okay, though. I I was okay with that. When I was younger, I had a hard time with it because I was like, I know I was very loud and different. And I didn't want to be annoying. I didn't want to be that person. But, you know, when you're younger, when we're all younger, we can be really rude and, and cruel and say the wrong thing children. at bad times. <laughs> <laughs> Kids are so mean, you know what I'm saying? But you know, you get older and you start thinking like, hey, I am who I am. And that's it. I'm me and I'm going to be me. Yeah. Um, but it's just like having to, you know, show yourself to social media is different. So I had to do that. And then I decided, you know what, dude, I don't ever want something to come back on me or somebody be like, "Uh, -uh you're this or that. I found out about you. So I'm going to before that ever happens, I'm going to tell people about me before they can. Uh, judge me fishing for some stuff right so i went and did a video getting to know me and i figured i had all those rakanka <laughs> powders to swatch it was plenty of time girl to talk a little tell my little story and that's when i i went ahead and opened up about my my drug addiction you know my family history and how i grew up and like how i got into drugs real heavy and you know i've been locked up several times been to prison twice and how God saved me. He saved me through my Amen. son. 
So uh, your trials are your testimony and your battles are, are your boot camp, boo. Girl, so true. You know what I'm saying? It's like we have these scars for a purpose, for a reason. You know, otherwise there wouldn't be a scars. Like the scars. Well, like I was there. telling you the other day, if we didn't live in these streets and survive them, how in the holy hand I would right. we help somebody else in the streets if we didn't know a jack spread about it? You can't, dude. You can't because they're just going to look at you like you don't know. Mm -hmm. You don't know what you know. You don't know nothing. I'm going to be like, oh, contraire, mon chéri. <laughs> yep. I was sitting right there where you were at doing the same damn thing you were doing. And baby, I probably did it 10 times harder. And you I've had saying? people like, what's this little country white girl know about this? Oh, well, honey, let me talk to you for a second and I'll fill you in. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, you know, you're cool as shit. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm like, I try right. to tell you. <laughs> I, that's what I was trying to say the whole time, but you wasn't listening. Like, oh, lend me your ear for a moment. <laughs> well, you know, when I heard Zule say that, I'm not for everybody, but I am yeah. for a lot of people. And I, PJ, I guarantee you that about everybody on here, hey, Robin Rouser, would agree with me that Hello, it, Robin. it would not be the same without you. <laughs> you are a... a Important <laughs> increment to this community. You silly. You're going to make me cry. I'm for real. <laughs> I knew. The, uh, the, uh, I mean, fuck. The first time I talked to you on the phone, we were on the phone for hours. We was on the phone for quite some time. <laughs> and we ain't know each other from a can of paint. Like, I knew uh -uh. then. Uh -uh. You know, we, it was. We were copacetic. Yep. There's there's quite a few. There's women that I that I, I feel I have a. Um, like a connection with and some that I would feel I have spiritual connections with, you know, mm -hmm. or, or that we're kindred spirits. There's several that I feel, you know, just yeah. based on, you know, their, their, where they came from, how they are, how they handle things, their thought process, what they believe in or how they feel about certain things. Yes. I told you. Yep. So, yeah. I don't know what I, I, so just, I said. God slammed this little community together in like a blink of an eye, and it's been like I perfect know, right? from the jump. <laughs> we have, we have, I, 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 mean, I have yet to come across any issues in within our uh, immediate, like what we have our Nell family here. Yeah, that, that's been growing and growing and growing, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't care what any. I love it, and and I know that everybody else does too. Yeah, so. I'm right there, on the you. ones that don't. I don't. And all them walking rain clouds can just go walk their stuff somewhere else. I was about to say something, but let me not. Can just, can just go on, blow away, motherfucker, blow away. Thank you, Robin. I love you, boo boo. <laughs> Thank you, Juicy Juice. MJ, love you, girl. Yeah, that's my A1. Like, Robin's been here. She's probably one of my first five subscribers, tell you the truth. Yeah, Rossier, yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, Juicy. No, ro uh, yeah. Yeah, A1. Rob, uh, I'm sorry. The other Robin. I don't, her, <laughs> I, I don't because her Juicy. I call her Robin. But yes, Robin, I don't know for anybody who does not know her, she's a ride or mother. Ricky, Ricky, die. Like, she, yeah, she really is. is. I can't even, like... <laughs> And I did wasn't didn't have <laughs> not, hardly a handful of subscribers. She's always been there, always mm -hmm. been there, commenting and liking my crap from the I've, beginning. Uh, <laughs> like on a personal level, I have been through some really tough mornings, some tough days, and like I wake up. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting all emotional. I woke oh, up all right, morning, baby. <laughs> and I was having such a bad um, morning. It was terrible, girl. I woke it's up. It's one of them when I, as soon as your feet hit the floor, you know it's gonna be crap all day. <laughs> it's just right. I opened up mm -hmm. my phone and I had a message from Robin from from Juicy, and yeah. um, she was just telling me, uh, "Good morning," and she, uh, "Good morning, beautiful. Um, hope you have a good day." Uh, you know, um, just had you in my mind or something. You know, kind of. She does it semi often, you know, but it was just that day. God knew you needed, needed her that. that day, and He put her in your path. Yeah, I needed to hear that because I was really just struggling, man. I've been because I'm not, I don't sleep well. I have a hard time sleeping, girl. But I just I I appreciate her. I know that um, it's she doesn't she Why just recently started posting. So I know a lot of people don't know her, know her, know her, and know her well. But ass knows. I don't know why she's hiding this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I just, I love Robin to death. I've known her for quite some time now. Um, we've been on this Nell journey for a minute, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I know I told her not too long ago that that blonde hair is her color. 
Woo! It looks so good on her. She's so beautiful, though. There are so many. I know I said this earlier. There's so many beautiful women, and I totally forgot to polish. I mean, uh, yeah. lay clear down. What in the world happened, girl? And my phone almost jumped out the the. Oh hell! Come on, you not, bitch. Cooperate. Not <laughs> your phone jumping off the hand of the holder. Well, I was, see, most of my cigarettes burn up in the ashtray while I'm doing nails. <laughs> like I light it and look up, and I'm at the filter. Like fuck, I missed another one. <laughs> so I have to keep getting up. I lost my lighter earlier. I don't know where in the world it went. So I have to keep getting them going to the dead. Oh stuff. Lord Jesus! Tabby tabs. My hey, Tabitha. Tabitha. Oh my God! Like girl, I <laughs> miss the beautiful. I have to like, and th so okay. just happened to be that morning that you desperately needed to hear that, and boom, yep. there's Robin. First thing yes. in the morning, and that's not the first time that that's happened with her. So I know that God sends her. I know He does, like without a doubt, because like I said, that's not the first time that that's happened where she sends me some random message like, "Uh, love you. You're beautiful." Praying for you, thinking of yeah, you know. Girl, whatever. I don't believe in chance or happenstance. Uh, uh no. God, like you said yesterday, God wrote our story before we we were put in the secret before, place, which is our mother's womb. That's right. Before we were even knitted together in the secret place. That's and correct. It's all written in the book. Mm hmm. It's very true, you know. I, I have to say that I must agree with what you're saying. It's absolutely one hundred. And I mean, I've talked true. about it a lot, but I mean, I just can't help but keep talking about it. The way we fell together, mm -hmm. all these girls, like there's a gang of us. Like, man, if you put us on the street, they'd be like, "Oh shit, we's a gang. <laughs> <laughs> we's a whole and we can have stilettos and fuck everybody. Be blind." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god mj good night i love you dear have a good night you're good so night, precious darling. she's an absolute door her mj if you're not following her you ain't living right you <laughs> need to go make sure your subs you follow yeah that's my favorite your friend dresser voice i love it <laughs> <laughs> i just have the nanny in my head every time you do that <laughs> She has that voice, man. Hers are real high pitched. I can, I can't, I can't match it. <laughs> Her laugh, oh my goodness, she's so funny. I wonder why she looks like. Now. She looks I, like she and did I know. I always wonder. It, it, I'd be surprised unless when I'm like, "Where are they at now?" And you look them up, and they're like, "They have not. They're not here with us, or they're no longer with us anymore." Like, right? Oh man. But or they look like somebody ran them over with a train. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that just shows you how fast this world is a going. The life but today, is life um, in. So one of the one of the homegirls that I grew up with, her little uh -huh. sister, she was like, you know, a little kid when we were teenagers. And I seen her like when she was like, last time I seen her, she was probably in her twenties. Right. And um Good night, Jay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have a good night. Be blessed. Good night, darling. Right. Well, I'm glad you do that because I miss everything. Good night, Jay. Good night. <laughs> I'm and, saying uh, for Marie. both of us, for me <laughs> and Zwana. I'm saying good night for the both of us. Good yeah, night. Because y'all know I can't do two things at one time. I'll mess around and have a big old dry lump of acrylic sitting over here on my neck. I'm so sorry. And I don't mean to keep cutting you off. I just want to make sure that everybody gets acknowledged on the way in and oh, on the way sure, out. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. Make sure you do. Make sure you do. I got your out. back, girl. I got your back. But I seen her today and she's like, 30 and her oldest is 13. I'm like, oh, girl, you at that bad stage. I was like, you're ready for hell till that sucker turns about 23, 24, 25, 29. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Yep. But she's talking about her getting older. She was like, Miss Donna, you look the same. She was like, huh? I'm the only one age. And I'm like, girl, you don't look no different than you did 10 years ago. Like, uh -huh. I didn't see it at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we feel it. Even we other people don't see it. You know, I know I say that people are like, no, you don't, PJ, but oh, I do. Like, tell my bones that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm telling you. It's like, it's weird because my body is getting, I, I, I'm getting older. My age is getting up there. My number's growing. You know, my body's feeling it. Things are changing. They are a changing, boy. Mm -hmm. Miss Donna, they are a changing. <laughs> Time goes but, fast. Too fast. For real, but my mind is not changing though. I my the way I think and the way I act, I don't know. It's just like I'm not aging in that in that uh area of my life, but everything else is. So I don't mentally I don't feel like I'm gonna be 44, but I'm gonna be forty four, girl, in August. <laughs> the other day, my sister, she was because you know, I told y'all my daughter got stupid and I'm like, you know what, you little bat, you could just stay out my hair until you grow up. 
And my sister was like, well, what the hell's wrong with you? You've been the same your entire life. What, does she expect something different now? I'm like, I don't know what she expected, but she kissed my whole white ass. <laughs> no, 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 honey. I don't do uh, disrespectful brats. Uh-huh. Like my son earlier, he's been getting in trouble a lot, the 11-year-old. Uh -oh. He has been babied. He's the baby out of 11 freaking kids. So, uh -oh. And but mommy and daddy's a little tireder than we were raising the rest of them. So I might not jump up and jump on you as quickly as I did your brother. I totally but get that. I totally get that. He's got this bad habit of trying to retort when I, I'm like, if I don't put it in question form, don't answer me. I, I made a statement. I ain't asked you no question. If I didn't ask you a question, you had a yes, ma'am, and get your butt away from me. <laughs> I hate little smart mouth kids. That drives me nuts. Right. My other son come over the other day trying to tell me, oh, well, mom, you was wrong. I said, I don't give a fuck. I said, check this out. And I, you know, I'm like, hey, you don't get to correct me. You ain't my daddy. My daddy's in the grave and he's been there for 16 years. Right. That was yes. the last man got to come correct me. <laughs> oh, for McBaby, her question. Um, oh, I was, was she doesn't go live every day, uh, Miss Donna. I certainly don't. I, I just started going live. Um, McBaby, I'm I, I usually, supposed to be on Sundays. Sundays, yes. She spring has, sprung uh, forward and sprung on my ass yesterday. <laughs> spring done sprung us all up and messed us all up. So yeah, I'm yes, still screwed. Normally, Don, Donna, um, Donna did it nails. Donna did it. Is it nails? Yeah, Donna did it nails. I do Sunday <laughs> shenanigans. Usually, well, I five call her Donna. Y'all gotta know that. Yes, Sunday shenanigans. She has every Sunday at what time, Donna? Usually at five or six. I usually post it on the community wall earlier in the day. I missed the boat today, but I try to. So you guys can know what time I'm. Right. So I, did, I posted like an hour before we went live that we were going live. So I've been missing the boat. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, things happen. But, yes, yeah, just to answer your question, baby, she does do it Sunday. Um, there's several. Uh, usually on buttons. Friday night, um, Jana and somebody, whether it's Latina, PJ, I, um, Alicia, we pair up randomly and right. I know Friday nights oh, have yeah. been come like a thing and, um, yes. sometimes Saturday night, sometimes Saturdays, uh-huh. But usually from the weekend, from any, from sat, Saturday, I'm sorry, from Friday to Sunday, somebody going live at some time. Yeah. But if you check the channel, there pretty much everybody here has a channel. You can sub to all of them. Miss uh, Donna did it nails, mind sick tips. Um, we have Juicy Fruit Nails, Robin, I believe Robin has, you do have a channel, right, Robin? She does, right? I know she's on IG, right? Does yeah, she? she's on IG. I, I, she's on YouTube, but I don't think Robin posts on YouTube. Although okay, I'm did. sorry. <laughs> right. And Tabs, uh, Tabs Nails, that's Tabitha. She also uh, has a channel. Who's here? Bulldogs has a channel. I love my Bulldogs. Eileen has a channel. Cindy um, Jimenez. Yeah, C Cindy Jimenez has a channel. I, I, I'm assuming, I don't know, Jay's not here anymore, so I can't ask her because she's new to me. I Eileen. Think her, 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 I've only seen uh, Nails on MJ. She's got a channel. Um, Latina Nail Designs and Debris Nails. Latina, here you are. Pretty Latina much everybody you see on here, McBaby, has a channel. Yes. So pretty much, I mean, you can go and, oh, oh what I do? Go and sub to everybody and you'll be able to catch up uh, posts from somebody letting you know what time somebody is either doing a premiere or going live. That's the best thing I can, the best advice I can give you. You just sub to everybody. Somebody will post something about when we're going live, whoever it is. <laughs> yeah, Cause I mess up all the time and I'll be like, Oh, there they are. You just <laughs> randomly look. I know. Right. I don't know how I know the other times. night you got, I don't know what the hell was going on, but I kept checking and checking and checking and checking and nothing and nothing and nothing. And then bam, all of a sudden you and John are live in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, I know. No, dude. It was, I'm trying to remember what happened. She, I think I, did I go live with somebody? And, and then she was like, we're doing an after party or no, 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 no. Um, I, I can't remember what happened, but yes. Now see when it, I clean my brushes was, real quick. Um, I always pinch, like flatten it together yes. to make the yeah. sharp edge. Cause yes. then, like when I put my cuticle bead down right here, if you take the sharp point and just kind of tuck the bead around, yeah. mm -hmm. you get a good bead. So get a, you get a, you get a nice know that. clean <laughs> cuticle application. Usually if you can get that cute, that bead close enough without touching your cuticle and push into it, it should melt into your cuticle. 
Dude, so I forgot to, to try it the way we've seen um, Honey and I Girl know, I do it. I literally, I tried it earlier, but it was too late. I had already let it... Uh, Sit too long? But yes. So I was like, dang it, I forgot. And I still keep forgetting. I'm here. I go, still, still, still. So let me yeah, see if I can do it right I now. I forgot. Totally forgot. But yeah, look up any of the girls, all the girls on here. We all support each other. We try to help each other get watch hours and subscribers and everything we need to excel and be successful at this. The whole nine. It's a gang of good folks. We a gang. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on live. I'm on live. I'm on live. I don't know, Mama. You have to go and find out. Oh, shit. I didn't know you were coming. I'm, I'm on live, just so you know. I'm on live, just so you know. But I didn't know you were coming over today. Oh my god. Fine. <laughs> um the go get it in my in my purse one more Um no don't go by yourself in my bag. I think it's right here somewhere. Oh. I'm not gonna Sorry, I'm sorry, Donna. Like, well, you're like, fine, huh? You done heard me yelling at my monsters a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, it happens. I thought about putting my nail room on the third floor because it's really just a game room because I'm down, you know, a few kids are grown and gone. But in the summertime, I'm like, man, I got a teenager. I need to be down here where I can watch what the hell's going on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I did it. I did it, Donna. I did it right now. I held it there. And oh my, I need to pull this you. camera down so I can see you. Oh. So it did pretty, it did pretty good. Oh, it looks good. I held it there and I saw it melting. And then as soon as I released, you, you know how you drop your finger and let the gravity, mm -hmm. let gravity do its thing. It worked really good. The only, thing I, the only thing I had to do because my nails, my, my shape is really weird. I had to tuck the sides in. So I did have to go in and tuck, tuck the sides in, but which I believe she did too. She pushed it up in there. Didn't she? Yeah. She Remember sat after she dropped she it? She sat there for just a second and then she kind of, pushed and it just like melted perfectly it but melted she's been right doing in. it for a while dude she's been right <laughs> and i think after she let it drop with gravity i don't remember i was like why did she mess it up but that's what she was doing she was tucking it so she pushed it up in the sides to let it get up in that cuticle and then mm -hmm. drop it and let it, and let it fall back down again what we're talking about guys is while we were on honey's nail secret yeah we why we were watching the uh, consistency of the acrylics and when she set the bead down at the cuticle hold on me dust us off she like set it let me get my brush she set her bead down about <laughs> right here and she held it there for a minute and yeah it melted perfectly into the right spot and beautifully then she the sides in it was mm -hmm. i'm like how the hell did you do that you i know that? Yeah, i gotta check out the way she did her application was amazing i was like oh my god girl did you see what she did she's like what happened i said go check this one out <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it just melted like right in. Absolutely just perfect. I was like, that's amazing. I, I can't wait to get like that, dude. One yeah, day. Trying to get my application more smooth so I'm not filing for a filing thousand so much. years. It's getting I better. It's getting know. better. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you could just lay a crazy bead and then throw, throw some good filing on top of that and it'll look beautiful. But, but the point is to try to get to the the place where you don't have to. <laughs> not take so long filing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I love me some nail art. I love nail art. Mm -hmm. Like I was always able to draw pretty good. I want to get better at it. I'm like, I, one day I was thinking about it because I had seen, um, what's her name? What's her name? That does the crazy off the hook character, Death. Knows by Death. Death. Yeah, knows by Death. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I can draw pretty good. I want to try. I, and on her uh, shop, she had like uh, the um, the It Clown and like Jason and Freddie and all of them, and they were in their drawers, and it was like a full body that uh -huh. she had drawn. And that's where I got the It set that I did for Halloween last year was from her set. Yeah, and it turned out okay. It's a whole different ball of wax. Um, drawn Not a whole different a, ball of wax on a nail with a paint with a art brush, then drawn with a pencil on a piece of paper. But I know I haven't. I've only tried that one time, but not drawing. I think I wrote something, and I was trying to make sure I got the lettering right. So I used the pencil to write, but I have never drawn on a nail with the pencil and done the done the. And I've seen several people do it, so I'm like, what? Why don't I just do it? You know what I'm saying? Not that I'm right. like a wonderful artist, but I think it would help. 
Girl. Because that's my goal is to get really good at, at the. I want to get the I character um, to where they, they look just like the Disney character or the Bugs Bunny character. Or right. Whatever. So I'm way back in the comments. But Robin Rouser, you do not look no 54. What? Yeah, she. I'm way up in the comments. My comments are got stuck up here. No, um, no, no. I'm saying what? She's fifty four. <laughs> yeah, she's like shit. I'm about. I'm gonna be fifty four. I'm like you do not look no motherfucking fifty four. Oh wow, really? Like, baby says uh -uh. she's sixty eight. Girl, and, and you out here still doing you some nails, baby? I hope that's me. I hope. Oh that's my me. goodness, I hope are you that's kidding me? me? Oh my goodness, McBaby. Wow. You. Mm, I'm. I'm. It's giving like active and. All up everywhere. Still doing the damn thing. I gotta see how you do nails. I'm, I'm so interested in seeing some some pictures of of your sets and stuff. Yeah, Jonna says we have three new people. They just started their YouTube journey, so I have them on my community tab. Please be kind enough to go check them out. Cool. Well, I'm glad you put them there, Jonna, because you know I have a hard time finding folks. I get everything <laughs> the right thing when I look somebody up. <laughs> I was looking up one of the Dianes. Shadow Diane, I think. And it was giving me a bunch of crazy things. And I'm like, what the freak? Like, none of these are her. <laughs> Not none of these are her. <laughs> it took me forever to find her. Uh, so shoot, I waited too long. Her. I waited too long. I waited too long. Yeah, McBaby, I hope to God I'm still doing this at 68. As, as hard as it is to mm -hmm. keep up at 48, <laughs> I just turned yeah. 48 in February. And looks damn good. Robin oh says, God. hey, Outer Claws, I love my cuticle oils. Tabitha, good night. I love my bully dogs. I know I call her bully, or bulldogs. I call her bully dogs. <laughs> Latina said, good night. I love my bulldogs. Eileen, good night, bulldogs. Good night, bulldogs. Oh, my God. Good night, girl. I think she left us a long time ago. I think we missed the boat. Oh, but... shoot. Wait, did I say good night to her when she left already? Robin, you're 51. Get the fuck out of here. What? A1. Oh, thank you, Robin. Huh? Yeah, Robin talking about oh. she's a damn 51. Oh, no, she looks damn good, man. Y'all got to check her out. Anybody who hasn't seen Robin. Black well, folks can, don't can age. Ah. Latina don't look her damn age. John, but, well, I know John is, she's still a baby, though. John's yeah, y'all with some don't pigmented like skin age. don't age like us white folks. <laughs> 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 but it's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> it's just oh, uh, so many pretty. of us women don't. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying us, like I'm part of whatever. I got my little gray hair, but I don't care. Don't look at all, like at all. We're just a damn girl. No, Robin, I would have never in my life thought she was no freaking 51. Mm -mm. I, at my age, aroundish. I mean, you're only, hey, get your ass out of here. Man, I swear I'm going to drop her over the pound. I swear I'm going to drop her over the pound. Stop it. Come here. Come Crazy here. ass dog. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> she got the zoomies all up under my desk. No, you gonna go zoom, on zoom, zoom. get 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 get. Don't come over here. Every time she gets in trouble with her dad, she comes and sits by me. I said oh, she does what the kids do. They like, mom, get your husband. No, get your husband. Like I can save them. <laughs> or they'll be like, get your son. When the two, I'm like, like that's not your brother. No, get off. Get, I'm not saving you. Get your butt out of there. You shouldn't have been being bad. <laughs> Crawling up under my desk. <laughs> uh oh, no, you can't be doing that. I hope when I get oh, in my fifties, I still look like I, because I, it, I just learned to love myself within the last couple of years. When I mm -hmm. found my identity in Christ, is when I learned to love me. Yeah. And I always heard it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. But no, now I know that that's real shit. Right. When you learn your identity in Christ and who he says you are, and you know that you know that you know, and can't nobody tell you no different, it's a whole different ballgame. You are beautifully and wonderfully made. I say God's a glass blower, and every piece he makes is different, and one might be short and round, and one might be long and skinny, but they're all gorgeous. Mm -hmm. You go in a glass blower shop, every piece is mesmerizing, but they're all different. Different all shapes, different, different lengths. That's right. That's right, the boo boo. Like I've been, uh, my friend, I've been trying to tell her, like you know, she's always, mm -hmm. well, she's nowhere near as pretty, or or she's so much prettier than me. And I'm like, girl, it oh, literally has Jesus. nothing to do with that because everybody has different taste. Everybody uh -huh. finds beauty in different aspects. 
I'm like, it has nothing to do with what you think is pretty. What you right. think is beautiful ain't how he sees it. He obviously don't think she's prettier than you because she'd be like, oh, well, his ex is gorgeous. I don't stand a chance. Bailey, you're like, and I'm well, like, well, he's with you, girl. It really, she, I'm like, it really, really, really has nothing to do with it. But, you know, I also have told her when you grow up in a household where your parents didn't tell you you're important. Right. You grow up not believing you're important. Mm -hmm. That is true. I mean, that's with any kind of relationships. And it starts with in the household as a child. If that gets drilled into your head enough, what is it called? Um, Stockholm syndrome where people oh, start yeah. loving their abusers or their kidnappers. That's right. After so long, like those three girls in Cleveland. Um, oh, what was their name, Sean? Um, Amanda. Amanda Berry. Uh, Gina De Jesus and I forget the other girl's name, but that guy had him for like a decade. Dang. And the one had a baby by him. Right. I remember that. Michelle something. Well, now Amanda Berry's doing the like the missing children and stuff on the news here. Like Aww. Cleveland's 20, 30 minutes away from me. Okay. And they, he, that fool, had them girls and had that little one that had the kid by him in love with him. For years mm -hmm. before they finally escaped. But she thought she was in love with him. And then when he got one of the mother girls, he had the hots for her. And she said they had issues amongst them for a while because, you know, they're the, the Stockholm Syndrome. Right, right, right. And people don't understand that. And I'm like, well, you know, if you've never been in that type of situation, you can't. How can you judge somebody that you know nothing about? That's true. Especially if you, if you don't. Well, because you could easily, I mean, you know, we, we'd be quick to say, like, oh, my God, how could you love him? Like, how could you fall in love with somebody who who kidnapped you, who raped you, who, you know, whatever? But you're right. We were not in that situation. And and I believe that there's a lot of manipulation and mental, mental, uh, uh, like, control or not call yeah, it, mental uh, abuse. Uh, yeah, mental abuse, totally. I've told people, like, uh, there's all kinds of different kinds of abuse. It's not just physical. There's mental, emotional, physical, financial, sexual. Yep. It's all everything. There's any type of, any form of abuse that you could think of. Oh, my God, get off my nail. It ain't got to be a black eye nail. to be abuse. Dude, I just, I just totally destroyed my nail right now. Because it was something brown in there, and I was trying to get it out, and I just... I hate that. It. And then the bead sets before you can get the shit out. <laughs> yep. And it, it, that's what happened, and I dug it out, and now it's, like, setting, and I can't... I'm going to have to... Uh, Fill the hole in. Really dig and push to get it where it needs to be again. There you Yikes. Go. Me and this pinky got issues. I can Ooh, hold it, but my hands have been around. voluntary movement, so they'll start like glitching around, and I'm like, "No, stop it! See what? Stop! Sit still." <laughs> <laughs> like if I'm holding on to something tight, I can control it. But if like holding a piece of paper, if I sit here with this lightly long enough, it'll start right. Them. And especially ah. when you're like trying to file that stupid pinky, that is my arch nemesis because it's always it's not your nemesis. I hate <laughs> your the little appendage. Nemesis. That's a little annoying appendage. <laughs> 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 Down a bit. Okay. So I was telling the girls um, yesterday on the phone that uh, Monica, the mom from Secret Now Affair, taught me uh -huh. a little something, something on one of her little videos. Let me grab a nail so I can show everybody. Oh, her mom, right. Yeah, Monica, okay. the the mother, right? She her uh, she's secret null affair, and then the daughter's done. It. Okay, I I didn't know that her handle was actually secret null affair till I just thought it was the name of the company till maybe a few months ago. So for the moon arch, like I was always you know either filing like this downward or working it out with the drill, but. She showed this in a video, and I'm like, oh, holy smokes, that makes that so much easier. Let me find my nail cutters. And they should be around here somewhere close. I just had them. Here they go. So she said, when you're clipping a nail, so if you're doing somebody else, you're holding it that way. If you're doing yourself, hold it this way. But she said, instead of holding it up and down straight, cock it forward and clip, and you get that arch. And then when you file, you know, straighten it up with your e-file. I'm like, oh, how mm -hmm. cool. That was perfect. 
<laughs> she said, how cool. It made it but, so much easier. So when you light the acrylic, it's just already there. So you don't have right. to try to put your finger on something and file downward. Uh -huh. Like you learn something new every day. Girl, I tried. I already tried doing. I mean, I did it with the, just the just the file, just the regular file. Not too. Ah, no. Shoot, 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 shoot. Having issues over there, Peach. Yeah, <laughs> I touched this with my, my with my acrylic brush. I hate when you when you. Cordy, I know that's right. Little mats in the monomer like misshapes your silicone <laughs> mat. <laughs> Look, Outer Claw says. Once you turn 40, start counting down every year till you hit 57. <laughs> Count backward. <laughs> Look, Corey, you talking about uh, I get fillers and Botox, and I don't care who knows. Not much, but a little. <laughs> Is it expensive over there? Because my friend was talking about that, and they told her 900 a flipping line in the last three years. Ooh, wee. I said, see, I guess me and my wrinkles are just going to have to get comfortable with one another because uh, my frugal <laughs> ass ain't going to spend that on that. I started thinking about, I could spend that on this and this and this, and I got all this that I got to take. Right. I'm trying to get the acrylic off my skin. Mm -hmm. God knows I don't want no contact dermatitis. I would die. No. I need a softer file for this part because that, I got these. This guy, it's so beat up. It's got cuticle oil on it. They're 8080 from um, Timu. They are good freaking files. Oh, I've seen those. those, eight, those eight, are those those rectangle ones? Yep. Yeah. And they are really good. Okay. Like this one, is, I've only used it twice, but it's got cuticle oil all over it. So it looks like it's been through the meal, <laughs> but just because I got oil all over it. So it does work then. <laughs> yeah. And they're pretty cheap. They're like $5 or a couple dollars for five of them. Or I think I bought a 10 pack for like five bucks. Oh, well, that's not bad. Oh, no. Not I when you see other that. people charging $25 for five I know. It's ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. I'm like, hey, I ain't knocking your hustle, but I ain't shopping with you neither. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not knocking your hustle. I just won't be. Uh, yeah, Corey said it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, honey, I, I can't afford it. But I'm like you. I don't give a flying fig what nobody thinks. I've tried to raise my kids. I'm like, why are you worried about what somebody else has to say? Right. If they don't life with you and pay bills with you and lay down in your house and wake up in your house and aren't part of your family, fuck them. Girl. <laughs> Their opinion don't matter. <laughs> I tell my kids that my kids do that all the time. I'm like, why do you worry about everybody else? Like what they think about you, how they see you. Like, do they pay your bills? Do they get put the food in your mouth, hair, you know, roof over your head? Are they giving you what you need in another way? You know what I'm saying? Like what? No, none of the above. So why do you right. care what they think about you? They're not or, contributing they to your on. life on this planet and not in no way whatsoever. Iota. Yeah. So there ain't no, there's no reason why you need to be concerned with what they think about you. Like poo-poo on them because if they're being negative or they're looking at you a certain way, making you feel a certain way, why are you even feeding into that? Like let it go. Worry about what's happening. Worry about your family. Worry about your kids. Worry about yeah. stuff like that. Don't I've always told mine, you worry about, even with their biological fathers and their families, I'm like, you worry about what's in these four walls, because everything else is extra. Right. Yeah, right. If they don't fall through, they don't fall through. But you know your mama's going to, and right. dad's going to. And DJ, DJ was four, and Dakota was six when me and Sean met. And DJ's like, Mom, I don't remember. I don't have a memory before dad. <laughs> he just he's like I don't think I could ever stand to see you with somebody else and they're so uh -huh. funny me and him is going somewhere one day and this guy from the church we kept passing the traffic and he kept beeping the horn he was like ninja that's my mama I'm like boy he's from the church shut up <laughs> I'm like he's not flirting he's just saying I and then yeah. me and uh, Michi was at the back to school thing and um the mayor and a couple of his homies were standing around and they were like eyeballing me. And he was like, uh, that's my mom. I'm standing right here. I'm like, shut up, walk. Like, you didn't have to say anything. <laughs> yep. Oh my like God. If, if I didn't look up, I don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> but you keep telling them that, PJ. And when they're grown, because now my suits. grown kids are like, shit, mom, I get what you're talking about. I could care less. Yeah, that's why I tell my my sister she spends way too much time and money 
and the effort into trying to fit this perfect mold because, you know, she lives in this little uppity ass neighborhood with these uppity ass people. Yeah, and yeah. always worried about what they think about her, how her, how, like, I get it. You no, know, there is absolutely nothing wrong with you wanting to look good and feel good about yourself and your home, right. but do it for you. Don't Not do it because you're trying to compete with your neighbors and try to fit in and fit the mold and whatever else. Like no. trying to hang with the Joneses. Yeah, just like be about you, be about your family. If you're worried, you're if you even worry a minute about what even a second about what your neighbors think, that's a second that you're taking away from what you should be concerned about, which is your family. And you're letting the devil steal your joy. Yeah, man. Come you on, worry man. about something that don't concern you. That ain't your business. They're well, like, they're and, entitled to their opinion as long as they don't impede on your life with it. Right. The whole the whole point. I mean, there's a point to that. It's like that's the whole point. This is the devil trying to keep you occupied, mm -hmm. trying to make your mind like that, trying to get you to think uh, in, in, a, in a way where you start getting paranoid, uh, like a schizophrenic type. Of, they're talking about me. They're doing this. They're laughing at me. They're this. They're that. Like, no, they ain't, man. Ain't nobody doing that but you. You are the only one that is doing that. Right. They're, they're probably not thinking about you. you. And, well, you well know, that's why um, I tell women forgiveness is for you, not for the other person, because that other person probably ain't even thinking about your ass. Right. And you're still butthurt behind something that happened three months ago. <laughs> you forgive people for your own sanity. Yeah. Because like they ain't they ain't studying you, but you're right. over here occupying your brain with them mm -hmm. feeling some type of way about nothing. Right. Like if you on my TikTok, my TikTok is more than nails. My TikTok is where I do my Mama Donna advice and where I let what's on yeah. my mind off. I always say I come on here and let it off. And I was showing my friend the one today because I was talking about her in it. And I said, you know, she's got some self-esteem issues. And I said, because this guy I know broke up with his significant other. Him and the guy had been together for quite a while. And he's like, I just feel worthless. And I'm like, excuse you. And I felt oh, some shit. type of way like... um. How does he define your worth? That makes no sense to me. Make that make sense. Right. I'm like, he wasn't there with you when you was born. He wasn't there with you through all these years. He was around for like three, four years. And he defines your worth. Excuse me. And I was on there and I'm like, you're, you can't change another person. A, you can't love them into changing. You can't support them into changing. You can't buy right. them into changing. If they was ratchet and raggedy three years ago, they're going to be ratchet and raggedy three years from now. <laughs> And you can't change nobody but you. They can't change nobody but them. I'm like, stop right. getting in these relationships with these broken down people thinking you could love them into loving you. And Right. And then that's going to change how they, like you, they, they do. People spend so much time because, and, I, and I'm saying this because I was that person, you know, and mm -hmm. I still struggle with it, but I, it's like, I, it's almost like I'm looking for the broke person to fix them. You know what I'm saying? And that's I called feel like, let me just love them so much that they they see like oh oh wait she does love me right. I'm gonna stop She's a now. Rider. Let me stick. I'm gonna her. do right. Yeah, you know, nah, man. That, that, no, that's baby, not that happens. that is literally codependency. Yeah, that's exactly this. It, that's textbook codependency. Yep. <laughs> and we all do it somewhere along the line or another. Yeah. Unless, like my from my one friend, she was raised by her parents to that she was loved and important and right. So she never had that issue. If you can't respect me, then you can get to F on. Yeah. Like there wasn't you no can second tell. chance with her. But she looks like Drew Barrymore and she's constantly got Jordan showing up at her doorstep and you know. Yeah. That time. You can tell though, you can tell who was raised in a home that was healthy and not, not dysfunctional. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I hate saying like that because look, hey, excuse me. I'm I'm right there too, though. Don't think I'm not. It's the truth. You know what I'm saying? It's weird because, you know, my, like I, like anybody who knows my dad was military, you know, we lived, my, uh, they were both, we were church going people. My mom, she was though at the time back then, extremely religious. Like it wasn't even, now she's more, she's got her spirit, spirit she's very spiritual. She's got her faith. Everything, she still believes the same thing. Ain't nothing changed with the weather with her. You know what I'm saying? But she has uh, uh, toned down a bit because through the years, that was something that had bought too many problems in, in our household right. with her, especially with her and my dad when he was still with us. Um, was that it was just it was so much, it was so extreme that somebody you know needed to show her, get her to see that you don't have to do all that. It, it ain't it ain't 
you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be all that for you to, for God to know that you're trying to live right. You love him. You're right. trying to send his message out to the masses and whatever. It's you not about. be perfect. Yeah, do I mean, you know, it, 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 there's no it need everybody for in your all that. Is perfect and it's too much. <laughs> it's too heavy of a weight to carry. Yeah, man, it's not good. It's it's like the opposite of what God Ooh. wants for us. You know what I'm saying, girl? That's what I was saying about like these uh, churches that try to use the word wrongly to convince women to stay in abusive relationships. Don't God hates divorce. Cindy. Yeah, God hates for us to be miserable too. He did not put right. us on this planet. He said, "I give you life that you have it more abundantly, abundantly, right. not to be somebody's freaking punching bag." That's right, baby. But you know, that's that's just the this world is ran by the with. enemy, and he he's the ruler of this world right now, and that's why he is so rampant right now because he knows his time is short. Because once Jesus comes back, yeah. he's it's a like, done daughter. So, because I did a study on that one time, look yeah. how, like, they talked about demons, and there was demons around in the Old Testament, but it wasn't as prevalent. You didn't hear right. as much about it until Jesus came on the scene. Until the new, right, that's right, that's right. And then when Jesus came on the scene and uh, rose back up in three days and got glorified and went to heaven, right. look how rampant demons are now. Right, exactly. The devil knows I his mean, time is short, and he's fixing like, to get yeah. locked up. That's right. That's, as, as time's passing, as time's progressing... It's just getting becoming more and more apparent. It's it's getting the the devil don't even the, the care. The spiritual to hide world is becoming more and more uh, <laughs> apparent. Like you're starting to see things now. You know, I mean, it's been there through the years. It's always been there, but you start seeing it more and more and more. Like you know, it's coming based on what the Bible says about mm -hmm. end, the end of days, end times, and and what's going to be running rampant. You know what I'm saying? What's going to be um, you know, we're going to be living in, in like the days of like Sodom and Gomorrah. You know what I'm saying? And that's, Jesus and that's, told his disciples it would be as it was in the days of Noah when he flooded, when God literally said he was sorry night, he yeah. created us. Yeah. yeah. Good night, babe. I'm sorry. Cordy says, my dad was very strict and he also mellowed out over the years, but I know uh, he meant well, very, for true, and just wanted the best for us, but we all ended up with men just like him okay, overbearing like and controlling very true it happens i mean it's almost like uh i don't know some of my kids out there today it's like you're looking for that same thing subconsciously like you don't even do it intentionally girl like you ain't well, because to as girls like and when we were at least if you're still on here i want you to hit me up on ig i'm gonna hit you up i want you to go live with me one day soon yeah uh, good night Anisha. Anisha. good night babes if you're not gone yet um, i hope you feel better i will say a prayer for you definitely girl it is because um, when we are little girls. Go feed your husband, Latina. Go feed your husband, girl. When we are little girls, we see our dads as Superman. Right. All children do. When we're little, daddy right. is the strongest, the best at everything. He can do no wrong. Shoot. So uh, even though as teenagers, we see daddy ain't the perfect nothing, but we still have that in our heads to look for somebody like dad. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I totally forgot to ombre my thumb. Or did I? I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if I did or not. I'm sure. Well, I got this big clunk of acrylic under the, right here, down here in the point of this freaking. Uh, I got it underneath on, on my edges here. Oh, I was just trying to drill it out. I'm trying. I was trying. To, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. But um, the word says, because the disciples asked Christ, well, when will you be back? And he was like, Excuse you can me. look at the sky and determine the weather, but you can't look at your surroundings and see when the Son of Man is coming. Right. And exactly. he said it would be as it was in the days of like Noah. Like a thief and in the night. Yep. You go back and you read um, when the flood happened, God literally was regretted creating us we had turned so ratchet and jacked up the streets were soaked mm -hmm. with blood people killing each other for any old reason at all it was terrible people running around immoral just having orgies and infidelity just crazy off the hook just like porn is today though if you think sit and look at it and read it just read the flood and how people were right before the flood of noah and that they thought he was crazy for building a boat in the desert and look at the world today. You will see we are there. And Christ is coming anytime. Like if he popped up right. tomorrow at one o'clock, it would not surprise me a bit. Right. Because people are killing each other for a little bit of nothing. That's because right. My granddaughter's dad. 
Him and the dude didn't like the way they looked at each other. He pulled a oh, gun, homie Lord. pulled a gun, homie shot him in the forehead, right. one shot, meant to kill, down you go. Yep. Because they didn't like how they looked at each other. Are you freaking mm -hmm. kidding me? Girl, that happened so much, though. Like, I'm not even going to lie. That was a lot of my fights when I was younger. Like, what, what the fuck you looking at, bitch? What you looking, what you looking at right that for? What? You got mm -hmm. something to say? Do I know you? Do I owe you? You know what I'm yeah, saying? It was a whole war. But that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's so much more rampant today. Like, and these pedophiles and, and human trafficking and all that shit. When we were kids, mm -hmm. we could ride our bike all over the doggone neighborhood. My daddy would whistle because he could do one of them real loud whistles where you yeah. put two fingers in your mouth like that. Yeah, yeah. My mom does that. Really. That's how she would call us in. That's right. how she would call us inside. Yep. That, that's how he did it. He was, and you better hear him and you better get your ass home, too. Yeah. Or, you know, it was like come in when the street lights come on. Yep. <laughs> if you had street lights, because some places didn't have street lights, but and when now, we had street lights, it was like, you better, when those street lights come on, you better be walking towards the door. <laughs> yeah, that's what Sean said. In the city is when the street lights came on. I lived in the country, so. Yeah. So no yeah, y'all didn't have street lights. <laughs> we didn't have lamp holes. Yeah. When, um, when the sun goes down and the stars come out, nah. <laughs> yeah, when, when you heard daddy whistle, you, first of all, you better not be too far to where you can't hear me. Well, you can't hear the whistle. I yep. know. <laughs> And if you I don't hear me, then I know you went too far. But um, nowadays, like my foster mom, she she um, had a daycare in her house for years and years and years. And right. she would get those little um, notifications that a pedophile moved within so many. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever's of yeah. her house. And she's got like a three ring binder full. And we ain't even in Cleveland. We're in the outskirts. Oh, wow. Okay. We're like 25, 30 minutes from Cleveland. It's like a little suburb. And um, it's just ridiculous. That's so why I'm like, my son, the 11 year old, was always, Mommy, when can I leave past the front yard? When I tell you, dude. Like, <laughs> but him being bigger than the average 11 year old, I let him like go down to the park or stuff if he's right. a friend. But my grandson is the size oh, of a piss ant. Like, he's nine, but he's the size of a six year old. I'm like, oh, no. so, I'm like, you get snatched up quick, fast, and in a hurry. And I always tell Donovan because he loves puppies and candy. And I'm like, that's what they uh -oh. do. Oh, yeah. come look at my puppy. Help me right. find my lost puppy. Okay, listen to me. Huh? I need to figure out your child. No, do me a favor. Go call daddy, please. Go call daddy. Right. We already asked daddy. He said he's tired. Hey, hang on, Donna. Hang on, girl. Mm -hmm. Hi, Donna. No, no. Hello. Hello. She yeah. said, Donna. <laughs> Listen, right. remember when you when, earlier I told you you're gonna have to wait for a minute because I'm gonna be on live. You remember me? Um, oh, hey now, Jenny. Yes. So, uh, Joey's here. Oh, girl, that's cool. That's cool. It's a Monday, honey. We yesterday my son ended I, up having to go to A and B, and I didn't know if I was gonna have to go to the hospital or not. <laughs> and spring sprung, and I couldn't catch up. We had the whole spring forward thing. Um, hey, Robin and Cindy. Good night, everyone. Good night, Chrissy. Um, Probably already missed you. Oh, you saw him. Now Jeannie says, hey, Donna, hey, PJ. Let's go. Hey, Miss Jeannie. Hey, Thank Chrissy. You, Miss Cindy. Oh, no, Chrissy came early. I'm sorry. Good night, Chrissy. I'm sorry. Hello, Miss Jeannie. Good night, Chrissy. <laughs> there. Yeah. Hello, Jeannie. Good night, Chrissy. Um, uh, Cindy go says, good night, the, Chrissy. Um, Please don't forget to like mama, and sub to all the ladies wait, here. Mama, mama parties. Uh, Eileen says, hey, Miss Jeannie. Solid. Solid. Um, and good night, go Chrissy. Mama party, please. I'll see if I can. I, I'll, I'll try to. I can't right now. Do you hear what I said? I told you this earlier. I told oh, you you're gonna have to wait. So you need to do that. I'm gonna. I can cash up you something to go eat. Yeah, I think that was good. Oh, yeah, I'm a perfectionist, so I'll take a hundred years. I trying to get him just right. Five. Okay, I asked Joey. He said he's tired. I said, can take the car, please, and go get you. I don't know what he said. So, um, I was just going to see if I can cash up you something so you can go get something to eat at Mama Margie's waiting. waiting. Can you not do that? Yeah. I think that one's all right. I just got to do some finish filing on it, but for the most part, she good. I had told him though. My son's calling because he, he he had he was at a friend's house and um I had told him I was gonna be going live and I had told him that before he even left his friends, I said, I wanna check in and wait and see because 
Lord Jesus, I don't have cash up. I'm gonna get some more cash up. Um, I'm gonna be live, and I don't want you to be. Or you're gonna have to be waiting. You're gonna have to just wait till I'm done. But he knew that because this is why I tell him not to go anywhere if I'm gonna be busy. Because then I gotta stop and go. Same thing with the kids when they went swimming. And then, but that was my fault because I totally forgot um, about the time. And I wasn't even paying. Oh Lord Jesus! I wasn't even paying attention to what time it was, so I messed up bad right there. And then that's why I had to stop and go get them and come back. But I, like Solomon, he's down the street, but he ain't right down the street. So no. I and girl, my kids, I'll be like, dude, do not call me while I'm on live. And it never fails when them sad suckers try to call. You know, it was it was crazy because earlier it was all good. Like okay, he, he wanted to get off the phone, so it was like, no, I know, I know, I know. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. But now that he's there and he's waiting, I'm like, can you just come get me? Why can't you just come get me? Like, dude, this is what I told you. you. Right. When you didn't want to hear me. (laughs) And I told him, he knew even like from, uh, remember it was supposed to be uh, Sunday, right? He's been gone Mm -hmm. for a couple days. So I told him since then I was going to be busy. And then when he called me earlier today, I said, we didn't, we ended up not going yesterday. So it's going to be today, later. Um, I do not want you trying to call me and rush me. Otherwise, you need to wait or go to grandma's house and chill over there. You know what I'm saying? But right. so he chose to come over here. And I said, all right. You, you Remember what I'm saying? When you get there, just, you need to wait. And he's like, I know. I, okay, okay, okay. I know, I know. Mm-mm. See? You're not paying you attention. Know, with you guys talking about, because yours are on spring break, right? Yes. They're on spring break. Yep. I went looking yesterday. Mine don't start spring break to the 25th of March. Yeah, like the twenty. Okay, so they go all this week and up till Thursday next week, right? Because I know John is also. We were talking about that. She was like, her kids are not on spring break either. So I guess we start early over here. I don't know. I, Ohio is so crazy. Like we always went back to school right after. Was it Labor Day, Memorial Day, whatever the first Monday in September? Was. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, y'all and, go back in September. Yeah. Well, not now. They go back like the. Third week of the fourth week of August, they do like a three day week. Then they got that long weekend off and go back on Tuesday. That don't make no sense. That makes absolutely no sense to me. Just wait till afterwards, like they used to. Mm -hmm. Well, and last year, the kids didn't get out till like June 7th. And I'm like, what the freak? Like, summer vacation turned into two months when it used to be three months. It did. Do you remember that? I I Mm -hmm. had to tell my kids that. Hold on, girl. I was like, like we had June, July, and August off. Um, when here in Ohio, some well, I understand the years when we have bad snows and they have to have a lot of snow days, or we have a lot of days that are below um, right. negative thirteen and they can't go to school because we'll get days like that. Yeah, but they didn't have a lot of those. They had one day this year where it was below negative thirteen and they couldn't go. They only had one snow day. So these teachers, it's because the teachers want it that way. They want to stay longer so they can come back later. But it doesn't seem like it's any freaking later. Okay. Don't make any sense to me. I'm like, y'all get the shitty end of the stick. They (laughs) chopped your summer by a month. I know. I just know. I just remember when I was younger, we used to have long summers. Like, yeah, we got three months. So Girl, the whole yeah. summer you were off. You didn't go. You to got you got out of school. I, I kept thinking we got out either at the end of April or beginning of May or something. But girl, my kids don't get out until June, June first. Right or June, here, the first, June seventh, the first week of June. Right there, you go. First week of June, and then they go back uh, at the first in the first week of August. Yeah, see that's short as fuck too. That was the ours go, they get oh, out the, like June 7th, and then they go back the last week of August. But I'm like, when we were kids, we got out the end of May, and we went back the first Monday after Memorial Day, Labor Day, whichever the first Monday in September is one of them two. I can't remember right. which one. This bit from uh, Gmail is the business. Remember these ones I showed you? Let me see. The diamond? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is a medium grit. Uh huh. This one, when I have oh, like a like real humpy dump yeah. nail, it's real. Or when that I one real, is when extra I take your nails course, off, girl. I use this. Like That's when I, if I want to yeah. file nails off, I will use this till I get them down real thin and then soak them. 
Right, because that like that's like taking the nail all the way down on that. And that's it's got the black diamond in it for the grittiest. Like it's different colors per grit. I know. Yeah, the black is extra coarse. Uh, I think the green is coarse, or I may have it backwards. Um, this two one is medium. Blue I know that. is medium. Blue is medium. Red is fine. Yellow is extra fine. Um, Pink is fine too, but I'm not sure. It might, I think it's it like might a find a medium, maybe because it shares with red. Probably, I don't know. I just know and maybe because red is fine, so they may be like throw pink in there also. I guess I don't know. Mm. But so I'm um, like, I want a coarse, coarse one for when I'm removing nails. Because if you ain't got a good coarse bit to file off a nail, you're gonna be at it. <laughs> oh yeah. I have a really good bit. When I was uh, a while back, I'm trying to say, maybe it was like two years ago. It, no, no, no. I'm sorry. It was 20. Well, maybe it was 2022. I had taken a, a course they had here in San Antonio. Uh, some guy from Instagram came and he was doing a nail class. Mm. Um, let me try this out. Lord Jesus. Um, I paid for the class, went and took it. It was a three day, I believe. Three day? Was it three or two? No, three day. It was a three day class. Wait, wait, wait. Was it two days? Girl, I cannot remember, but the point is, um, when he was here, I just followed this nail too much, and I don't even care. I'm done. That's it. I get up. Can't go back now. I got to hurry up. So um, he had bought, you know, they when they come do stuff like that, they'll bring their products and whatever. And put yeah, them Did you get a nail, kit for know. the class? They do have a kit. Yeah, they gave you a kit, but it wasn't. So it wasn't like a Kiara Sky kit like some people do or like a name. It was uh, his products that he's uh, a company that he's involved in, either his or he's a, a partner with or something yeah. called Wave Gel. Hmm. Or is it Wave Gel and something else, I think. Oh, so, Zule, her kit is her product. Yeah, right. Exactly. So um, he gave us that. We basically, basically got like a nude, a uh, clear, and a what was it? Like a we got a peach, pe uh, I can't remember what he called it, but the peach is like a nude, a clear and a white, I believe. I think of of acrylic, no monomer. We got uh, tips. No um, monomer. What the world was you supposed to do with no monomer? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. He he provided monomer, but it wasn't like our own little, you know, whatever. You didn't get to take it with you. Yeah, no, no, no. He just had a big ass gallon there. You need it. You get it. Um, and then I'm trying to remember what else. Uh, some some rhinestones. Some. What, is it? what else was it? I can so. Oh, oh, gel polish, black and white gel polish. Mm -hmm. uh, also these. I got these from him. Also, these little uh, gold and silver wave oh, gel nice. uh, gel oh, paints. Pink Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those are 10 grams. They're like a little bit bigger. Uh, and then um, I'm trying to remember what else. Oh, he gave us, we got some inks and we got some uh, stuff to do dip uh, dip nails. You know, the one, two, three mm -hmm. uh, for dip. Um, we got blooming gel. We got chrome base. That chrome base, I absolutely love it. And I don't really see a whole lot of that, but what it is, it's a very, very thick um like a clear polish, right? But you use it for like chrome. Oh, okay. And and um, so it's like a 3D chrome. So basically, you can lay it on. You can do designs with it or whatever. It's not that putty stuff. No, it's just it's a it's like a gel, but it's a very thick, thick gel. You know what? I have this. Um, I loved it. Loved this it. Jelly chips, it and it's a really thick top coat. Uh huh. I wonder if, how that would if that would work good with chrome. Which one? like my nails almost look like they're, it's a step four jelly chips. Oh know, yeah, that, that, that's a little thicker, right? Yeah, it's really thick. Where's the nails I took off? Let me Dude, see it, would work. Yeah. Could, like, it looks like there's an extra layer. As long as the um, you see it, like it looks like there's another layer on top. Right. Of the yes. Acrylic. Yeah. That's how I yeah. be good for acrylic. I mean, for chrome. I mean. Yes. If you're if it's thick, you can definitely lay it down and throw some chrome on it, and it looks so nice. Um, I did that. We did that a couple times in practice to see how it would look. But um, ow! <laughs> I got a bunch um, of crumbly powders. I, I like how the red looks in chrome. 
Oh yeah, I do have red. It's so pretty. But I think that's it. I'm trying to remember. He didn't give us like a hand or finger. Uh, we had to bring our own. Like we had, you had to bring your own hand or finger. I'm sorry, or that hand that it, it was. He had us. He said you can bring whatever you want, but he preferred that we brought these. Uh, you know how that hand that you got in the super scoop? Uh huh. Okay, something like that. Like the hand was like more like robotic type looking hand. Right. It wasn't silicone. Not like silicone. Right. Exactly. So yeah. And then I'm sure there's some other stuff I'm forgetting, but it, it was pretty decent. You know, oh, some mats. He gave us some silicone mats. Uh, and then uh, we did get a glitter or a glitter acrylic or something like that. I think I seen pictures on your IG. Of yes. You I took, I did take pictures there one time. Um, we had to do that, post that to get something. I can't remember what it was, but. Well, I think I'm gonna have to say this is good. <laughs> I can't see. Mm -hmm. I'm almost there. No, no, you're fine. This you're one fine. Just... crooked on the end. They're all crooked I'm on the end. Be, I think I'm my husband though. says I hold my head crooked, and that's why everything's crooked. <laughs> no, uh, not holding your head crooked. <laughs> I do. The one time, me and my stepdaughter Khadijah was, I had like all these mirrors that went together, like it's like a picture kind of thing on the wall. And oh, we stood yeah. back and looked at it, and they were all crooked. <laughs> Uh uh. I'm like, girl, we gotta take him down and do it, <laughs> do it all over again. It's crooked as fuck. <laughs> I'm like, you must have your head crooked too. <laughs> so I'm trying to even these up. I don't want it to boom that deep. Doesn't help that my OCD kicks in and my perfectionist comes out. I know. I'm telling you, man. I totally understand where you're coming from. That's what happens to me. My mom, she was like, PJ, if you continue to do that, when you start taking clients, you are never gonna going to get done. <laughs> yes. It's going to be something else and something else and something else. And oh, wait, and oh, this and that. And then you're going to take forever. Nobody wants to sit there and take forever. And I was like, well, they know what they're getting themselves into. <laughs> when they sit in the well, chair. Like, I'll I make don't sure take that a lot home. of clients. My one girl, she comes faithfully every month. Like, yeah. I'm more interested in creating content than I am in taking clients. Yeah. And uh, because I'm more interested in the art than anything. Like, I yeah. like sculpting nails and I like the art part of it. I'm not really interested in turning a buck or nothing. Uh -huh. I hustle my little dollars up in any which way I can that's legal, but right. I'm not, like, focusing on trying to have... 10 clients, five clients a week or nothing like that. But Tammy knows. She was like, girl, I want you to take your time. She was like, your art, now art, surpasses any other home-based oh, nails. Oh, it's around. really good. You're, I mean, your nails come out so beautiful. Oh, thank like, you. So beautiful, girl. Like, she keeps having people try to talk her. Oh, go to my cousin. My Because co there's one girl that we know, um, her cousin is doing nails out of the homeless shelter. She moved here from somewhere else. But she's trying to make money off of doing nails. And you got to go to the homeless shelter to her for her to do your. Okay. And I'm like, a lot of people don't want to go up in there. Oh, uh, like, I see what you're saying. Okay, okay, babe. like she has. It's she not does like them there. Yeah, it's not like she's alone in her kitchen. There's people roaming around. Right. There's no privacy. But Timmy was like, no. She was like, your nail art and the fact that your nails last for three and a half to four weeks before I, she ends up breaking one of them or something, but they don't right. pop off. And she was like, I can't afford to get my nails done every two weeks. And I don't want to walk around missing right. a nail. She was like, I know your shit stays on right. this long. And she was it's like, I don't care how fast. <laughs> but I did whack my time with her in half. <laughs> okay. Like, so I'm, I told her same thing. Practice makes improvement. And I'm always practicing. Mm -hmm. Practice makes improvement. Like, I got to learn to stop laying my acrylic so thick because that's generally what I'm doing is you forgot what big I'm sorry oh Sean talking about me keeping him up late oh uh oh <laughs> yeah. uh -uh. but he keeps it I, it's not always me doing nails a lot of times it is I'm not gonna lie but we sit up late regardless because we both fall asleep in the evening like we did today and then we're not tired at nine o'clock <laughs> <laughs> because we don't slept from four to seven <laughs> Right. But it's because we get up at 5.15. I hate when that and happens. And he's yeah. on his feet all day. Like, his job is a man's job. A lot of these young dudes go to the bathroom and you never see him again. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's funny you say that because I know exactly what you're talking about. When you say they that. leave and they're gone. They're like, oh, I'll be or they go on lunch break and that's it. Uh, like no. the steel drums that he crushes, there's a machine that does it, but when the machine breaks down, they have to manually do the shit. And the ring for the steel drum is 30 pounds for the ring, not counting the drum. That's just the ring Ooh, that goes on top of it. And these young kids are like, fuck this. I'm out. <laughs> That's some bullshit. I'm like, it's a man's job. So he's whooped when he gets here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, imagine. No? And then today, we did, I usually make him, I get up in the morning, and I make him his coffee and two sandwiches. Mm -hmm. And he'll eat one in the morning time and the other one for lunch. But this morning, we, he was late already getting me the bread and bringing it back. And I texted him, I'm like, did you eat? He was like, I ate some chips. I'm like, chips? <laughs> no, there all day that's not breakfast. Not gonna get it. Breakfast oh and lunch, dude. He come home at like around three o'clock. I was like, I'll have you some sandwiches made when you get here because chips out the vending machine from five fifteen, well, from six a.m. to two thirty p.m. is not sufficient, <laughs> especially for him because no, no man, he, he, he can eat. <laughs> you <laughs> Yes. Oh my goodness. I know. I better raise up off me. I wish I knew what I did with my lighter. This is going to be a problem. Are you lighting your cigarette on the stove? Yep. <laughs> That's how you got to do it, girl. I had like three or four lighters. I might have to go look through coat pockets and shit because I used to hate that girl when I would smoke and be like losing my shit all the time. Well, I was getting on my girl's car today. She took me to my doctor appointment and I'm um, I had a big Pepsi in a paper cup from where we ate at to bring right. home for my husband. And I was trying to get it out of the door and it was stuck and the lid was popping off. So I set everything down, including my lighter, to get the Pepsi out the door. I got mm -hmm. my purse. I got um, the mail, which was my oils and DJ's air freshener. And by the time I got in the house, I can't find the fucking lighter. It's not in her car. It's not in my pocket. It's not in my purse. I don't know where it went. Oh, well. So now I keep fighting the stupid stove. And it's going to be a problem come tomorrow because I got to go to my friend's house. I'm and not... you can't take the stove with you, baby. Yeah, right. And she's asthmatic, so ain't no lighting it on her stove and going outside. Oh, no. But she, instead of cleaning tomorrow because she's moving out, uh, she wants me to drive her to her divorce attorney appointment and um, help her pack some stuff afterward for the same monetary value for me. Oh, yeah. okay. Like I've been cleaning every Tuesday for them for the past three or four years. Wow. Every Ooh -wee. and me and her got into it one time and I wasn't cleaning there for a few months and when she called me back, well she got into it. I'm like, you know what? Clean your own house. Um you could tell I hadn't been there. Oh wow. I, like it's just her and her old man, but his knees don't bend. And she uses okay. a cane to get around, so they can't like get out on the floor and go up under tables and dust and shit like I do. Right, right, right. Oh shit! Okay. She had this rug. It was one of them like big ass rugs, not a seven by nine. It was more like a uh, thirteen by fifteen. Uh -oh. Like would fill up a whole room, and she right, wanted it right, under right. the kitchen table. Well, when by the time she got dressed and came out of where she was, I had the old rug up and the new rug down. Hey, oh wow. Creamy. And she said, how did you do that? And I'm like, girl, I got up under there and lifted that bitch with my back and rolled the rug out. There you go. There's a will, there's a way. <laughs> That's right. I would have done the same exact move, dude. It worked. I would have used my back and pushed it back, pushed it up. Oh, so my son calls me this morning at like 7 o'clock. And um, he was like, mommy, he was like, I'm about to come to the house. And I'm like, ain't you got to work? And he was like, yeah. He's like, but I worked overtime yesterday. There was supposed to be... 13 of us, but everybody left but three of us, and they told us we only had a thousand units. He works at this warehouse where they like pack Amazon, UPS, and um, oh shit, another one. It's like FedEx packages on you know pallets and then onto trucks to get shipped out. But they told right. me we had a thousand units between 13 of them. But when they got there, it was 3,000 units, and 10 people got mad and left because they don't normally work on Sundays. Oh, shoot. Okay. So here's DJ picking up 90 to 110 pound two person lift packages uh -oh. for 3,000 packages. Well, he had a thousand and the other two dudes had a thousand each. So he, he hurt his back and he was like, I got home from work, got in the shower, got in the bed, and couldn't get back out. 
Oh, Lord, Jesus. Are you serious? Yep. And I'm like, well, and he had went out on his break this morning, and he was like, Mommy, I can't get back out the truck. I said, well, it's going to screw your paycheck. He was like, no, it ain't. I got 17 hours overtime. I said, well, then you got two days to heal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, because when you throw your back out, I said, hey, you stop being Superboy. Because when I was an aide and I would lift right. people by myself, I wasn't supposed to. And that's why I'm covered with arthritis. Because mm -hmm. you could never find an aide around to help you with anything. Damn it, I got my, my cuticle. Yeah, like, right. I got to refuse to do that because that job. Ain't going to give a shit that your back is screwed when you can't do their work. Right. No, they don't. They really don't. Too, not, not too many people, not too many job places really give two shits about their employees' health. And well, they care about their production. They care about numbers and stuff like that. That's it. Well, like Dakota having influenza A and B, he oh works with this old man in his 60s. And he was like, well, mom, I'm worried about giving it to that old man and it killed yeah. him. Mm -hmm. But his job, his supervisor was like, I don't know, you know, if they'll accept your hospital note or not, if it's not COVID or a broken bone. And oh, Dakota no. just couldn't understand that. He was like, I don't want to kill old dude. That'll be on my conscience for the rest of my life. Yeah. Do they not understand that he's sick like that? I told him, I said, you know what? I said, you take that doctor's note in there. And if they fire you, you go to the Tim service and go to work with your brother. For real. I'm like, screw them. They ain't paying you enough. That you can't stand up and breathe because of your asthma having the flu. What are you going right. to do, go there and pass out and then they ambulance you out and you get the bill? Right. It's not that serious. And I told him, I'm like, honey, I worked in a nursing home and had pneumonia with a doctor's letter that I had a fever of 103 with pneumonia. And they still <laughs> wanted me to work that double shift. They did not care the old people was in there. Nah, man, you can't be working around old people like that. As long as their staff was covered, they That's did not terrible. give a shit. So, you know, back then, it wasn't the masks weren't a thing, but I wore one because I, I'm like him. If I kill somebody's grandma, I'm going to feel so bad forever. I mean, I mean, come on, who wouldn't? Who? What normal person with a conscience wouldn't? You know, like, oh, I'm sick. Let me go to work. I get uh, older, uh, an elderly person uh, sick. You don't think that's that's going to be on your conscience? Come on, right. Man. And well, the ADON, ADON didn't give a shit. As long as they had, because back then we had, what was it, 15 residents per aid. And as long as she had her coverage, she did not care. That's and that terrible. was the roughest day of my life. I'll never forget it. I worked 3P to 6A with a fear of 103 and pneumonia. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and then I called off the next day like, F you and everything you're about, I'm going to lay here and die. <laughs> Not if you and everything you're about. <laughs> well, so many of the family members just, you know, I didn't, I didn't really worry about them firing me because I was a family favorite because like, right. we had this little old man. I mean, his name was Jay. I can't think of his last name, but he, he couldn't talk anymore. And he used to be a um, oh, like re wild reserve conservationist in Alaska. Oh, okay. Okay. And he was real gruff and Ur. he's always growling. I'm like, Jay, if you want to turn over there so I can get this shit off you and quit growling at me, I don't care about you growling. Right. And his wife just thought that was the funniest because he would cooperate with me. She was like, he likes you. Uh. And I'm like, well, he don't sound like he likes me. And she was like, he likes you because you're stern. He's like, right. you're not mean, but you're stern and no right. nonsense. Yeah. And then you have them aides that work night shift. This one little old lady, she was just like, oh, my God, I'm so glad to see you the next morning. She was like, these girls, I'll ring the bell because she had urinary frequency. Like, she always had to pee. And, yes, it's annoying, but she can't help it. Mm -mm -mm. You're freaking 80 and your bladder saying I got to pee every 15 minutes. It just For is real, what it man. is. And you're getting paid to go put her on the freaking bedpan, take her to the toilet, whatever she <laughs> wants to do to preserve her dignity at this uh, age in life. Like, I have gave quite a few aides. Heck, this one girl I worked at, um, I was on a uh, Alzheimer's unit. And they think that you're raping them. They don't think you're giving them a shower. Their minds are gone. And right, they're fighting right, 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 and right, screaming right. and scratching. And this stupid girl took the shower nozzle and sprayed her in the face. Oh, are you serious? Man, I was so mad. I snatched out her hand. I'm like, get your motherfucking ass out of here. I said, you know what? Matter of fact, punch out meet me across the street. I'm like, out, 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 out. And I was a mentor trainer aide at that. Because back then, they gave the classes in the nursing home. 
And they had me and two other guys on, or no, a guy and another girl on a total care unit that got the new aides they pumped out of class to train them to work the Alzheimer's wing in the total care unit. Wow. And I'm like, if that was your mama, would that have been cool? If that was your grandma, would that have been cool? This old lady don't ain't screaming because she's being bad. She thinks we're trying to take her. Dang, that's crazy. Imagine, imagine. Oh my goodness. My I was furious. When like, the mind goes. Dang, and they're angry because in the early stages, they know that they're losing it. And I'd be pissed the fuck off, too, if I knew I was losing my mind and there was nothing I could do about it. And I was going to end up in a diaper eating baby food. Yeah, sorry, hang on, girl, hang on. Mm, do you? Let me see what y'all are talking about. You want what? Well, give a hand signal. Put it down. Give a second. As long as he's got a fat wallet. Uh oh, boo creamy. I know what that means. <laughs> you know, are y'all looking for robbing a husband? Robin, you ask God to send you your husband. Let him do the picking. I keep trying to tell my friend that. She keeps picking all the wrong ones. Talking about she knows what make her happy. I said, mm -hmm, apparently not. Ask God to send you your husband. He will. Ooh, Latina, you got a tall hubby. I'm, well, I'm little, so everybody's tall next to me. I told my husband he married me because I made him feel tall. I come up to his chin. <laughs> now he looks big standing next to me. Like he put his thumb next to mine and it's like three times the size of mine. <laughs> now he's telling his big old hands. He's always breaking something. I'm like if it's steel, I don't worry about it. But if it's glass or plastic, I got to be there because he don't know when to quit and he always breaks shit. Heavy handed. Jesus. Ooh, I just had a hot flash from hell. Lord, mercy. What in the world? It just got hot as shit all of a sudden. Ooh, that box is just jammed under my chair. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I think I got her. Hang on, Donna. Hang on, girl. Take your time, honey. They talking about Grown folks business. <laughs> I know that's right, Robin. You and God must have a reason for that because when he wants you to be with somebody, he'll put them in your path. You just got to not, um, you got to learn how to recognize when it's Mr. Right and not Mr. Right now. Because Mr. Right now ain't good for nothing but right now. Shoot, I was extra careful after I had that damn stalker. Whew. Well, after that, I met my old man, and he's been here ever since. It was funny, though. When my dad passed away in 06, some of my homies stopped by to give their condolences, and one of them popped his head in and was like, come on, Bama, don't be in there trying to F based and he was like, based and stingy. She ain't about to come up off nothing. I said, I showed a freak egg, and I'm like, I end up with stalkers. And then here comes Ray Ray Goofy ass talking about, you sure do. I seen D, what's his face? I ain't gonna put his name out there on Cinder Block the other day. I'm like, and you bitch, you didn't call me? Like, if you seen him on Cinder Block speaking in the windows, you ain't calling tell me? Stupid. <laughs> like, thanks for nothing. Because that man was a piece of work. A piece of work. And he's still crazy. He's doing to other women what he did to me 20 fucking years ago. So, you know that he's crazy. He ain't grown out of it. That wasn't just being young. That's just him being nuts. He can't say boo in my direction now, though, because I got a whole team of gorillas just waiting to whoop that ass. I wish he would. <laughs> These boys ain't babies no more. And my 21-year-old uh, told me, he's like, breathe my mama's name again. I'm going to come to your broad's house and smoke you. I ain't heard a bad word from that fool since. <laughs> He's scared to death of DJ. DJ's the type that scared me growing up because he could take a punch and he could fight. And I was always afraid somebody was going to shoot him. 
Like you're the type of dude that guys are afraid of because they're afraid to take an L nowadays for whatever reason. I think they're supposed to be able to whoop the world, I guess. And I tell them, can't nobody whoop the world. It's on my nightstand. Okay. Did you get us uh, clothes for tomorrow? Or you good? All right. Well, I just need a. My, my, my hoodie looks cool. Well, you need a different hoodie, and that hoodie needs to go in the washer then. Put it in that back seat over there by the uh, basement stairs, at the top of the stairs, because that needs to go down. Well, how did it get to smell like poop, Don I mean, Donovan? I don't know. And my kid name starts with D's. I screw up. Quite frequently. Maybe when I was taking a poop with it on, some poop got on you. Well, I hope not. That's quite nasty, but put it in the laundry, you dirty boy. See, boys are awful, y'all. They're just ratchet little creatures. <laughs> all right, let's check out these apexes and see if they all apex in the same height and direction. And that that's when you know it's from God when you're not looking. Blue Creamy, you got that 100 on the nose. I had put Psycho Bob in prison. Uh, the prosecutor, okay, now mind you, I had 35 different reports on this fool, and they wouldn't do nothing. The last day when they finally locked him up, they put him in the front seat of the female cop car, and he kicked the computer off the dashboard and hit her in the face. Now they want to do something about it. So come the day that I'm supposed to uh, testify in front of the grand jury, like, y'all, it was a lifetime movie. This fool would hide in my house. He fell out the dryer one time. He was hiding in the play school dollhouse on the porch, climbed in, choked me out from behind. I woke up with a fractured eye socket. My face was blue from my nose back past my ear. Eyes swelled shut, busted rib, stomped on with Timberlands all over me, just hide under the car trying to cut my Achilles tendon. It's more than the average domestic violence. Like, he was batshit crazy. And they would do nothing. And I was always, I'm like, if this man kills me, I'm going to make sure my kids own this city. And um, they finally locked him up then. But the prosecutor said she was going to give him a year for every year I ran. And I ran for six freaking years from this crazy fool. And about a year after I locked him up, I met my old man. Noise. And I only had oh, intentions of borrowing him for the night, I, and we're still together 17 years later. <laughs> I've been in the house for like nine months, and my foster brother was like, get out, go, go do something. You need a life. And I met him, and that's all she wrote. The first night we kicked it, I took him to my friend's house, and he was like, I thought he was going to your house. I said, I don't know you. I ain't about to take you behind closed doors and hand my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're capable of, Jack. I'm scarred. <laughs> no. Yeah, absolutely no. So I've got these purple hues to them. So, oh, shoot. But when you're not that looking, that's when God puts the right one right there. His perfect timing. He said he prayed three days before he met me because he was tired of bopping around, too. God sent me a good one, and I'll stick with it. And 17 years later, here we are. Yeah. That froze up. And it was God's plan. He ain't seen the inside of the penitentiary since we met. We Now, we've struggled. We've been homeless together. We've been everything under the sun together. And it ain't been easy by a long shot. But that's what long-term relationships are. I know. Well, my, my camera froze up. I'm trying, I think it's trying to catch up. There it goes. I, I was say you're not froze on my end. No, no, no I, I just, my phone was, um, my battery is low, so I had to plug it into the charger. Oh. I'm trying to find what I'm going to use. Girl, I filed. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do a straight nude uh, base, I mean a nude uh, uh, ombre. Mm -hmm. I did do like a clear, um, ugh, it's all dusty. I did like, you know, a clear, uh, I laid down some clear. So mm -hmm. And I, I just put too much, like the, the layer that I put a clear at the bottom, honestly was a little bit too um too thick. Uh-huh. 
So when I put the when I put the nude on top, I didn't have enough. You know, I didn't want to make it all bulky, so I couldn't put a whole lot of nude. And so because of that, um, I, when I filed down to take the bulk off, you know, uh, right, filing off, you know, the nude. So that's what I'm trying to just my little finish filing here and make it smooth yeah. and buff it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm not even going to try to sit there and try to build it up again. I'm just going to cover it with, uh, when in doubt, blink it out. Yeah. If I was going to say cover it up with something. I'm going to cover it up with some, some, some rhinestones. Rhinestone cow. Bling fixes everything. The blingy bling, it does you right. Anytime, morning, noon, or night. All right, all right, all right. Dust me off here. I'm just trying to figure out what. Okay, I don't want to do. I don't. Yeah, I think I'll do these, but I do have those just in case. I'm trying to get this product off my skin. I have these. I try not to buff thing. too much because I, no. you know, when we were taught back in the day, buff it till it's smooth as silk, but I've hence learned that you want to leave it a little rough. Because buffing it till it's smooth makes peeling and things pop off. Right. This pink is, that pink's good. So I think I'm going to do that pink. I mean, but back I just, then we didn't have bone. gel, nothing. Everything was regular, so. Regular degula. And regular polish didn't peel off, so I guess they weren't concerned with that. Yeah, that's true though, right? That's yeah. the thing that sucks about um well you know gel polish and, and lacquer i'm trying to read some comments here oh i'm sorry my, Jeannie says my husband is heaven sent i can't even begin to explain who he is i just thank god for blessing me with him hey, he says we have huge blessings next to us amen so sorry has if anyone I didn't say else cap cut boot, been glitching out? Oh no, boo, don't tell me that because I use cap cut. It better not be glitching up. Oh no, I use cap cut too. Because I cannot figure out iMovie to save my soul. So screw I don't that. know, Cindy. I'm trying to figure that out right now. I, know I understand I cap cut very well. I don't understand iMovie to save my life. Yeah, I haven't tried iMovie. I know, um, who was it? I think not told me about trying iMovie, but. I have well, Tina and Portia yeah. told me, but I tried, and I'm just like, yeah, fuck this. I don't understand. You know, when you when you're <laughs> used to something, because you're used to cap cut, so it's hard to try to to learn another uh, method. And it makes all the sense in the world with like adding the little doodads and stuff. Like I went on iMovie and I watched a few videos, but I'm just like, I think I like cap cut better. Yeah. But I can edit on there easily. I know how to trim a part out if I don't want it. Right. The I'm only thing I don't like it about it is if you speed up a part, it has to speed up that whole clip. It won't speed up a portion of the clip. You you you, you can. You have to um um hold on. I what's that word? So if you want to just speed up a tiny little portion of the whole clip, mm. you go from where you want to start the speed up and where you want to stop the speed up, and you split them. So you oh, go okay. you go up and you touch it. Like right where you want to split it at, and you stop there, and then you press split, and it'll it'll make a white mark, and then you go to the end of where you want it to stop. Um, you go back to regular speed, and then you right. split it there too. So then you tap on that one little section that you just split, and change edit the speed on that one little section. Oh, thank you, PJ. You just taught me something. Oh, you're very welcome. That's what I'm here for. It's what I live for. Yeah, Boo Creamy says, says I love Cap Cut, but why when it starts acting up? I want, did you need to do like maybe a, um, what's it called? An update or anything, Boo? I haven't used it since last week, so I don't know. Sometimes. Apps. Whenever I uploaded that one set, I did. Oh, I'm trying okay. to get myself on a schedule. Hey. And I'm not quite sure how to like upload videos two days a week and upload shorts a couple days a week and go live on Sundays. But like my life is topsy turvy and I never know when I'm going to be able to actually do a whole set of nails without. Because like I said, when a woman pops up and, you know, they're in the middle of a divorce or their child died or something, I that pulls precedence. Yeah. One time when I first started like ministering to women. 
I had a lady call me at like 3 o'clock in the morning like I got one in the chamber and I'm about to take his ass out. I'm like, wait! I'm on my way! <laughs> Don't do it! He's not worth prison for the rest of your life! Stop! Um, You've got kids! <laughs> so true! So true! I, I told my kids, I said, um... Uh, the, the guy that had whooped on my daughter was explaining why he whooped on her to her little brother. And I'm like, look, check this out. If you're kicking it with a girl, I said, a woman going to do what she want to do with her body the same as a man going to do with what, what he want to do with his body. You don't, if you're not married to that person, you don't get to call no shots. That's right. I don't care if you walk in and her head's going north and her, or her head's going south and her ass is going north. You better turn around and leave. Quit messing with that hooker. I said, because what's going to happen is you're going to be in jail and she's still going to be hoeing. So you don't get to pick who does what with who. You shouldn't have got with a woman that loose to begin with. Your fault. <laughs> I'm just putting a little something, something on the screen to tease Latina the way she did me one time a long time ago. <laughs> what is it? She threw her little Ferrero Rochers up on the screen. Oh, and mess me up. Hey, I that part to right the there. At that very moment, I wanted to go to the store. <laughs> Pearl Rochers are the best. So here we go. Have you have you tried these? They're at the store right now because of the holidays. They're, they're like Ferrero Rocher, but they're uh they're filled with a um no eggs. That, they're like this. They're for, they are Ferrero Rocher, but they're a uh, uh, dark chocolate, I believe eggs and the inside has the same thing that these have the lindor truffles that truffle uh that truffle what is it called center <laughs> yes it's right here it's like the whipped and creamy the golden eggs creamy hazelnut in the mm. in the inside that's all oh, there good. no okay. i haven't seen them now yet. these are dark but i think they have milk chocolate i think but these are dark and i love that i love the dark and milk chocolate mix um because of the it just it's just healthier for you the dark chocolate. It's just mm -hmm. healthy. It's better for you. So, and I oh, love right those. Now. Those are so good. Look at every I Valentine's know. Day, my old man gets me this big old thing of these giant chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> and the guy that owns our store, Jimmy, his wife makes them, so he orders them like he spends like 50, 60 bucks on them things. But the strawberries are—they're more—they're not normal strawberries. <laughs> what are they? What do you mean? They're chocolate covered strawberries, but they're oh. freaking huge, man. They're like the size of this acrylic lid. They're ginormous. They're abnormal. Oh wow. And she does different ones. Like some have fruity pebble, they're fruity pebble covered, and some are white chocolate or strawberry flavored white mm -hmm. chocolate. Yep. They're great. But he spends a fortune on the things, but that's became a tradition every year. And mm -mm. those are the bomb. But I love freaking truffles. When me and my girl used to smoke, so there was these things around here called pink cookies. And it was Lynx Bakery. And when Lynx Bakery went out of business, the high school makes them like three times a year, but they're not, they use the same recipe, but they're just not the same. Okay. And um, when so we'd go get pink cookies, chocolate milk, and then we would go to the beanery in the mall and get a coffee. Well, when they stopped making the pink cookies, we switched over to Ferrero Rocher's. Uh huh. So we'd get blowed, get the munchies. <laughs> You'll get, get blowed, munch out, and smoke again. <laughs> yep. I remember one time I was, there was, it was like a drought. And this one dude had this brown bag. It was like brown, brown. I'm like, don't nobody want this dirt. <laughs> I was thinking -uh. about that bag. And girl, <laughs> that good. bag was some brown funk. I was so blowed. I'm like, man, that was a, a sneaker bag. I'm like, you would have thought it was. He picked the twigs off of the pine bush in his backyard. Like, it was brown, brown. It was terrible. <laughs> Dude, I got these rhinestones a while back. They are just absolutely ugly. The ones you're in right I, now? Yeah, I don't know if... Let me see. If something happened to them while they made them, but you know how rhinestones look. Let me see if I can get a close-up. Okay, so the backing on these things is different from, like, a normal... Let me see if I can find another pink one so I can show you what I mean. Like, uh, oh, I can't find it. Right look here. at that mat. Look so at you that see mat. how the see how the backing on these is like cl uh, clear, and so you can see the cuts on these, right? Right, right, right. 
But this one, these pink ones, no, I have some other pink ones that are really nice, right? I can't find them. They're not here. They're in another container, but it's like the backing to these, the pink part, the pink foil that they use, you know, the color that they use to make the rhinestones have color to them. Right. This one is like really weird, like ugly. It doesn't have any dimension. It's it's just, just like it a looks stone, very flat, you know? a round stone, <laughs> right? Like the 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 stones themselves, these do have little cuts and angles to them, but because the backing isn't the right paper, the right uh, um, whatever, it doesn't flat. It doesn't give you flat. It doesn't give you like a uh, dimension. I don't know how it's and it kind of cuts to it. Well, I mean, there's cuts, but it doesn't like glimmer like it should. Uh huh. Oh, Eileen, you like that dark chocolate, girl. The white chocolate in my coffee a few days. Ooh. Yeah, I love white chocolate. Hey, Alicia can't sleep. I'm sorry. Uh, hermanita. Yeah, we. I have that problem, too. Like, if I get woke up, Shoot. I'm just going to be sitting and watch the TV for two hours. And well, my man has a habit of when he turns over, he bounces me off the, damn near off the bed, and it wakes me up. And he'll always say, I slept on a cot. Straight up and down for 12 years. I said, yeah, but you ain't been on a cot in 17. I'm missing with that mess. <laughs> <laughs> like, he rolls mm -hmm. hard. And he's not that big of a guy. Like, I'm like, bounce, and then I'm up. <laughs> mm. I'm trying not to crunch too loud, y'all. Sorry. No, Junie, honey, handle your business, babe. We know you're there. Even if you're just listening while you're handling your business, that's cool, too. You're here to show support okay, in the same period. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. You showed up, and that, that's what's up. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Alicia, uh, I'm glad you came back. I, I'm sorry you can't sleep, honey bunny. I don't wish that on nobody, but I want to do a live together one day. You got to let me know when you're ready. Mm-hmm. Yep. Jump in there, girl. Jump in there. You and Swipe ain't on the same level tonight. <laughs> the mm -hmm. young no swipe. Genie, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> oh my goodness, you hear me? Latina girl? me too, girl. <laughs> oh no. People think I'm crazy because I say Drew, I've Can you doing hear me crunching, man. Robin? <laughs> now what the frick a doodle is that? It was that a bubble? Look at my mat. There's just a freaking that looks like a little piece of glitter or the back of a rhinestone, girl. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you sap sucker, you just messed up my it's just white. Like I don't know if it was a bubble. Robin, can you hear me crunching? Oh my goodness. <gasps> no. no. You mother perfect. That's nigga. my worst nightmare, dude. Oh my god, I cannot believe you can hear me crunch. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna move the phone away from my face. Yay. Yeah, Eileen, uh, you two, you girls, come on now. We got to get this some scheduled business going on here. I cannot believe uh, that was like one thing that I was so adamant about. I will never eat on live. I will never, I mean, live or on, on a video where you can hear me crunching. I don't ever want anybody to hear me uh, crunching. Girl, it is just us girls. Ain't no uh, heart oh. legs up in here, so it don't matter. <laughs> oh my God. I said, I'm done. Oh my God. John, I can hear me crunching. She'll never let me live it down. She'll never let me live it down. Oh it my ain't God. rabbit like, food. She should be happy. I used to tell Latina, like, <laughs> girl, I can hear you crunching when she would eat. <laughs> Y'all, this child had like five bags of lettuce. I'm like, that would not last. It would be rotten in my refrigerator. <laughs> and John, I'm addicted not to about lettuce, like her rabbit food. But see, you're not eating rabbit food, so it's all good. <laughs> I am absolutely addicted to lettuce. Bad. And she says, sounds like ASMR. Mm -hmm. Crackle, crackle, crackle. Y'all messing with me. Did y'all get together and say to do that? Because it's only y'all three saying it. Y'all must have got together and been like, hey, let's talk Conspiring PJ against PJ. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. Let's all get together and tell PJ we can hear her crunch. Um, we, I don't know how to do it. So somebody else got to do it. We got to all get in one big doobah diddy on Instagram. And my old just ass ain't that electronic and blind. So somebody else got to do it and just fill me in. <laughs> if y'all ever see this on Timu, it's a little package like this of random pink 
little thingies, little charms, little, y'all have got to get it. They have the cutest things in here. Almost you, every, the, you think like all the bows are the same, but they have so many different bows in here. It's ridiculous. They have the little pink frames, which Jonna had told me just yesterday, she was going to send me some frames because she had some extra picture frames. So she was going to send me some. I didn't even know these little pink ones were in here. I think I had seen one, but it was so, I thought it was that. It was like so tiny that all you could do was put a little speck of glitter in it, frame a little piece of glitter. I didn't right. know there were these bigger ones in here. They have so many different kinds of bows. You know what I'm saying? They have like these. I mean, yeah, I can I got some of those. I love those. They're so cute. Look at these, these resin ones. They're like, they have, they're just like, they have the slightest, uh, beautiful shimmer to yeah, them. Like, I mean, the, it's like the color is underneath a clear coat. Yes. There you go. Yes. The resin ones. Do you ones. have like dragonflies and different Ooh, stuff in there, PJ? It's so this chemo. one isn't because, no, I actually, I'm sorry. Wait, is this a, no, this is a butterfly. It's a butterfly. Let me grab mine. I want to show you guys because I got something similar, but it's got. But they have look little pieces of candy, like little tiny candies. Oh my God. They're so cute. And they even, excuse me. I'm sorry. Look at this little teddy bear. It's like, clear, I know but love like those. pink background. So cute. Okay. So yep, cute, right here. dude. Teddy bear. Look at this bow, dude. Look at this heart. Like, are they the what? same, PJ? They are, right? Let me see. Yes, they are. See, but I think what happened, did you get a, because I think they come in two sizes, like 50 or 100 or 30 and 50, 20 and 50 or something like that. I don't, but, I got a few of them and it's got like some clear uh, resin. Dude, I want to get these again. It. And they come in different colors too, not just pink. You just got rhinestone. Yeah, there's green, white, blue, purple. Yes, like I want to get all of them. Dude, no um, yours got some, like some gold pieces. I mean, just and like some clear rhinestones, these. PJ, like these. Yes. The, no, the, no, I'm sorry. This one doesn't have those, but <laughs> but I they did show them on the on the ad. On the thing, you know what I mean? I call I've it gotten different ad. ones. Um, this one had these little tiny roses that turn let me get behind it, that turn right colors here. in the lamp. Right there. Yes. Yeah, so yep. You have those. I have these. They're, they're I like, have those uh, kind clear. too. That um, set I did with roses. I used the clear ones yeah. in these. I have that one. Does it have like little frames and different kind of hearts? Oh, yes. They have the little yep. frames. All different kinds of hearts. Oh, my. I want bows, every dude. color, dude. Every freaking color. <laughs> I, I, was, I was shocked at the bows that they had in here. Because I was like, oh, wait. They're all so many different shades. I have a darker pink, pink one, too. Different types. Like, y'all have got to see how many. Oh, Lord, my alarm gun went off. How many pink different and a darker pink, and but I want to get the white. I think I got a purple one. Look, they have little moons. Did you have the little moons? I don't think I have moons. Yeah, it has the little hearts, but look, it also has the bows like that, the pearl bows, the bows that are made of pearls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got like some this. of these, the bows and the hearts, and the hearts I might have a moon, moon, but my moon is the pearl moon. It's not a solid moon. It's like the heart and the bow. Oh, no, mine has a solid. Look at these tiny, cute little Hello, bows, dude. Too. Like, Oh, that one's the same. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Oh, orange. Okay, look. That one's the same. Okay, look at this one. Oh, look, this tiny little bow. This one got a little hair on it. Mm -mm, quit playing with my. Quit playing with my bows. I'm trying to find matchy matchy flowers over here. I think I found them, but they don't look have a. Um, they don't have a green one, so I'm going to use a clear one. Oh wait, that's the same. They have different sizes too. Oh, my God. They have these little tiny skulls, too. Did yours have skulls? No. Dude. They must do, do like, different companies look, have different Does yours ideas. have those little candies like this? The tiniest little candies? No, look. it doesn't have candies or skulls. I have dragonflies. Okay, check out this skull. It's a pink skull. It's, like, the iridescent. Oh, my I gosh. That's going to be so cute to do, like, a pink Halloween set with skulls yeah, and spider these. webs oh and my shit. And they do might have the little crosses. Look at the little crosses. They have cute little crosses. Oh, it is. My Easter set, I have Jesus stickers. And hold on, I'm gonna show you guys these glitters I have. I have cross glitters. Look at that and bow, I, dude. I'm I want to do a bow. Easter set that had nothing. I have one that I did I want to remake from last year. I did the backside of a bunny rabbit and made him look like Harry. And um, <laughs> then I wanted to do one where it's like the bunny butt and the feet. Like, oh, yeah. The Look but at I this really one. I wanted to do one that was the real reason for the season. Oh, what is that? A little bird? 
I thought it was a dove, but it had it's not it has that little emblem. Do you know that little um uh I don't know what they're called. I know what you're talking about. Some brand has it. I can't remember what brand it is. But it does look like a dove. It does look like I thought it was a dove right now. I was like, girl, I got a dove in here, but no, it's not a dove. I just there's so many different things in here and they're so cute. A cherry stiller. Uh, Tina stole two cherries from me. That tiny little heart. Oh, tiny little heart. These bears are so cute. Yep, I've been asking. Sorry about your luck, darling. <laughs> Eileen's my darling. Um, I've been asking her because, you know, the, the, what Eileen has put up is freaking gorgeous. I'm like, dude, why don't you have hella content like every week? And if your life's busy, super busy, that's an excuse. If it's because you're being shy, not at all. I'm not having it. <laughs> we ain't having it, girl. You better be posting three times a week. I know. I don't even post three times a month. <laughs> I heard nails are gorgeous. Let me try I know. I want to show you guys. I Practice know. Her. I could not, man. I remember when she first came out. I was like, "What the heck?" Where Maybe the that uh, pearl glitters no shop. They got it, it up on the shop app right now. Seventy five percent off. Y'all can get what a is it? shit for like pearl glitters no shop on the shop app. Look at these oh. cross glitters. I don't mess with glitters. I don't know. Ain't these cute as fuck, though? Oh, wow. And I got little Jesus stickers to go with them. I'm going to do a resurrection set. Oh, those are cute, though, for real. I got them for my resurrection, so I didn't know I was going to get a bag that would last me 10 years. Are you going to be doing a resurrection set for Easter? Yep. Okay. I got Let Jesus me get to crunch it again. But pearl glitters, so this um, jar... Like it that it's like the same one from Young Nails, the brush jar. On there it's like uh -huh. thirteen, fourteen dollars, but what they're seventy five percent off, so when you go to your card it's like three dollars and some change. And they got all kinds of stickers and all kinds of doodads, pom poms and butterflies and just a gang of shit, but everything is seventy five percent off. Wow. Acrylics, I, but I don't know what the quality of their acrylic is. I've never got brave enough to buy one yet. So I can't tell you about that, but I've gotten their foils, the pom-poms. Um, I make spinners out of the pom-poms. I have the little thing you should make spinners with. And, like, you can put a gang of shit in your cart, and it's, like, $13, $14, and you got, like, 16, 17 items. Mm-hmm. Like, I got a bunch of Halloween uh, foils and stickers from there last year, glow-in-the-dark ones and stuff. Yep. That was before they started their sale. Like, I don't know if they're, like, going out of business or what, but they started with 50% off, then it went up to 65 then it went up to 75 and then they'll be gone for a while, and then they'll come back on for a week or two, and it'll be a 75% off again. They had these little cross charms. That's what made me think about them. And it's a three pack of charms for like a dollar fifty after the discount that I wanted to get before Easter comes so I could do my resurrection set with them. Oh, okay. Because I want to wear the, those nails to church on Easter Sunday. Oh, nice. I love it. And it's always a good conversation starter. You know, somebody sees me out and they're like, oh, you got Jesus on your nose. You're a believer. And I'm like, well, actually, I'm a pastor, but. If you but want to yes, talk about it, let's talk about it. <laughs> I am a pastor who believes. <laughs> right. In the real Jesus, not that um, hyper judgmental mumbo jumbo. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Uh -uh. We don't do I that. I don't get it. I just don't get it. How can God be a God that loves us enough to die for us and just be sitting there waiting for you to mess up so he can strike you down? Right. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. he expects you to try. Absolutely. To be it makes the best that you sense. are capable of being. And he knows your heart and he knows your mind. So why try faking the funk anyway? That makes no sense either. That's right, boo. -boo. That's hey, right. Boo. You guys that weren't on here when we started, I got these three pack of these gorgeous butterflies for $7.99, I think, on Amazon. They were all three. It was in one big pack. For seven dollars and ninety some cents, ninety nine cents, and look at that one. I love that one. They're all different kinds, down to inky binky little ones, gold and silver. Binky. Look how tiny they are. There's a little fella. Anybody who wants a little butterfly collection, hit up Amazon. 
I like these. Let me show. Well, wait till this finished, Karen. There's a, a couple of dangly ones in here. Just well, that. F my problem is, dude, when I here. try to cure a dangly charm on, I always cure the whole damn thing <laughs> to the nail. This set is courtesy Jana. She's the one that told me. I was showing her these things earlier today. Or was it last night? When was it, Jana? The big butterfly has a she little was dangly like, butterfly and then a stick. I was showing her these. She was like, oh, my God, you got to do a set with those. You should do it like that. Like I can't remember. She said something about going clear with it and putting the decals, whatever it was that she said. This is what I came up with. <laughs> a stone fell out somewhere, but I don't see where it's supposed to be at. Nothing's missing its stone. So thank you, Jonna. Oh, there's some bows in here. Huh? There's some little bows. That didn't make butterflies. Oh, is there really? Look. Isn't that cute? Ah. I like the dangles. I don't know. I can't figure out what the stick is on the end. I guess it's just to have some hanging. But the big butterfly has a little dangly butterfly. It has a stick. But me and dangly charms never. I always end up curing the dangle to my nail. And it don't dangle. Maybe they just accidentally scooped the diamond in my bag. Because I can't find a butterfly that's missing a stone. All right, let me decorate these. Um, I've got these flowers. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use some of these. Oh, they're covered in nail dust. Pink and gray are my favorite oh, oh, what what colors together. So I am so psyched that there's gray flowers. I've never seen gray ones before. It was funny when I went to the doctor's office today, the nurse was like, Oh, hey, I just found my freaking lighter. Oh, my Lord Jesus, it was in my bra. <laughs> oh, girl, Only I'm sorry. Me. I'm trying to catch up on this. I'm trying to catch up on the... I'm looking uh, for my nail glue and found my lighter in my bra. <laughs> oh, I was trying to catch up on the chart. Ch the chart? The chat. I'm trying to think what the heck are you talking about? Not but the, the nurse, when I went into the doctor today, she was like, oh, I've been waiting for you. Do you have no glue? I'm like, of course I do. Oh, Lord, no, she didn't. <laughs> One of her nails <laughs> popped off. <laughs> She's like, I've been waiting for you to come. Are you serious? Yep. And she wanted to ask me, she ordered gel glue and a UV lamp, but why her nails were still popping off. So I was explaining prep and the importance of prep. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, I can't get this thing flipped the hell over. Oh, I fell over. Oh, I fell over again. Look, I found this on Timu, right? And it basically looks like it could be a portion of like a Zule uh, bling hearts food or something. I mean, those are gorgeous. If you look at some of the bling that came in here, look at that. There's so many different. Okay, I'm going to show you all those. Shapes and sizes no, and see, colors. Look. look at this. Oh. Oh, girl, yes, that big one right there. Like right. You can see the There's so many that different purple ones. one. <laughs> I'm over here. Look at this at cute. Like I it. love this. It's like a pink opal looking type. This mm -hmm. one here, and then there's these. Almost have like like great like um greenish backing to them, but they're not. They're AB. But look at this one, dude. Look at this color right here. Oh, that is it's so like, pretty. I'm I'm like attracted aqua. to that teal this year. But if you, yes, but if you look at it, though, the middle is matte and the edges are, are um. Oh, it is different as shit. Shiny. I've never seen one like that before. I know. I got this on Timu, girl. Timu is the business. Oh, they coming <laughs> up. I like these brown ones. And look at this black one. It's like a blackish purple, this one right here. And then there's this dark brown one that's like a, a opal. That big purpley blue one right there. Yes. But look at this. Chocolate. That's the one I was pointing at that. I'm like, you can't fucking see me pointing at it. <laughs> I know. No, no, no. Because I have, we had, me and Jonna had bought this. Um, She bought it. I, I had seen, I got it because I seen her have it. I'll order it. They have these on Timu, but be, be aware. It looks like they're going to be huge and they're exactly like this. I, I have the pack in my bag over there. They are, the, they're this blue with the purple around the edges. Mm -hmm. Really beautiful, but they don't come this big. They look like they will, but they're sm they're a smaller version of this. So I was so happy to see that in the pack. I was like, oh my God, look what I got. Mm -hmm. 
I knew, I've got quite a rhinestone collection. I kind of slacked off in ordering some of them for the time being until I catch a good sale. What I want to get is the um, like the boxes of the different colors with the big yeah. ones and the little ones. Yeah, I got a clear one from Timu that was nine dollars and some change, and it's got little teddy bear rhinestones. I've never seen them before. It was like less oh, than ten. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about because I, I think I had gotten some that had. Wait, is it the teddy bear that has the rhinestone in it, or is it no, all rhinestone? It's a whole rhinestone right here. See him? Oh yes, I just got some like that. I want to get the different colors. Aren't they so get. cute? They have them in different colors too. Yeah, I want to get. There's a how a red heart get in there. I want to get um, you know, every color they have because I mean, frick, from ten to fourteen dollars, you can't beat it. Right. I'm gonna grab a couple but flutter buys out of here while I'm at it. Sorry, I'm thirsty, maybe three. I might not use three, but then again, I'm okay. Gonna, I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do here. I'm putting an order for these. They're like, I don't know how to explain. They're like acrylic butterflies, but they're thin. And it says to add a coat of like top coat to them when you put them on to give them strength. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to have to post a picture of them on my wall or on my community tab or something. But they're different. And there's a bunch of different colors and like different shapes, I guess. Different kind of butterflies. Mm-hmm. I gotta put these away, and I just think I might just throw them away. How do I, I, want I don't want to sit there and try to have to organize these into their own. Um... What's up? Not hey. my... girl. Not my son coming in here and giving me the death stare because I I made him wait. Mm -hmm. Well, he managed to find his way home, huh? Well, yeah, my kid's dad went to go pick him up. Baby daddy went to go get them. So next time mama's trying to tell you something, you won't be in such a hurry to go. And you know what I'm saying? Me. That's the thing, though. They want to hurry up and go, but they don't want to wait to come back. If mm -hmm. I'm not ready, I'm, I'm giving you a heads up that I can't do it. You might want to think twice. Or you get yourself stuck somewhere. Exactly. Exactamente. How does that look, Peach? Because I don't know what kind of line I want to draw. Girl, I'm doing the same thing. What are you doing? I'm not doing that, though. I mean, I didn't need to. <laughs> what are you doing? It's like this right now. I don't know. I'm just winging it. Okay. I like and that. I'm going to some flowers I just, and some This wasn't even planned, dude. I just thought, you know what? I'm going to add a, a line to my nails with the same, same color palms because I've matted them out. And me, too. And we were not on the same I page. I like that, you though. did not plan uh, this at all. Nuh-uh. <laughs> I have no idea. But I do like that. That's good. Girl, I had no idea till I got knee deep in it. I just knew I wanted to do the different colors in the mat. And then I'm like, oh, I want two stilettos and a couple squares. Right. And it just kind of snowballed from there. <laughs> There's my nail reserve. Perfect. White brow. Open your bastard. Mm. It's not just uh, 15 people? Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's not like me and her. That's what I'm trying to say. Hello, honey. <laughs> Hey, um, go on and say hello. Hi. Ooh. Hi. My children be coming and just bugging. This is my thank you, Alicia. Daughter Chuki. Oh, she is adorable. Anyway, we call her Chuki. She a big guy. She's fifteen. She's not a little tiny ten year old, five year old. I'm sixteen. <laughs> oh, she's oh wait, I'm sorry. She's fifteen and a half. She's almost my son's sixteen. <laughs> I got a yeah, that's right. Should be I got one of those <laughs> on the twenty eighth of this month. Uh, March. Michi will be seventeen in May. Mm hmm. May oh, okay. I'm getting one up. Huh? I'm getting one up. Okay. You are getting one up, girl. Okay, bye, mom. Get over. Okay, leave it to you. She's cute as a button. Thank you. She can You're be sometimes, welcome. and then sometimes not. Because she has her moments, huh? <laughs> they all do, girl. They all do. They have their moments, you know what I'm saying? I think that comes with every child in this world. I was telling my uh, friend's little sister today that I was showing you guys, I saw and her oldest is now 13. I said, oh, girl. I said, you hitting them fun times. And she was like, she was like, Miss Donna, she was like, what the world? I said, honey, at 11, they turn, they start getting weird. By 13, you're like, who the fuck are you? And where did my sweet little kid go? For and real. You're about to deal with this till about 25. So, 
I said it right. eases up a little bit when they turn 18. They're no longer your responsibility because you can tell them to go the F on, but they're still your kid. <laughs> so, Right. I know that's what I see because I know everybody has their, their their feelings are different about that. I think I, I, I am ready. Like I, I am ready for my kids to, to go out and explore the world and be their own people, have their own life and whatever. However, I will never close my door to them. Right. So I always that my door will always be open for them, but I don't want to just I don't want to keep them sheltered here. Like I, that's the last thing that I want to do. I made sure since they were little, not to raise them in a sheltered environment, not to not to have them not be their own person. You know what I'm saying? But with that, also, I, I, you, it has to discipline has to come with that, and that's what I yeah. like. I well, that's a, I'm saying like once they're like my one that was the runaway. He's not. He's a wonderful adult now. Don't get me wrong. He's very responsible, very respectful now. But right. as a teenager, and I had to let him suffer. I, when he got fly with me, and I'm like, look, dude. As much as I've been abused by men in my life, I'd be damned if one of the humans I put on this planet is going to do it. I said, don't ask me for shit. I ain't even got a bologna sandwich for you. And I let him suffer <laughs> for about three months with them women he wanted to live with. And then it was, oh, mommy, can we talk, please? Because when I got mad at him, he even when he was a kid, he wanted to follow me around the house and try to make me talk to him. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got you. I'm like, I there totally has to come know. a point where if you think that you get to do me any old kind of way, I'm going to show you you can't. Right. Like, I would still have your back with the courts or with the world or whatever, but um, when whatever's going on is done, we go back to beefing. You're not going to disrespect me. Now, if you're respectful, I got you 100. And like I right. told him, when you come into my house, you might as well be 12, bro, because the, the rules ain't going to change. I see you as a child, and I don't give a damn if you're 40. I will beat that ass. Don't play with me. And if you want to get all fly and grown and smelling yourself, okay, well, I hope you can handle this grown-ass world by Go yourself. Go on, then. sniff away. But it, it it gave him a bigger respect of Dan. I do need my right. mama. Because I have friends who's grown children. My one friend, her daughter will get drunk and put her hands on her. I said, oh, that child wouldn't be breathing. You're a good one. And yeah. you had there to go bond the bitch out? Nope, she'd have sat right there. <laughs> I told mine, you put your hands on me, I'm going to jail. You're leaving in a body bag. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna oh, worry shit. about going to jail, honey. <laughs> well, and I have old boys, so I'm like, I wish you would. And they, they're they all really respectful. Like, they's like, you know, if we make mommy mad enough to swing, all, all you can do is eat it. Because right. Not only do we got to deal with her, then we got to fight deal Dad, then we got to fight Uncle Naaman, then we got to fight Uncle Tyrone. God rest his soul. He's been dead a year on the 18th. He's like, it's not just mommy we got to deal with. But right. because everybody knows how I am about my kids and I'm, I am a good mom. So if you get out of pocket, uh, you really had it coming. He tried to tell this one little girl he was messing with as a teenager. Her mama would come home at two o'clock in the morning and, um, There'd be DJ on the porch. And my mom put me out. He, she was like, if Donna put you out in the middle of the night, what did you do? You had it coming. <laughs> you did something to her. You did something real bad to her because come on now, bro. I've known your mama for 30 years. Right. I'm like, so you can't pull that. I told him you might be able to tell your little friends some old bullshit. And they'd be like, oh, poor you. Cause you're looking for a pity party, but you can't I tell know. these OGs that I crap know. and think they're going to believe it. The OGs know better. <laughs> right. You can't do that. You can't that. You can't do that with everybody. It's usually with, mm. with the what people that have more more uh, wisdom or life experience or whatever. Yeah. Well, the ones that we've all been here on this side of town since we were kids, and they know me very well. So it's like, yeah, no, you're lying. You did something. There's more to that story than what you're telling. Right. But then that was funny at one point because. She um, seen me at the Head Start dropping one of the little ones off. And she was like, girl, we're going to have to go on Maury. I'm like, for what? Now, mind you, at this time. I'm not going on Maury. <laughs> he's in the 10th grade. She was like, well, um, she's pregnant. And I'm like, girl, unless she's an elephant, we ain't going on shit. Because he ain't kicked you with that girl since the 8th grade. And he's in the 10th. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Because he's, you know, blatantly honest with me about that type of stuff. And um, he was like, I'm like, have you kicked her with her? He was like, mom, no. He was like, eighth grade prom. He was like, not <laughs> since then. So I'm like, unless your daughter an elephant, honey, we ain't going nowhere. 
Yep. I said, I wouldn't be going on no dog on Maury anyway. We'll go down there to the county department. You ain't about to put me on Maury. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> what happened to Maury? What happened to Maury Povich? Know, maybe he got too old. I know Jerry Springer died. Yeah, they all did. Um, All of the uh, talk shows are... Uh, Phil Donahue, and then is Jerry, he still alive? Jerry, I'm sorry. Phil Donahue, do you know if he's still alive? Oh, girl, he no, he done passed away. Way, way, way. I, I, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, like some years back, I'm pretty sure. The only one that's still kicking, I think, from that time frame is Oprah. I don't know if Sally Jesse, but I'm Ricky pretty Lake sure is still alive. I've seen her not too long. Oh, ago. I forgot. I'm sorry, Ricky Lake too. You're right. I forgot about Ricky Lake. He's still kicking. <laughs> she, she is, but like. Um, Jenny, I don't know Jenny, Jenny Jones, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. I yeah. don't know if she's still alive either, but I think Sally. Did you see freaking um? Oh, what's her name? Black lady with the big eyeballs. Fuck. Good Wendy. night. I'm sorry. Who's going to? Who's is it? Diane or no? I'm sorry. Otter. Otter Claus. Is that? Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you for the the pastor's prayer. I yes. Show thank the you newbie. so much. You guys that came in um, later. I showed these in the beginning. This is Jasmine from Diane Otter's uh, Acuticle Oils. It smells great. It comes yeah. in a little Crown Royal bag. I don't know what I did with my Crown Royal bag. Here we go. Ain't that pretty? She and is. then I all I did, she's giving me more credit than I freaking deserve because all I did was give her a little pushy push to go on and handle her business. That's all I did. I didn't contribute in any other way. But they named <laughs> one Pastor's Prayer in honor That's of me. That's enough, though. Shit. And it smells so good. Because one day she was like, I got a question. I'm like, well, hit me up. Oh, my God. I wish I could tell you what this guy smells like, but I can't put my finger on it. But it smells so good. Um, she said it smells heavenly, and it really does. And they're going to add it to their line. But she was like, I've been thinking about making, you know, just doing my own cuticle oils. I'm like, girl, go for it. The worst you can hear is no. Like, you got to jump off the side of that cliff. If you don't try, you'll never know. And you'll just spend the rest of your life wondering what if. You know what I'm saying? You got to just, no just take the leap of faith. Yep. You got to go for it. I always look at it like an eagle. Like, they literally push their babies out of the nest, not knowing yeah. how to fly a lick, like swim or drown. <laughs> That's true. I don't want to... All right, now how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm just going to have to do rhinestones with the, with the bow or something. I was going to do the gel polish. I tried it. I don't like it. So maybe with the, uh, a square or coffin. But I mean, it's cute with the little too, but I just can't. Because I don't want to just do the edge. I was going to do the edge and do a French, but. Um, Where'd my swipe go? Oh, yeah. Dios mio. I think I want to do each one different. Like, I'm not going to do them all the same. I don't want this clear bling gel to dry on my matte nail. I mean, to cure on my matte nail. All right, all right, all right. I have to cover these up. So what am I going to do here? Orange. Is that orange? Yes. And then I need a gold flutter by. Ah! My smoke got stuck on the bling glue. So stuck in Austin. A little bit. Mother effer. My glitchy hands. And my girl Tammy that comes once a month, she learned that I told her, honey, and the later the day gets, the worse off I am. You're going to want to be here early if you don't want to be here looking at me all day. And she came <laughs> early this last time and she was like, you wasn't lying. I was done in a couple of hours instead of taking six hours. Mm -hmm. Because I get clumsy, I start dropping stuff. Yeah. Mm, I'm going to turn it the same way as the flare. Get back up there. I don't know what to do. I legit uh, don't know. On her ass. Hold on. Let me pull, I, I, girl, let I, me pull out I the big it, guns. And it totally was very humbling. I mean, I didn't do nothing. I just told you go for it, like a few times. I'm <laughs> like, go, go, right. go. <laughs> Dude, what did I do with the big guns? And I don't know what scent that is. You're going to have to tell me because this smells so freaking good and I can't explain it. <laughs> oh my gosh. What did I they do? did. Did Otter, Otter, did you um, put out the good news? 
About that proposal? No. Oh no. Like they got good good news. Where is my where's my where's my where's my baby you can go on to bed if you want to. I'll be up there in a little bit. Uh -oh. Honey be trying to wait for me, y'all, but All I have to do at 5 a.m. is make coffee and sandwiches. I ain't got to run off to work till 9 o'clock after I get kids up and out the door. I, have, no idea. Now, I have a whole box of little white flowers that I don't see. There they are. Here it is. So when me and Angela went to grab lunch at today, that... Um, Heaven is a place on earth from like the late 80s, early 90s. How does it go? I'm trying to think. It's like, ooh, heaven is a place on earth. I don't sing at all. But they were playing a whole 80s groove, and now I got that song stuck in my head. Girl, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm here, but my mind is totally gone right now because. Can yeah. I are you searching for something? What the heck I did with my freaking scoop, dude. Uh-oh. I, I didn't put them together, but I'm trying to remember. I lost uh, my flare. Huh? My little flare fell off my yeah. do my pen. And I got ooh heaven is a place on earth that. stuck in my head. I just remembered. <laughs> okay. Pull out the big guns. Oh wait, wait, wait! Them suckers are stuck together. That ain't right. Yeah. Yeah, there. Pulling out the big guns, big guns, big guns. Excuse me. I'm going to use white diamonds instead of AB diamonds today. Should I use, hmm, Austrian? No, I'm not. Because I don't want to get up and go get it. I had to pull out the acrylic here, acrylic here, a bling scoop. Mm hmm. That's what I used last night. Woo wee, girl. Look at these beautiful. Uh, I was gifted this, um, Latina and Miss Jonah. I know they are so sweet. Dude, I mean, I can't even. They said like, God couldn't I, have gave us a better bunch of people. I broke down so bad when they did that. They did that with Zubay's, and it was almost like a back to back. Like they did it with Zubay, and then immediately after, I they had um, gotten this um, from from the acrylic here mm -hmm. uh, website from uh, Lucy. Yeah. But man, I, I I saw neither one coming, and it was so crazy because I remember when I had I was ordering from her website from acrylic here, and I was like. Dude, should I get a bling scoop? And and I want to say, was it Jonna? She was like, no, don't. they're not even worth it. Don't even get it. And I was like, really? And she was like, yes, they're not even, no, -uh, I don't. Like, she was making, making it. They're like, trying to talk not, you like, out of it. <laughs> yeah, because they had already got it. Right. <laughs> they had already got it. Like, no, don't even think about it, lady. <laughs> I was like, okay. And then I thought, well, I mean, you know, I guess she knows, like, because she's probably gotten them before. She knows that they're good or not. That's Michelle, Jonna. Yeah, I got my play because that's <laughs> so. I just, I, I, I believed her. I was like, oh, okay. Well, never mind. Then I'll just get the acrylic. <laughs> I think it was, girl, like, you'd have had bling for days. <laughs> these are like my prized possessions. So this one in my, uh, my, my Zule scoop. Oh my goodness, I just. Like, I don't even want to mess. Look how many beautiful, big chatones there are. Like, they're huge. And I've been waiting for Zule to, because uh, she's got, like, a blue one. 
and I forget there's another color, but I want the multicolored again. I don't want a blue or a. Oh yeah, I on hers I did get a scoop. They like I said they have gotten me a scoop. On hers I did get one. Um, I think it was one only like like big. Um, Like, I think she had leftover TikTok scoops is what I had got. Like, she just had some leftover and was selling them off of her site. We lost you. Are you there, PJ? I lost your, your, your volume, your voice. I don't know. Somebody type it. PJ, where are you? Are you frozen? No, but I can't hear her. Can y'all hear her? <laughs> She's like, grow your heads in a way. Boo, cream, I'm going to kill you. Now, push is going to be in my head. I watched a show with Salt and Pepper on it the other day. Where did PJ go? What the freaking doodle is going on? What happened? Well, first I couldn't hear you, and now I can't see you. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you now, but I can't see you. I know. I see that. Hold on. Yeah, Latina said, dude, your head's in the way. Boo Creamy, I finally finished the dang video. Uh, now to start the upload. Well, I'm glad you got that sucker working, Boo Creamy. Latina, uh, John is laughing at Latina. And then she said, they aren't reading the chat. Boo Creamy, Salt and Pepper is here. Yeah, they was on, uh, what was that? Something on YouTube I was watching, The Family, I think. And they went to a party, and it, they did push it at the Halloween party. Michelle Perez, hi, Boo. Uh, Boo Creamy, push it. Papa push it real good. <laughs> I said they couldn't do that dance no more though. That dance they did when they was young, mm -hmm, them heifers wasn't dancing. <laughs> no, my head, my head was in the way. I don't yeah. know what to do. I don't know if I should go out and come back in or what. Yeah, because I mean, your camera. Maybe turn your camera off back on. I I did. I I mean, I flipped it around because I don't know if I turn it off if it'll it'll um. Can you go out and come back in with the same invite? Does anybody know before? Yeah, Robin said, no, she couldn't hear. We couldn't hear you for a minute, and now we can't see you. What the fuck? All right, is your phone charging? It, yeah, it's charging. <laughs> and Michelle said, no, I two songs stuck I'm, in my I head. Me too, Michelle. It then? I don't know. Hey, y'all, does anybody know that if she goes out, if she can click on the same invite and come back in? She should be able to because we did practice this one time with Latina. Okay, let me try it. Well, you try it, and if not, we'll just go off and everybody will come back in. But hopefully you'll be able to come back. This is so cute. Look at this, y'all. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Oh, Jesus, Lord. This phone stand can be a pain in my dupa. I'm going to put a big orange one. Yep, there she go. Here she come. Where you at? Well, you, there you are. Can you see me? Yeah, I hold can on. See let's you. see if you can see. Just turn you no, around. No, I'm not. I'm not coming <laughs> out on the screen. Hold on. Let me see. There I am. I see the top of your head. There you are. Okay, we back. Okay. Apparently, my head was in the way. Well, the reason why I can't see the chat, y'all, is because when y'all were telling me that I was crunching like a horse earlier, like a cow, really loud earlier. <laughs> the I moved fuck? the phone way <laughs> up high, so y'all couldn't hear me crunch. So I guess well, you were digging for to... rhinestones. All we could see was the top of your head. Oh my god! Okay, well I'm so very sorry. Now y'all get to see all, all of your the, golly. the glory. <laughs> I'm rotten as hell. I swear. I was showing y'all these. This is not even a port. I mean, this is. I'm going through the acrylic here bling scoop, and I was showing y'all like this is. Look at this. The whole. This is one bling scoop. Mm -hmm. From acrylic here, and there's so many. I mean, like it's crazy the variety in here. Yeah, one of the girly friends was talking about like she thought she got ripped off, but she had opened the bag and shook. All, I said, "You don't open the bag and shake them all down in the bottom and say it's that empty. You lay it flat. That bag is distended and distorted in its shape that way. Right. Like that's not how that goes, baby doll." Mm -hmm. And then this is Zule's bling. That's a scoop. damn good freaking scoop, man. It's true. Oh amazing. yeah. Oh my goodness. Zule's too. The little baggies be stuffed. Zule's are, are uh, they're obviously smaller. If you look at the the size in comparison, I mean, but, but Zule's is not on sale and acrylic. Um, 
Right. Acrylic but I will say this though. I can tell you that while they're there, they are, and I want to say that they're, they're a little more expensive too, but, mm -hmm. but the quality is definitely there. I, yep. I, I have to say like, it's not 100 and you'll still find some very unique pieces in here. Um, like yep. look at this one I got. I've done read through a lot of my zoo labeling. I really want to order another one. I hope she has another mixed batch soon. Girl, I'm like, I'm not joking. I'm, I don't, I'm, I don't even want to use the bling for like practice sets. It was supposed to be for like clientele or for my nails. Just look at this one. Oh, that thick luscious hair. Oh, that is pretty. I got a real big one like that. Um, I gotta get my box. It's over there. And I've heard you see the tear. I mean, you'll see these teardrops often. You know, this is acrylic ears. And and, and Zule has them too. So the the, the teardrops are, are very common. But when you see something that's shaped like this, that's so um unique. I love it, dude. Oh my god. That's something I haven't done for a while. You just reminded I you know what I love these me colors. Zule dude. is the queen of freaking nails, and I don't care who doesn't agree with me. That mother can do some nails. Oh, she can for and sure. And I love dude. her super fancy blingy off the hook with the big cluster and oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Right. I got. I had gotten a, a poly gel kit that Sean bought me, and I was looking for poly gel, and I ran into Zule, and there I got stuck. <laughs> ah, like, oh, look at the bling. <laughs> then I'm like, I can do acrylic. I want to go back to doing acrylic. Damn this poly gel. Mm -hmm. I do poly gel here and there, though. I got a whole basket of it. I got poly gel yeah. right now. I actually, I in um, one of the $20 scoops, had gotten um, Princess Pink uh, poly gel. And that I haven't oh. seen anybody else with, which so I think it's a little different. And I, I'm doing my toes in a Princess Pink with a French mint. Right. Oh, really? Are you doing it right now? Oh, cool. No, I, it's on my left foot i gotta do my right foot i haven't got around to it oh okay. i did it yesterday early in the day before i got started working on that butterfly then i lost all track of <laughs> doing the rest mm -hmm. of my other foot but i don't know if you saw me when i when i showed you this well i was on live the other day this is not like a i don't think it's like a extremely well-known brand but it's called extreme and there's a little plus sign so i don't know if it's extreme plus you can barely see it but this gel this is a diamond gel it is absolutely insane, man. Like I use this. Uh, I, I I'm almost gone. I've, I've I ordered it. I went back to go buy it at the store, and they didn't have it in this pod no more. They had it in a tube. Mm. But it's it's still semi. Like the thing that sucks though is that when I check the quality of this, like it's the same. It's supposed to be the very same, and it is thick. Don't get me wrong. It is thick and good, but for some does reason, it, I feel like this is way thicker. Does it keep your bling on good? Girl, in place. You just put it on, and it sits there on top of it. Cause I know the one, you... the the gummy jelly from um, Enel, uh -huh. for a couple of days, but then I started losing bling. I've been using my cart for a very long time, and I don't lose stones very often. Yeah. No, this works really good, girl. I've never had complaints. Somebody I use it for, oh, for brush cleaning. I don't know if I told you this yet, but I seen somebody talking about. Um, Phoenix Nelco's brush cleaner, like it's got aloe vera and stuff in it, and it doesn't dry the brush out, and it's great for cleaning your brushes out with. Okay. A little FYI for, because I know Phoenix, I'm going to get some. Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix yep. Nelco? Yep. Okay. And her stuff could be a little on the pricey side, but if it's a brush cleaner yeah. that won't dry your brush out, and is because the girl that I seen, I don't know if she hauled it or just did a short on it or what it was, but said that it was good. Clean the brushes right. out really good, and it didn't dry them out because it has, um, al was it aloe vera, jojoba, one of the two, something moisturizing in it. Right. Okay. And that it was different from other brush cleaners, so I think it'd be worth a try. Okay. We don't have a local, you know, I think that's crazy. How on the F, I live near Cleveland, and there's no nail supply store. That's I don't know, girl. And I have store. something, someplace so, I mean, you know, San Antonio ain't, ain't so huge, but... We have about six, five or six of them, but there's only like two or three, three, I think three, yeah, that are like legit straight up like for nails and, and decent nail products. You know what I'm saying? But only mm -hmm. one out of those that has the good shit. It has the um, Not Polished, Valentino, Brothers. Uh, I think they have glitter bills there also, I believe. 
And then, what of course, the you know, they have, have the usual Kiara Sky and oh. uh, Climbing Glance and whatever, too. Uh, Mia Secret. I mean, yeah, Mia Secrets. They have, all those are a given. They have all those there. But those, the good ones, yes, they do. They also have, um, I, they have something, another one there. I'm trying to remember because they have a the monomer of it. Who is it? Because they have all that. They have the Glitter Bells monomer, the Not Polished monomer. They have the... Um, Hi, Brothers, I believe, has monomer, I think. Is it I my Brothers? I want to try that. Uh, and Too Cute Nail Supply, I haven't tried them either. I wanted. I know. I haven't tried them either, and I want to try them. Ooh, look at these. are beautiful, dude. Shut your face up. I, I think maybe I will do all these the same. Oh, my God. I've never seen these before. Have you seen these? I'm going to show you the back. No. For it. This, is, this, is, this is the back. This is how oh, the back yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, like, Starburst ones? Yes, and they're arched, so when you turn it around, look at that. Oh, girl, yes. Them Starburst ones are so... Them are my favorite. Wow. When I open that bag, I'm like, oh, these are so funky. I've never seen these before. <laughs> funky. <laughs> <laughs> they funky, yeah, girl. Funky they funky. It. They was. I'm like, oh, this is so different. They're so fucking pretty. I'm like, I don't want to waste know. these. They're on a rum dump set. It's got to be something banging. You know what I'm saying? I wish I would put it on a, pl a practice a practice hand. <laughs> I bet I don't. <laughs> Y'all better come for me if I do. <laughs> hey, PJ, you done lost your mother freaking marble. PJ, <laughs> are you, are you smoking crack? <laughs> Somebody oh get her. PJ relapsed. She's using again. She put <laughs> the starburst on a practice thing. <laughs> right. What is this? Have you seen these before? Right. Have you ever seen one like that that has a hole in the middle? Yeah, I got some of them and I'm like, what do you do with these? <laughs> okay. It's I thought maybe put a big um, caviar bead in the middle or something. Right. Or something. Something. All right. What am I going to do here? Peaches, I'm lollygagging. We've been here for about 30 minutes. You've been messing with freaking whatever. Just get started and put something down and let's go, man. Digging in your bling. I just don't know what to do. I was thinking that really takes me forever to get it together. Like, I'll have an idea in my head. And then I'm like, well, I got to get this and this and this and find this and do this. And it just takes me for fucking ever to get it together. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see. I think I might go this route. I think that's all of us, though. I think we all do that. <laughs> Let's do... I don't know, because I'm trying to... I'm legit trying to cover this big old hole that I messed up on. And that's... I think that's what has me stumped. You've seen these... They're like the, they look like a fan. I've never even seen that shape before. Uh-uh. It's like a seashell. It's a seashell. Yeah, it's just a different type of yeah, it's seashell but like like neon. Mm -hmm. I think the only neon ones okay. that I have are like I have these orange stars. I don't know. You know what? I got mine over here. Let me look in it. You know what? This is a marble. I can use any color. I had to take it out because I couldn't dig around in it. It's the super. I have a heart okay. starburst. Love those. No, I lied. I'm a whole liar. I got not a whole a liar. Man, green. I don't know what the fuck that is. That's an odd shape. Ah, I don't know what this is. Look at this thing. Oh, it's just a like a octagon type, or you know, a circle, whatever, just around. It's what funny looking. It looks like a green spider web. <laughs> but there's some neon green, some neon pink. Oh, I have one of those too. Yellow. Oh no, you know, I don't know what this is. It does look like a fan. You're right. That ain't no ah, well, bitch. Oh, excuse me. The oh. cuts on it look like a diamond, though. On the other side, the one you said. Like right, fan, exactly. Like that yes, that's what I'm saying, girl. I just yes. found one. It's pink. Yeah. I got orange stars, green circle. Pink oh, well, there's hearts, a different green shape. Orange stars, yellow blue. Green All my pink ones are that weird shape. Shoes. I like these okay. see-through ones. Like, like this one? Oh, yeah. I thought you were talking about these. The the little, like... I like, got this one, too. This one's weird. It is. It's um, just Frosted green. type. I don't yep. even know what. Or pink. It, it is what it is. Oh, yeah. This, mm -hmm. That's, what, that's one, what I need right there. The one you got in your hand. This one has blue glitter on it. Or gold glitter on the blue. God, I'm crazy. Did I go out again? Hold on, girl. Hold on. Nope, you're still there. Hello. Hello. Yes. There's some yellow. No, I guess there's a bunch of different neon colors. Oh, you over there. 
<laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh no! Everything keeps rolling together over here. I'm getting paint on everything. Dude, I'm stuck though. I don't know what to put on my. I want to just hurry up and put something on. Which one of them <laughs> called you this time? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me go back a little bit. <laughs> They're like PJ. Is there anything important? Is it just chitting chat? No, we're not. We forgot a bunch. <laughs> Jana. <laughs> <laughs> You oh, love you, little that. sis. I'm gonna put you on speaker so you can let you can let Donna know. Go ahead. She can yell at me too. Donna, <laughs> what, <laughs> baby? Donna, y'all forgot about us. Look at the chat. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Everybody, huh? y'all forgot. Hello, we still here. Y'all just won your little bling. <laughs> it says you who you have a whole chat here, ladies. <laughs> 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 So we have been going back and forth for a good minute, right? Like, oh, look yep. at this one. Oh, look at this it's one. Be... <laughs> Wait a minute. Robin said, at least oh, it's be a week later. <laughs> Do they think we're alone? They're alone? <laughs> well, you know what, y'all? No, I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I just thought about? Because I started with Timu and I was like, oh, look at this one, girl. And then I busted out a girl, like, squirrel. <laughs> we got a whole bunch of squirrels. Not the whole, the whole <laughs> canister <of> bling. <laughs> it's like, well, they just forgot about us. They just said, fuck us. For real. We're just, did you notice that though, Don? I didn't even notice no, that. No, I wasn't I started, looking like, up. I'm sitting over here move. painting these damn lines. I went lines. to acrylic I like, hold on, let me get my zoulets out. And we're just looking. Oh, look at this one. Oh, look at that one. Oh, <laughs> just knocked them all over the table. They're all like, we're all, we're still here. They just forgot about us. Like they're in their own zone over there. <laughs> Girl, she said we could have went to video chat. We just y'all do realize that you're dealing with two people that have done damage okay, to their fine. brains over the years. <laughs> <laughs> you got the two hood hood broads. I I, it, it, oh it my head god! One too many times. <laughs> We're terrible, dude. I don't know how the fuck I did that. Did you hear me, BJ? What'd you say? I said, what do they expect? They got the two hood broads. It's been hitting the head one too many times on here. <laughs> We've been really abused in our past. <laughs> like, it's been a rough one, y'all. <laughs> y'all don't even know. Y'all don't know the denial. half of what I've been through, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't okay. know if I'd trade you. i tell you that, though. <laughs> All right. I'm picking something, and I'm going to lay it down, and I'm gonna. that's it. I'm going to go with it. If we could both just run away from the past, it'd be nice, but, you know, <laughs> it just doesn't fucking work that way. <laughs> it just keeps coming back <laughs> in the form of me opening the door and letting it in. <laughs> they said, we still love you both. Robin, A1, oh we my God, still love I'm you sorry. both. I love you guys. I'm so very, very sorry. I just, I really got caught up in the bling. No bullshit, y'all. <laughs> It's it's her fault. <laughs> it's totally my, blame I'm it on, it on me. you, PJ. You can have it. <laughs> I've been doing it with it my whole life. <laughs> me too. That's why it's your turn. I'm, I'm not. Oh, yeah, 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 y'all. Help me. No, yeah, I'm bad shit crazy. I know I'm bad shit crazy. I need to know. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. <laughs> shit. I'm. I'm. My whole desk is just a disaster. Lord, Jesus. Not the I clean this thing off Monday. Dude, I'm going to send you a picture. Like, I got a little space right here that I can work in. <laughs> That's it. What you see is what you get. <laughs> I put everything away on Monday. Like, how the fuck is it back out here? It's only, what is it? Well, I guess it's been a week, so. <laughs> it's been a whole week, so I guess it, it had time to turn into another culture book. <laughs> yeah. She ought. I lose very, lose the track of my days very easily. Okay. They're stupid spring forward shits for the birds. I wish they'd quit doing that shit. Oh, they need to take the fucking springs out of the bullshit and leave us alone. Leave us the motherfucking alone. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. I mean, I get it. Mm -hmm. The whole, you get an hour more in the summertime, but you fuck me up every spring with that shit. <laughs> it takes me forever to get back on track. I, 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 love, three weeks. I, love, I love the extra I get. I cannot stand that you took it away from me in the springtime. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> My friend, she said she went to work this morning and was like, I don't feel like I got an extra hour of sleep. They's like, because you didn't. You lost an hour. <laughs> you lost it, girl. Spring forward, fall back. Right. She was like, oh, you well, lose it. <laughs> Boo -boo. <laughs> she ain't been sleeping either. Like, she's got to 42, and now her sleeper's broken like everybody else. <laughs> 
I don't oh, come on, dude. Let's go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Here we Let's go. See, I'm going to have to sit here and decide what flutter buys I'm about to use because I don't got five of the same thing. Because chat ain't having it. Today is Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Robin said. <laughs> Chat, Michelle, not on said, lick your, Donna, Michelle <laughs> said, lick your finger and whatever sticks to it, that's the bling you <laughs> Whatever you pick up. <laughs> <laughs> lick it, hell, I'm going to put some damn bling glue on it and <laughs> pick it up. I'm fucking crying. <laughs> I don't surprise, we don't surprise me at all. <laughs> oh, Michelle, you what might be What the fuck? Able. They got this bitch sewn together. I can't get in it. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Wait, there like, goes. no shit. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, Michelle. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm going to do it. Yeah, because PJ's just still figuring out the what the fuck over there. She ain't got nothing glued on there. <laughs> oh, hold on. Ready? Yeah, ready? <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, if I pick up some orange ass bullshit and some fucking mint it's green, going back. It's going back. It's going the fuck back. <laughs> <sighs> you know I have OCD, right? Oh shit, I froze. Again? I took the charger out. I took the fucking charger out. Robin said it's about to be tomorrow in seven minutes. Oh my chair, dude. <laughs> Uh, oh shit! I don't see, even that know what, one's like that. Oh, what they? Look. <laughs> e pointer. Lindsay said we're ready. It's about <laughs> to be tomorrow in seven minutes. Right, that's what I said. We almost working into tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's right. Y'all are an hour ahead of me. I'm at ten fifty four right now on yeah, a yeah, month. She got two hours. Ricky, 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 Monday. <laughs> Good night, Miss Jeannie. <laughs> Good night, Miss Jeannie. I love you, girl. No, I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I haven't even licked it yet, girl. Hold on. I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, I know, Michelle, we're we're newly acquainted, but I don't think you know the severity of my OCD. <laughs> it's really bad. So I'm very nervous. My heart's racing. <laughs> oh, I'm using that one in the middle. Okay, ready? I'm I'm legit nervous. I'm I'm like aiming for the ABs. Yeah, I was gonna say you better scoop some around before you lick it and stick it. <laughs> Let me spread it out so you can know where I'm aiming at. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let me just put some ABs together over here. Oh, okay. Oh Jesus, please give me something good. <laughs> Uh, you're playing uh, Bible roulette. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing rhinestone roulette. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. I'm very scared. Okay, ready? <laughs> you better not end up with no crazy shit. <laughs> it's gonna be all bad. <laughs> this I'm legit. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> I aim for the AB. <laughs> I could not see like. Oh my god, if I get some kind of just like an off color, some green, some forest green and <laughs> right, some Christmas colors and it's fucking springtime. <laughs> I'm gonna be so angry with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I will have therapy, like years of therapy behind this lick, <laughs> lick and stick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. You know, if somebody new came into this live right now, they'd be like, what in the fuck are they? I know. <laughs> y'all thought I was bullshitting. I'm telling y'all, I aim for the AB so that I know at least that wouldn't have my OCD on high alert. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Okay, and I'm going to do it with the pink over here now because I need to figure out what I'm going to get from here. Ready? All right, let me spread everything out. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> They're licking not and the spreading these girls around no, some other not shit. The butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> no. Redo. Fuck that. Shit. <laughs> that one don't count. <laughs> this was a practice. <laughs> okay, dude. I can't. We're gonna do it again. I cannot take that butterfly. 
Donna, how the hell do I stick my finger in this pink and the biggest, ugliest thing? <laughs> <laughs> what colors do you got on your nails? I mean, it's pink and blue. That's it. And, you know, of course, I made a little purple in the middle, but now my pinkies do have some yellow and green in them from the decals, but like, how does the biggest butterfly stick to you? It's bulky oh and it Lord. has edges that are weird. And if you're not <laughs> doing fucking butterflies, that's just Yeah, I know. I'm going to do two for the big one. <laughs> I don't want to do a butterfly, though. So if I pick up a butterfly again, I'm doing, I'm calling redo on that hole. <laughs> I want to see like, y'all do this shit when you go live. <laughs> Look at Donna's pretty. She got her. Like, remember this. <laughs> all matching nice and shit. And I got this fucking <laughs> rinky dink ass <laughs> liquor. <laughs> It's <laughs> not fair, dude. It's just not fair. I would be picking out all pink and blues, A B's. Girl, I was I know, but I was trying to like for the longest time. I was you see how long we were in our bling? I couldn't mm -hmm. figure out what the fuck to put on my fingers. Uh because I kept wanting to put like and I couldn't find like the perfect big one to put on there. <laughs> I've got oh, the butterflies goodness. fever right now, so I okay. already knew there's going to be some of the butterflies and some flowers. Oh, my God. I got the little teddy bear, too. No, it's a bow. My bad. Never mind. I'm so glad <clears> to be off of winter nails. I got to get this nails. one on her before the lick, so I get, to, I get to keep this one. And I got this one also, so I get to keep this one, too. <laughs> before the lick. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> before the lick. I don't know how I feel about two bows on my nails, though. I mean, can I get a thumbs up from the chat, like, for real? Well, if you put one on your ring and one on your pointer. Girl, it's looking like some gender reveal nails for real. <laughs> They're cute. Well, you got even a purple baby. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'd rather just put one bow and do some fucking chatones or something. I don't know. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's put let's put some application to this. All right. Just try it. Scoot over. Scooch over. Scooch over. Get in there, little flare. Oh my, my goodness. Problem my problem is trying to wipe the bling gel off that extra spillage so it don't shine i mean cure <laughs> shiny on my fucking nail <laughs> and i don't know that i got it all off <laughs> swipe, so i hope to god i am but i can't tell all right let me get this on here real quick there's no turning back now i'm about to go into the light <laughs> <laughs> Go in the light, Jay, go in the light. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, Robin said no to the pink and blue because it looks like gender reveal. And does it not? I mean, ew, ew, ew. <laughs> okay, pink one's there. It ain't going nowhere. We're done. No. You can't be licking and sticking, David. It ain't working. <laughs> I, I don't know if I want to. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I want to do. I, do have, said you got I have the ones. perfect idea. Oh my God! I'm gonna do the. Blue <laughs> with the purple said you need edges. to lick two fingers for them big ones. <laughs> yeah, they're like baby shower nails for real, dude. Oh, I ain't doing it. I am gonna put this one on my middle finger though. I'm gonna bling that middle finger out in chunky style. So let's do it. I'm gonna have to rematte coat because if some did get fucking shiny, you bitch. Damn it. <laughs> 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 I reckon. I'll figure it out. That's All right. It. What did I do down here? So I this go crazy, crazy, baby. Man, I fucking, know. you just made me think about it. Psycho Bob, my stalker. I had Aerosmith's greatest hits. It was on three fucking CDs. I love fucking Aerosmith. And that bitch threw it out the window going down the street. Shut up. Girl, I was, I was so fucking mad. Like, I will never get that collection Asian ever girl. again. <laughs> I'm like, you should go out there and me let me run you over. And then what I had all the Body and Soul CDs. You remember the Body and Soul CDs? Oh, amen. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Jesus. All right. I, I had the whole... Her mom texted... She said, my mom texted me and she has no signs of cancer. Yay, praise Jesus. For real, man. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My friend didn't have any either. Yay, that's two good reports. All right, Lord. Oh, heck Everything yeah. comes in threes. We gotta get one more. Zelda's gonna get a cancer free report soon in the name of in Jesus. Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. I need her to get I need her to get a cancer free report. I mean, she's been dealing and struggling. God bless her that I just can't even imagine. For real. 
Okay, let's see here. I need something else on the sides. Yeah, like, what was it? Lifetime, I think, had the Body and Soul CDs, and I what? had a whole collection because of my son's granddad joined the church. Solomon, he gave I'm me sorry. all the Body and Soul CDs. That's, that's and what I had. I was working night shift, and I would put baby gates up to lock the kids in the living room with me so I could sleep in the daytime. And I wake up to baby DJ sliding my Body and Soul CDs through the crack in the coffee table. Right. And there was no getting in bitches Stop back. It. I was like, oh, my God. What the world? <laughs> that sucked. That what? super sucked. Because they had all the bomb old school ah, R&B songs no. on there. That was baby making music. Damn it. Which one are you talking about? The Body and Soul CDs that they had out once upon a time. It was like, um, you, I can't forget who's... who's Manufacturing I want to say lifetime, but I don't know if it was them or not. But it had like all the oh Luther oh, Vandross like, Earth, Wind and Fire, yes, like all like, the old school R and B jams. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. They had those like lifetime collection yeah. introduces. <laughs> and I woke like up the... to him sliding. He was like 18 months old. There was a crack in my coffee table, and he was sliding his body and soul CD through the crack. You, you can't get that. That don't sound too right. <laughs> oh, it didn't seem too right either. That get off. Hard. I don't want y'all on here. No, get off. you didn't because, like, when I'm cooking Thanksgiving dinner and stuff, that's generally what I'm listening to, and the kids are line dancing in the living room. We're having a ball. Right. They killed my CDs. Mm. Damn kids. <laughs> <laughs> These are going to be so cute. You know, that's They're why they're gonna be jokers. too cute. Too cute. I did not. I knew I wasn't gonna want to take them off. I knew it. I'm like, I'm not gonna want to take these off cute. because it sounds like a good idea in my head. So let me put them on with yoga <laughs> so they stick a little longer. Yes, ma'am. Get these little green ones out. Turn They're over. gonna be too cute. Too oh yeah. Cute. I'm gonna get a four hour nap again before I have to get up in the morning, but it's all right. I ain't got to clean a whole house tomorrow. I just got to drive around all day. So it'll be all right. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Get up on that, girl. Get up on it. I don't Get know what up. happened to that brush, but it's retarded as fuck. It's like bent what all to it? hell. What brush? And my, um, the like little bling gel. Look at this thing. It, it's been like this ever since I got it. And it won't go straight. And it like curls up in the bottle. So oh Lord Jesus! It <laughs> it's, it's extra fucked. Ay ay ay! It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. Amazon sent it to me that way. Amazon screw! Ay 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 ay! Amazon, Amazon caught the ass into me the other day because they sent me some fucked up shit after email sent me some fucked up shit. So they got the rude version. <laughs> like <laughs> blame it on Max Estrada because. I'm like, what the he fuck? Why is everybody sending me fucking trash? <laughs> <laughs> y'all just caught, y'all just caught the aftermath of it. Oh man! On. Well, I ordered a dust collector from Amazon, and it came mm -hmm. in a crunch box with no. It wasn't even in the protective sleeve. It was on like the sleeve is pushed down in the bottom of the box with the dust collector on top of it. No instructions, no power cord. I'm like, so y'all sent me y'all trash too? Yeah. And then I jumped on the guy. I finally got a human being. I'm like, and you want me to catch a ride across town to mail you your trash back? I finally got a human being. I hate that. Oh, it's so hard. I can't. And the thing is, I don't remember how I did it. So, because I had to, I had to like go here and search this and click on this and go over here and do this, this, that, and a third. And yeah. And I get the Autobot. Dude, I can't do this. It's not working. It's not working. I think I'll go back in and put the little centers in at the end. And now I got glue on it, and I it's going to get stuck on there, and I can't take it off. I can't clean it. Mm -mm. I'm not putting more yellow out of my palette because I only need it for one stripe. And I, waste, eh, I wasted a lot of gel. Hello, Andrea. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. This beautiful I, 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 Monday slash almost Tuesday evening morning. <laughs> it's twelve oh seven. Oh my here. god! I'm taking it off. I'm taking it off. I'm taking it off. I'm done. 
let's get this big bad boy off because I got to clean it. It's just not working. <clears throat> it's not vibing. No, 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 no. This line is not right. All right, let's try this again with a smaller version. Because PJ, you are not that person, okay? You're not there mm -hmm. yet. <laughs> you cannot be blinging out big ass things when you ain't ready with the rest of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have the sides that I need to build up around it. Shapes. What the fuck am I doing? So we're going to have to pass on this one. I gotta figure out how to draw this line. Like, I just lost my whole mind all of a sudden. <laughs> like, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? That did not work at all. Yes, Eileen, we are so happy. I am, but I know we are. I was gonna say, I speak for myself, but I know we are. Everybody is. We're extremely thrilled. Very, that very had been worrisome. Mm -hmm. Girl, that is what's up. Hell yeah, girl. Thank God God has the final say-so and not these doctors. That's right. They can say all they want. Oh, they have this much time, or this is what we found, or whatever, but when God's in the driver's seat. My pastor's wife, well, she's a pastor too, Pastor Cindy. Her mother had breast cancer, her sister had breast cancer, and she had went in and got a mammogram done, and she had a lump that was pretty good size. It was pretty big. And um, she had a couple of more tests ran, and three of the tests showed the lump. Oh, they wow. did, like, um, a 20, oh, I or I mean, 48-hour yeah. prayer thing over her, and she went yeah. back, had the test ran again, the lump was gone. Woohoo! The doctor's yes. like, I've never seen anything like this before. Like, without removing it, it's not there. And uh, well, the nurse had said, Pastor Cindy said the nurse was like, "It's not there." And the doctor's like, "What do you mean it's not there?" She's like, "It's not there. It's gone." Wow. <laughs> yep, that's Jace. Jace. She's got one of her um, sister-in-law's kidneys. So I'm like, girl, mm -hmm. I was like, you've been through enough. Oh, she's wow. the sweetest, most giving person I've ever met in my life. Like, she's definitely a spiritual mama, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. She told Pastor Paul she wasn't riding that motorcycle with him no more. Her hips are bad. Damn it. He ain't killing her. <laughs> 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 we went on a missions trip to Huntington, West Virginia. We took like a couple of trucks full of food bags. And we went to this uh, project, was giving the food bags out, and then we gave what was left to the Salvation Army. Yeah. Down there in them hills, Pastor Paul was driving the church van, and I rode with them. Nobody had service. The AT&T people, the Verizon people, my little Metro PCS phone was the only one that had service in the sticks. Oh, no. Are you serious? Girl, I was sleeping in the tent, sitting there messaging Sean, and didn't nobody else have no reception. Because I told him, I'm like, Pastor, you got to slow down. You can't drive down here going 55 miles an hour. You're going to turn this sucker up on two wheels. And so I had it on the GPS. And I'm like, okay, you got a small curve, a medium curve, and then two hairpins. Slow down. And I had to keep telling him because he almost slipped us in the ditch once. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? Mm -hmm. Like in West Virginia, it's just curvy ass roads and you can't see nothing coming because it's around a mountain. So you can't see nothing coming at you. And then cold trucks will run you off the road. So I'm like, dude, you got to slow down. You're going to get our killing done. For real. And the first night I was there, I slept in the tent. It was like in October. Uh -huh. It was, I had, um, I had oh, a heated blanket that hooked up to the generator. Hell I was yeah. in Sean's robe with another blanket on top of me. Well, the second night I spent the night at my mom's house because I hadn't seen her for like seven years. And right. Huntington's like 45 minutes from mom. So she picked me up. Well, thank God I was at her house because the second night the uh, skunk went in the tent with the food and ate all the bread. Oh no, dude, are you serious? Girl, I would have died. Because oh, oh, the first night I'm in there like, what am I going to do? If a critter comes up in here, I, ain't, I had a can of hairspray and a lighter. I'm like, he's going to get lit up. That's all I could think to do. I didn't have a knife. I didn't have a gun. <laughs> but he stayed his ass. That's by the grace of God. He stayed his ass out of there on night number one and went in and ate all the bread on night number two. 
It's like it was a big four person tent and it was half full of food. Like oh, our food, goodness. the food for the, the missions people. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, that's it. Y'all got got. <laughs> Pinky ass ate all the food. <laughs> Poor thing. He's hungry. He was hungry. Man, I was terrified. I didn't sleep very well. Every time I heard a stick crack, I was up. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can sleep in the woods. Like, I just can't. There's no way I can't do it. Well, one of the but girls had a camper, not. but there was like two full size beds in it and four girls already. So I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm going to crawl my ass up in this tent. And I got my hairspray and my lighter. I'm like, I can bring your ass in here if you want to. You're going to go back out of here faster than you come in. It'll probably be too late for me. I'll be sprayed, but you'll be on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, this is not working and we're not going to do this. Oh, yeah, Michelle, it was, I, that was all I could think of. I'm like, I had an aerosol can of Rave hairspray and a lighter. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> not that Rave. <laughs> Strong shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going to tell me that's what held my hair two feet in the air every day. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, I grew up hunting. If somebody would have had a gun, I'd have been cool. But, yeah, no, I'm in the tent. And ain't that shit, but a can of hairspray and a lighter. Hey, if it worked, <laughs> that'll do it by any means necessary. <laughs> Let's see this okay. green one. I want to put a green dot Thank in the center. You, Robin, I had to, I had to change them. I gotta go back. It's too a little too much. It's a little too much. I need a big dotting tool. Is what I need. So we're gonna do a little bit of moving around here. It's just too much, but that's okay. I mean, I, I can't, like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Close enough? This, the one I, they didn't have a green one, so I put the a clear one that doesn't have a colored center on yeah. this finger, and I took the green um, colored polish and put a center. It's shown through, right? Yep. Yeah. It just looks a little thick. I need to spread him out a bit. That is the solution to the problems. I'm I it all out. Is the solution to the problems. Do I not have any uh, silver caviar beads? I think it's definitely not gold. <laughs> I don't know. I've been into gold on my fingernails lately, but I wear all silver. I mean, yeah, I, no. I, I my love wedding silver, rings are gold, but they're covered in these, diamonds, so you can't really tell that. <laughs> I think with this color combination, silver would be so much better than gold. Like, there's no way gold's gonna go with this blue and pink and this purplish color. Oh, like, I have a jelly. I wait till I do the jelly. Bullshit! We gotta hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Titi, titi, titi. I'm gonna be a tired mama tomorrow. <laughs> but that's all right. I, it's been I've been I've seen worse days. Where'd my damn flowers go? Where'd you wanted go? to run with the bulls. Yeah, run with big dogs the stay on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> you want you wanted to play with the big girls. Oh wait, I got a bigger flutter by for this one. How am I gonna do this? Hmm. hmm. That's what I said right now. Hmm. Because it's got to be a little different from. Okay, I know what to do. I know what to do. Yo sé que, que tengo que hacer. Yo sé que tengo que hacer. It's basically saying what you said, but in, in Spanish. <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> this one's too big, though. I mean, oh, whatever. And why I threw a little blue at the... I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just... It's whatever. Why do I do anything that I do? I need some caviar beads. Caviar beads. Where are my cavi, cavi, caviar beads? What the fuck? Boom. Boom. Where my caviar is at? I know my little box of caviar beads. I broke one of the doors off of it yesterday. Now I got to leave it sitting out because they'll spill everywhere. I like this little set. I found it on Timu because it has, it has the... Um, the copper, gold, silver, and gunmetal black. 
but um, in three different sizes for each one. Good night, Jana. Good night, Jana. She has an appointment with her son in the morning. I don't, and I don't want to message, probably mess up. So I'm going to try to force myself to sleep right now. Good night, and I look forward to seeing you guys later on this week. Michelle said, good night, Jana. Jana says, stay blessed. My beautiful family and friends, stay positive, stay blessed, and I hope anyone feeling ill feels better. Yep. Yes, girl. I'm a, it's about to get really loud up in here because I'm about to eat a pretzel rod like this. You go handle your business, baby. I I feel you. I'm a little Completely. bit. I haven't eaten since the salad today, which was about what was it five four. But also because it was a salad, I'm sure that's probably why I'm a little bit hungry right now. So I'm gonna eat this pretzel rod. <laughs> this one's got to be different. That Applebee's I ate earlier had me so on full. I felt like I ate Thanksgiving. I didn't want nothing else. Mm hmm. They have they added some new stuff on their five for twenty five and um oh did they really yep it was two meals one was oh fudge it was a uh, chicken breast with white cheddar and parmesan sauce and it was like you know how they cook the cheese on the little skillet thingy so yeah it had some of that like cooked cheese around it which was fantastic and broccoli and mashed potatoes with the the loaded mashed potatoes with the bacon and everything in it. I was so uh -huh. full. I'm like, oh my oh, gosh, yes. I got to go to sleep. That's why I went into a food coma when I got home. <laughs> I didn't wake back up on time. Oh, shit. I can't get under there. I can't get under there. I need something to like pry away at it. Hold on. Damn it. I can't open it. And I'm tripping because I can't open it. Why do you have a struggle? Oh, the cat. That girl, I got the same fucking one. Them bitches do not want to open. Take no, the man. Take your bling picker. Look, I, I broke always... the door off yesterday of the silver ones because I take the, my bling picker and... Hold on. I know. I know. I was doing that right now. A girl, I was trying to use my teeth. That's the only way that mug opens. And it wouldn't... So I went like this. There it goes. I, I did that the last time, but I want to just take this whole bitch off. So that's what I'm going to do right now because I'm not going to sit here and try to open the door. Open the door. Yeah, open just the door. Take the whole top off. Just take the whole top off. <laughs> yeah, I broke that one off yesterday. I flicked that sucker and it kept on going. I'm like, well, I guess you'll be sitting up on top of the shelf because I can't put you away. Right? You will stay open, but mess around and find out what happens. Huh? I have one of those, um, like, three drawer plastic storage uh -huh. containers. Right. And my second drawer is full of these little boxes with. Everything from <laughs> bling to sequins to whatever. And I'm like, yeah, you won't be going back in there. <laughs> I'm like, damn it. I'm always breaking something. Good night, Andrea. Sorry, I'm crunching. Good night, Andrea. Um, good, good luck with the grandkids tomorrow. Hope you have a wonderful night and have a blessed day tomorrow. I got two more tubes of this glue, but it's not right here where I can get at it. So I'm not about to get up and get it. I'm trying to just tap this one out. Okay. Where'd the white ones go? Oh. I'm truly trying not to take a hundred years, but I take a hundred years to do every fucking thing. Slow <laughs> <laughs> as Christmas. You know I do too, girl. So be a bad combination, me and you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Poor girls. <laughs> it's just like because the OCD be messing with me, you know. It has me at my worst. I don't mind probably very well could be OCD. I've just never been diagnosed because I've always just said I'm a perfectionist. Like if I feel like it looks funny, it's right. going to bother me and it's coming off. Well, I know I, I have never been diagnosed either. But what I did was I, I kind of self-diagnosed. I went through and I looked at the symptoms mm. and I, well, I don't, I don't have like extreme and, and cause there's so many, there's different ways. There's different um, levels. Yeah. Different like OCD, I guess if you want to call it different um stages or not stage well you know what i mean like uh, like different degrees on the spectrum type thing. there you go 
My he husband has gold. it. I, if I lose something and he starts looking for it, he cannot fucking stop till he finds it. It'll be three days later and the man ain't slept and he's still <laughs> looking for the earring I lost in the carpet. Oh, Lord. Well, this thing is on crooked as hell. The whole rhinestone is crooked. He had bought me these little um, crystal heart earrings when I was pregnant with Donovan, and I loved them. They were Austrian crystals, and they were these little tiny hearts. Well, one fell out and got lost in the carpet somewhere in the house. Oh, that no. That man searched the entire weekend until he found that fucking heart. Are you serious? Yep. He was well, not giving sweet. up. And I'm like, baby's OCD kicked in. <laughs> for real? But that's okay, though. It was for a good cause. Yeah, well, he was so... He when I was pregnant, like, in. he was... He was the best dude when I was pregnant. He was so worried that he was going to stress me and... Aww. Hurt the baby or something. Dude. He wasn't doing nothing that he thought could hurt that baby. There's, there's only a handful in this world. <laughs> like, when I came home from now, he was a son of a bee at, for... A very long time. Don't get me wrong. Right. <laughs> Even with that, it seemed like once he, once I got to where he could see the butt, my belly, and it wasn't just like a great size. Mm -hmm. Then he was like extra, extra, extra careful. But like I when I because I still had my hundred jobs, he would not let me cook when I came home. It was you sit down, you start the washer, you put the clothes in the dryer. He had cooked something, whether it was hot dogs, tacos freaking break whatever to feed the family dinner because I'd been at work for two jobs and just couldn't stand up anymore and when I'm pregnant it's all in the front I'm all belly and I was 37 and that oh my god that was so much freaking harder than it was when I was 27 oh my god you think? Like, <laughs> why did I let you talk me into this shit no -uh. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> in 2011, we separated from November 1st till Easter. I made him sit out there and suffer and think about what he did. Like, he was living in a house that didn't have no running water. He'd have to call me to ask me if he could come take a shit or a shower. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm like, no, nope, 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 I'm good. I don't want you. You just stay right where you're at. Too bad old girl didn't last more than 30 days, huh? <laughs> and then Easter, I caved and let him come home. <laughs> Well, you know. Uh, he moved out and moved into a crack house with this bitch. Paid fifty dollars mm -hmm. a week for a room. And we had been together five or six years at the time. And we're married and she was this bitch, she was right. just ratchet as fuck. Well, I don't mind being a side bitch. I said, Well, bitch, you can have his motherfucking oh, ass. Hell I, said, no. I tell you, you what, sure the can. only way he's leaving here <laughs> is if I put his ass out. And you could have him because I'll be damned. And right. I went on survival mode, and this guy that had had a, the hots for me since we were 18, I had seen his cousin in a bar, and she heard me and Sean, it was Swedish Day, arguing about this bitch. Like, he had been, I knew he was creeping. Of course, I couldn't prove it, and he wouldn't admit it for months. And um, right. so she asked me for my number. I, on November 1st, 10 minutes after I put him out, base calls me like, what you doing? I said, man, I'm fixing to come see you roll up. I went in the house, fixed my face, went over there. Now, mind you, I've known him for my entire life. And I'm like, okay, I need somebody to pick up. He's like, what do you need, Dan? I'm like, for you, somebody to pick up where Sean left off. Keep my cars on full. And buy the household <laughs> supplies. And I got these bills. And he was a doughboy, so I'd come home to 30 pairs of socks for me and the kids, four or five bra and panty sets, a couple pairs of tennis shoes, whatever. Gas card for this car, gas card for that car. <laughs> And Sean's like, I can't believe you did this. I know um, we built that together. And I, how, do you, how do you say it? I know it was mostly with your money because you worked all the time. But we built that together. I said, and bro, you chose to leave it. Thank you. you. Your wife, you. your kids, two cars in the driveway and a home for a head over here in the crack house at the end of my street. Mm -hmm. Like, are you kidding me? Then he got arrested, public intoxication, because without me there to keep him sober and right, right. Right in line, this bitch calls me, not him, her, talking about, hey, get your butt off my table. Get down, Moses. Cat done lost her marbles. She was like, Sean wanted me to call you. I said, honey, check this out. I don't know who Sean's oh, no. convinced you I am. I said, but I suggest you hit the temp service and get your man out of the way. I ain't got shit for you or him. <laughs> 
then about a month later, she moved on to a relationship with a, a white woman. I'm like, how do you go from a black man to a white woman? But I guess. Whatever. That is so uh, op polar opposite. Of like you this. have no preference. You're just whatever stands upright with a pulse. You but, just Roman. She's just Roman. <laughs> yeah. And then I let him suffer. And everybody was like, is he on drugs? And I'm like, no. I said, Sean ain't even going to take a Vicodin willingly. I said, now when he gets drunk. Well, she puts in the weed. It, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I ain't going to do it. That him being all skinny and shit is because he ain't living right. Right. Damn. So we've had our moments, but we've both came a long way. Right. I wasn't like I wasn't a cheater because me and God, we always been tight enough for me to know better than that. But yeah, I wasn't an angel. He had shit that he put up with with my crazy ass, too. Well, nothing like that, but, you know. Well, I mean, yeah, I know, I know what you're saying, because it doesn't compare. This doesn't compare. <laughs> well, like when I went through all that mess with the tramadol and getting past it and having the strokes and everything else, you know, he was, I'm like, I kept telling him, don't you leave me here by myself. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I can't hang on to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> My best friend, I just remember hearing her when she came to the hospital. Like, why is you, why are y'all just leaving her lay there in pain like that? Oh no! They, they said they couldn't give me anything because it would ma could mask the symptoms of another stroke, and all I could do was lay there and pray and try to go to sleep so I didn't feel it. Mm -mm. But I remember hearing her say, "If something happens to her, I'll fucking kill you," because he was a lot of my stress at that time in life. Mm -hmm. Sean said, "I knew you was a real one when you threatened to kill me in the ICU." Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that should say it all. <laughs> Angela, I mean, she's. She's not heavy, but she's not no tiny little girl. She's like five foot right. six, seven. And she's strong as a freaking ox. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I've tried to restrain her a couple of times. Like, damn, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you about ran over me. Shit. And I'm a ruffian and you gave me a hard time. So, Lord. Good Lord Jesus. But she grew up in the household with two brothers and a dad that, you know, she got put through a few walls here and there. So <laughs> she's a little rough, too. That matters. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I wish God would send her husband. Like, she oh, is the type God. of person that you talk about being able to count on somebody. No matter really? what, she'd give you her freaking last. Like, she is so freaking dependable. That's cool, man. When me and her met, Again, it was... Not many. Instant. We became friends instantly and met mm -hmm. at the nursing home. But she, because I figured her out real quick, like she cries whether she's mad or happy. Like she giggles and then the tears right. will come. And I told her, I got to stand there for a minute and look at you and wait to see what's going on. I don't know if you're giggling because it's funny or you're giggling because you're about to rip somebody's head off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Okay, here we go. You got it figured out now, Peach. Yeah, this is about this is it, and this is a little. Um, I don't even know what extreme for me, but I'm I'm good. I'm just gonna have to just cure it and let's go. Girl, I love the bling. The more bling, the better. It's just these. What you call it? I think I'm gonna go smaller on these two right here. The caviar beads. It's just too um. Whoa. Too much. Yeah, the bigger ones. I'm going to go smaller, and then that's it, yeah. That's it, yeah. I'm done with this nail. And then I got to just, I don't even know, my other my um index, throw something on it, and that's going to have to just be, it's going to have Good to night, be enough. Good night, Andrea. Andrea left us. Good night, Andrea. I know everybody just, it's dwindling. It's dwindling. Yeah, 1230 that's in the okay. morning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On a Monday, Although, like, over here, there's no school, so I'm cool. But, like, people still work and stuff, so. Let me see, PJ. Oh, that is pretty. Thank you. It's a little overboard, but that's okay. I'm Scoot cool. Scoot over a little bit to your right. I can't see good. Hang on. Sorry. Back. Scoot back. Nope. The other back. The other way. Your other back. <laughs> my other, oh, that my back. Gorgeous. That is so gorgeous. I love those stones. Those stones are beautiful. They are, right? Thank you. 
I kind of, I just, I don't know why I did the blue and purple, but that's okay because it's, it's, it suits you it think, good. You know, when you hold it like this and it's straight, right? And then you hold mm -hmm. it like this and it's crooked as hell. <laughs> yeah. Robin says not overboard and it's not, it's perfect. I like it. Okay. I'm a cure, but I need to get it straight and it's not, sh it's not going straight for me. I'm always overboard. So I've just come to expect it. <laughs> I stopped trying to overthink it. But you know what though? I mean, there's a lot of times there's people like that, that, you know, they, you know, they do, they go uh, above and beyond or, you know, they do extra mm -hmm. and that's, that's okay. Cause that's, that's their brand or their, you know, their style or whatever. If, if for me, I'm not, I'm not always, I, sometimes I can be a bit much, but when I'm not used to it, I, it always, and I try to do it, I like it or I want to, but I'm so not used to it. So it makes me feel a little like out of place. Like I have to just get, I have to just adjust, you know? And see, I'm the other way around. Like I know a lot of people like not over the top. They'd rather see more, I don't know what to call it. Like something that you would wear on a regular, but I'm an over the top person. So if I, I'll be sitting there looking at it like, I don't like this at all. It just seems like it's missing everything. Right. <laughs> like I got to go back and throw some, a cluster on there or something like it just feels like it ain't like these I don't know what you're talking about but when it's like too plain right yeah like I'm not like the only thing that plain that I like is like a uh, a pink and white Frenchie right. that's probably the only that one that you put, can do plain and it's okay you know right what I'm saying? do that and put nothing on it and it's all right I've tried to not be overboard but it never happens because I'm looking at it like no I need something else no I need something else like, no, I'm trying not to do a that. full bling nail, but I always end up there. <laughs> I completely forgot that I was trying to do something with these two fingers. Cover the bald spot. And I didn't even cover the bald spot on here. I don't even see a bald spot. Where's it at? I'm going to show you right now. Watch. Hold on. I'm going to build it up right here because there's a hole. I didn't see. Wait. See my glitchy fingers. Okay, do you see right here? Right, right there. There's no uh, new, like it's not, uh, you can't see because I don't have my light on to see it good, but there's no say, color I there. It. <laughs> I know it looks like it because that's my natural nail, but if you look close, this is like the, the nude color and then it stops right there. And this is my natural nail. Oh, okay. So it's, it's actually I, two I different shades of, of tan, a brown, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You it's know, I did natural. not know the other day, till the other day that you went to beauty school. Oh, really? Yep. I was watching you lay acrylic and I'm like, damn, she's good. Well, now You're I know so why. Silly. <laughs> so, I, I'm actually, I, I'm really, I don't know if, you, if I told you, I mean, I don't remember if I did or not, but I'm, I'm very out of practice because I have not been doing it regularly. I've been doing all these uh, PR, gel polish, gel polish, gel, and so... I told myself like, nah, man, I gotta start laying acrylic again because I I went back to do it one time and I did, I I felt like I couldn't I felt like I'd never done it before. Like you didn't it know what the Lord was doing. <laughs> yep, I've been there. Yep. So and I, and it wasn't even like it had been like maybe two months or something or like a month since I did, but that probably two. That was God, enough. Look at that. I got focused oh, on oh, trying to be faster and doing Gel X okay. because it was faster, and then I'm like, hold up, this ain't right. Yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let me just this uh, 40 seconds. Then when I did go back to acrylic, same. It was just like I didn't, it seemed like I'd never did acrylic in my life. I know, right? It really messes with you. I was just like, I mean, How girl, my cuticle. that freaking fast? <laughs> my, my cuticle bead was all messy and nasty. And it was just like, whoo, Lord Jesus. <laughs> like it had been some years that since I had done acrylic when I got back into it. And I had I went and watched some a bunch of Greg's and uh, Young Nails videos, and had to re because I'm like nothing is the same as it was way back a thousand years no, ago. No, <laughs> you're so you could not be you could not be so more right. I mean, it really isn't. I'm telling you, I didn't learn like when we went to school. It was just clear, translucent pink. They called it pink, but it was translucent, clear pink and white. That's it. That's all we had to work with. And OPI. You know? Remember we talked about the OPI yep. and the tips. If you wanted any type of this, it had to be colored tips. The tip itself was colored or had a design on it or something. And then you would glue the tip on and that was your design. And then you would just uh, clear, clear, you know, put a little pink on the bottom and then clear it. I clear cap that thing. 
And that was your that was your design. So I would put glitter in my acrylic to give it glitter and look at pretty shine whatever. And that's how I was. And then you know just like do. Uh, but then we didn't even in school we didn't have gel polish. It was nail lacquer. Yeah, regular old polish. wasn't no gel, nothing. Girl, no. Uh, and then Robin says I'm extra extra. And Eileen said, "No, PJ, you make amazing art." Thank you, Eileen. Eileen said, "For me, I do what I like. If you like it, cool." That's and true. Not, I know that's cool too. <laughs> I think for me, it's like I, I'm, I like that bit of extra, but because I have, you know, I, I'm having to start to come out with it more and more, so that way it doesn't look like it's not me. But that's what I want, though. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think that's why I'm so attracted to Robin's nail art because she is extra, and I love extra. Oh, of course. <laughs> I'm all about it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, look at Robin shit. I was looking, peeking <laughs> on her IG one day, and I'm like, this is freaking amazing. Like, girl, where is your videos? I know. I'm trying to tell her that. Tell her. I'm telling you. She don't. Like, she she, she needs to come ass. on with it. She sure do. Huh? That shit was yeah. gorgeous. I uh, know. It took so long for her to just come on with it, girl. Like she needs to make videos. Did, I'm glad she finally pulled the trigger on that and um shared it with the world. So because see, I feel I feel like that with so many people because you just you hear them say it like, oh, I'm gonna do my nails or I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do a set or whatever, and you never see it. Eileen was the same way. I'm gonna do a set. I'm gonna do a set this weekend. Or I'm gonna do set. I'm doing my nails right now. So Thank that you, was that's what it was. Both of them were like that. And then it's like, well, let me see it. I want to see it. They don't have a, they didn't have a channel. They didn't have nothing. Right. And all of a sudden, one day they post, and it's like, wow. What the hell? Like, you had that in you this whole time? I know. <laughs> you're, like, mad, like, borderline pissed off at them. Like, uh, why the hell did it take you so long mm -hmm. to come over here, man? Shit. <laughs> like, all oh, this talent. Shame on you. <laughs> yes, she does. But Robin does post shorts, and she posts on Instagram. That's right. I, I know you do. We're saying you. it took you a little minute. <laughs> yeah, I see. I go I went all through her Instagram. I've seen all of it on there. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I love that. <laughs> mm, just we're waiting for that. That first YouTube video. video. Just waiting, Robin. Any day now. Take your time, honey. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I, like I said, I love the extra, extra. Yeah, I know. It, it, I've always beautiful. said since I was a little girl, like six years old, I remember because I come home. When you got good grades, you got to get out. The, the, my teacher had this treasure box. I came home with a different colored plastic diamond ring. I had a, like a red one, <laughs> a blue one, a pink one, a diamond one uh, from my pinky to my thumb. <laughs> oh, good Lord. My mom called me Jewelry Jake my whole life. I said, everything blingy and shiny just has always drawn my eye straight yeah. to it. And I've loved Dolly Parton since the day I seen that woman exist. <laughs> I'm like, oh, the big hair and the rhinestone costumes. Like, she was just gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just keep dropping it. All right. One so, more, and then I could put on caviar beads and mac top around it so I can get my shiny off that I got on there. Get your rocks off, your shiny rocks off. These did turn out pretty cute. I'm loving it. I'm glad I put them on. No, they came out so really they nice. Come off. That's so cute because you did it similar, but not exact. So it's, yeah. it's like a, you did yesterday's inspo was an inspo, and this is the inspo of an inspo. Yep. <laughs> and I remember that it, I realized that the mat was what I was missing. Yeah. Because I'm like, really what cute. the fuck? Why does this look weird? Like, it doesn't look anything like hers. And I'm like, you dumbass, you, <laughs> you didn't do Matt. You did Jane. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. And so I'm good. loving these little, I don't know what it is with these flowers and butterflies this year because I've never been like super drawn to them, but this year I am. Right. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's quite all right. Okay. Let me just pull this out real quick and get this going into. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I can do that. Um, hmm. Well, that's what my son the last time 
what I put, I played when I had went live to talk, to explain the giveaway rules. Mm -hmm. I told him, listen, I want you to watch this video. And he was like, what is it? I said, just watch it. Just wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> when they hollered. <laughs> He's watching it. Yes. In the background, mm -hmm. you can hear him yelling because he games and <laughs> he's like, I don't hear it. I said, just keep watching. And then all of a sudden you can hear him. Ah, he's doing it right now. <laughs> oh yeah, I will hear mine. Like they game on the third floor and I'll be down here in the living room. I'm like, if I can fucking hear you screaming at the TV, like there's 19 steps to the second floor, 19 steps to the third floor. There's no way in the world I should be able to hear you screaming at the TV. Oh my God. <laughs> like that. <laughs> You heard him. We're going to have to cast some demons out in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you done got possessed with the hell. The let's be real. That's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I don't know if this is going to be so off, like, doing it. Like Eileen said, yes, I love all nails. All nails are art. Extra nails, simple nails, in between nails. All nails are art. Amen, girl. Short, long, stiletto, square, whatever. Just nails, period. I'm an yeah. alcoholic. I always say acrylic is my first love, but occasionally I cheat with poly gel and, and gel X. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> that looks weird. No, no, no. That's too gender reveal. Uh-uh. Nope. You back to the gender reveal vibes? Yeah, girl. I tried to put a bow, like, off-center. Like, put it right here in the middle and be like, I guess that's okay because it's not too, like, you know, no, it still looks gender reveal. I don't know. I like the bows personally, but I don't know why. I, that's the vibe it's giving me. Even though you I got like the other too. colors, I think is why I'm not feeling it. Gender reveal. It's just like I thought that was what that was the initial intent to like break it up, but I I just keep every time I look at those two bows because because it's a bow, you know what I mean? So right. It's giving me like baby, you know. <laughs> I have this acrylic from a cart that's got baby blue and baby pink like circle. Of dots of acrylic in, i mean glitter in it and i always think the same thing like it makes me think of baby shower gender reveal colors but i think it's just the baby blue and the baby pink together yeah you know what i should do the ab let me, let me go uh-uh about -uh. <laughs> knock my Excuse lamp me. off the reverse that take that back i have my lamp sits on top of my desk hey Solomon. On this side, i got a lamp on the other side of the desk too for when i do people's nails so they don't have to play twister with the lamp I got a lamp on the left side, right side. No, I was kidding. I do because one of the left have on to the do right the arm front. cross thing. You know, there's one on either end. Yes. Because when I got this um, young nails lamp in the mystery box, I'm like, um, because I had a rechargeable cordless. I'm put that one over there, but this one over here. And this poor <laughs> young nails lamp, the inside of it looks awful from the gel polish I done got in it, but oh well. The wit, the wit, oh the lamp. I know. Yeah. Mine is the same way. It's the same damn way. There's so much gel polish up in there now. It's so, like, there's no, I, I thought like I could just try to fix it or save it or whatever, but no, mm -mm. it's so, it's just ruined. But I always hear people say, if your nail like tech lamp is clean, she ain't no good. She, yeah. <laughs> I've heard that before too. That is it. How, how can you tell if you have, if your nail tech's good, look at her lamp. <laughs> yep. The poor thing looked like it's been through the war. Does, through it and back. All right. Now, should I use these ones? <laughs> oh, there's little pearls in here. I just noticed them. Oh, is there really? Yep. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty blue. Well, it's not yes. the same blue as in the flower, though. Damn it. Mother He's banging? banging right now. Oh, my God. And, uh, do you hear the yes, I know. Sorry. Well, I guess it ain't going to match. Oh, flip it doodle well. Oh, flipping doodle well. Like the, the inside <laughs> of the flower, the blue is not the same blue as the little flowers, but oh well, it's going to have to work. Mm -hmm. I put my line over too far and I can't get my flutter by to go the right direction. Not the wool, that's why, because it's a flutter by, not a butterfly. Mm -hmm. Yep. My daughter, we started that when she was little, she would always say that my dad had baby rabbits. Like they bred and there was a whole gang of them. And when they got big enough to get sold, daddy sold them. And she come flying in the house. Pop, 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 pop. Somebody came and stole every one of our runny babbits. They're all gone. <laughs> runny babbits. What'd she say? Runny babbits. Runny babbits. <laughs> yeah. 
And she would Aww. say Flutterbys and Runny Babbits. Like when she got excited, she would talk so fast she would say them backwards. Say backwards. Dude, that's got to be so hard to have, you know, when you have little kids that grow up with the little animals and then they have to get like cooked or sold or whatever for things. Bestie How do you say that? Bestie Therians? Says their nails are so pretty. I love them. Hey, Bestie. I don't know if I'm oh, saying hello, that the second bestie. word right, but I can say Bestie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Therians. Yeah. Bestie Therians. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Gracias. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm rounding third here. base, Donna. I'm rounding third. Me too. I, I got a couple why. more little flowers to <laughs> lay down, and I got to put the the centers in them though. The which ones? The the I only put the centers in the uh, thumb. See, it's got the little gold caviar beads in the centers of the flowers. I didn't oh put yes, them on yes, the rest yes, yet. yeah. I still have to do that part over here. You got that's that's a must. I don't know. I've tried laying them down without it. It's not bad. They're not bad, but let me cure that for that slide one. I don't know why, but I need to see. I feel like part of the flowers <laughs> missing without it. Huh? It feels like part of the flowers missing without it. I always feel like they, exactly like it's just not the flower, right? It's like mm -hmm. the core of it or whatever. It doesn't look like an actual. Because, you know, on the cool, like, caviar beads anyways make nail art. To me, it's like the finishing touch, you know? Yeah, it's a little, little extra little flair. Right. So then when you don't have it, it's like, mm -hmm. See, I couldn't decide when I started this if I was going to um, do some 3D nail art with acrylic, because I had thought about that, too. But then I'm like, no, I really want to use these little butterflies and these flowers. What do you want, Moshe? Mm -hmm. They over here, like... Y'all gonna have to wait, man. Beat it, kitty kitties. It's the not five thirty in the morning just because I'm down here. They're on a schedule. The kitty, <laughs> like they come out for breakfast, like when I come out of the bedroom in the morning, and oh, okay. they're sitting here looking at me. I'm like, yeah, I know it's late as fuck, and I'm out here, but it is not five thirty. It's not because I'm out here for you. <laughs> it's not because it's time for y'all to be eating. And then they're they do be, be on a schedule though. They they mm -hmm. they like. I think it's not even just just cats like all animals just like that human nature also to have scheduling is more um comforting or what's that i'm thinking about you know disability and what yeah yep. it's like you don't feel so um yeah you feel more stable like dogalina i let her out um so the cats come down early in the morning and at 5.15, when I come down, 5.30, you know, I'm feeding them. And she doesn't wake up until, Dog Elena doesn't wake up till about 9 o'clock to go use the bathroom. I let her out the cage to go outside and do her business. And then back in the cage you go, sis. And she usually goes back to sleep till about 11. Well, then I chase mm -hmm. the cats upstairs. Y'all done got your six hours. And I let Dog mm -hmm. out for her little time. And then usually before the re everybody gets home, I put her back up for a while and let the cats come back down and they get their little lunch or whatever. I try to give them like some soft food once a day and the hard food. Oh, okay. Day. Okay. Yeah. And I'll split a can or if I don't got no soft food, I'll split a can of tuna. They love that. Oh, they love the poo-poo out of tuna. I used mm -hmm. to give my cats tuna just because they didn't even have to do anything wonderful. Just be cats. <laughs> And Moshe, <laughs> Moses, she likes my uh, cereal milk. When I got a bowl of cereal, she's meow, meow, sitting there at my feet just waiting for it because oh, I finished. Oh, she wants the, the sweet milk. Yep. She don't want it if I leave any cereal in it. She'll look at me like I'm crazy and walk away. But if I, I have to eat every piece of cereal out and then take the spoon out and put the bowl on the floor and she'll drink the milk. <laughs> Those spoiled brats. But I got them Damn. both when they were tiny, tiny little baby kitties. And like they slept in the bed with us and I had a little, little tiny Tupperware, like disposable butter bowl or something for a litter pan because they wasn't big enough to get in a litter box. Yeah. And they, they took naps like babies. They would play a while and take a nap for a while. And so they're very attached to me. That's cute. My little buzzards. BC, he was, they called him baby cat, but then he wasn't a baby cat anymore. So it was BC and then Moses was supposed to have been a boy, and I'm thinking Moses is my favorite 
biblical character, Moses right. and Abraham. Mm -hmm. And um, first the kids are throwing around basketball player names. And I'm like, no, 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 no. But I didn't say anything. <laughs> And um, then Misha was like, well, how about Moses? I'm like, yep, that's it. I said, because that's what I was thinking. But I wanted to see what y'all was going to come yeah. up with first. And, well, she wasn't a boy. One day I'm looking at her when she got bigger. And I'm like, you got the biggest, prettiest eyes and this big old fluffy tail. And I'm like, uh -oh. I don't think you're a dude. And she turned around to walk away. And I'm like, yep, nope, you're a bitch. Yeah, she ain't got no balls. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't think you got neuter without telling us. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. I'm like, well, Mos Moshe is how you say Moses in Hebrew. Yes. Yeah. So I'm like, well, you're a Moshe and not a Moses. Oh, that's cute. We we had the same thing happen because we had a, a litter of, of Siamese. And Ooh. one of them, she was like so beautiful. Um, golly, she was Siamese, but she had like she was mixed Siamese and I forgot what it's called. They call it something steel, seal, gray seal, something. I can't remember the name. Gray seal Siamese. But she had all the characters. Like her brother was straight Siamese, like to the core. Mm -hmm. A typical Siamese, what they look like, you know, they call them brown something or, or something like that. I think. Right. Or, they all have, there's so, many, there's so many different Siamese names. But this one, she had like tiger stripes on her paws, like here. On her arms, I'm not gonna step mm. over. And then her, the rest of her was like it would like uh, fade ombre into like ombre, <laughs> ombre into a um, Siamese. Well, I bet she is pretty. She, oh, she was beautiful, just absolute uh, steel gray eyes, you know, just beautiful with great little green flecks. And <laughs> Robin said her cat likes ramen noodles. It's the only human food that he'll eat. <laughs> <laughs> you got a hood cat, Robin. <laughs> Dude, I love, I know I love giving, I love to give my cats when I had, I don't have no more, but when I, I love, I used to love giving them tuna, just spoiling them just because, but so, oh Lord, it's not staying down. Um, so we had started going to get them spayed and neutered because, um, we had it, I wasn't staying in my apartment no more and I had to live with my mom and I have some videos of them. They're in the videos, like randomly. I took little random shots of them in my, in my older videos when I was at my mom's house. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, you know, a post where I, when I posted some of my nail videos, like some, like every once in a while I would flash over and look at them. So they're in some of them, but, um, Ooh. as a matter of fact, in my giveaway video on one of the pictures, one of the images where there's two cats, that's mm -hmm. two of my white, my white Siamese. Cause they're, they were also, apparently they were Siamese also, but so, um, you know, the I seven of you guys still in here, sorry, PJ, but I'll forget. The seven of you guys still rocking with us, that's what's up. I'm sorry. Thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, dude, so I, I had to take her, had to take all of them to get spayed and neutered because I was at my mom's house and she was like, this is expensive, you know, dude. Yeah. Well, we they have a they have a program over here in, in San Antonio. If you live in a certain zip code, you get it free. I wish they do that here. Yeah, because there's an abundance of cats. That's why. Mm. In certain areas, there's almost like an overload. Like there's too many cats. Right. So in those areas, they give you free spade neutering. However, they only do so many a month. So they open up the they open up the scheduling on the last Monday of the month, and you have like limited time at, like at nine o'clock they open up the scheduling so you have to literally be there ready to log in i mean i mean log in ready to click on nine nine a.m because as soon as it happens nine you have to start like it'll like jam you know what i mean so you have to try to get in try to get in to get your schedule right. because it fills up quick like really quick i bet and if you don't you're just sol oh my goodness and then you have to wait till next month i and i had to spay and neuter uh i believe it was seven or eight of them so they only Ooh. do so many a month, so many, when they open it up, they only take so many for that day. That's it. You have to wait till mm -hmm. next month to do it all over again. So I had to like go in, schedule, click out, go in, schedule, click out, you know, like hurry up to try to get them all in. And I missed, I was only able to get three in the first time. Then I had to keep going. I got another three and then I went back and got one more or two more or something like that. So it took a few months to get them all spayed and neutered. But when it was, and I called her snow, the really beautiful little, like she had, she looked like a snow leopard to me. 
She had like mm. striped spots and then it went into like a beautiful fur with like slight Siamese looking up here in the face. I took her in and I was like, this is snow. And you know, you're introducing and whatever. And she's like, I was like, they said, how, how, how old is she? And I gave them to her and I was like, I can't remember how many weeks she was or how many months or whatever. And then she was like, Oh, she's so beautiful. And they're looking at her. She's like, well, she's actually a he. And I was like, oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> He's handsome. I was like, no, are you serious? You oh, still pretty. Baby. <laughs> Hi, pretty nails uncut. Hey, Denise. How are you doing, girl? Oh, you my know, goodness. Only way you get anything free around here is if you get a critter from the pound. Uh-huh. And then they pay for it. Oh, or 60 bucks serious? a critter. Yep. So far, yeah. I've been lucky. Moshe will not let BC get it. Like, if he tries to get on her back, she's learned that if she flips over on her back, <laughs> she can whip his ass. So, <laughs> she flips over on her back and fights him. Oh, Lord. Like, at first, I was keeping him away from her because she was way younger than him. And I'm like, no, you don't, you old nasty cat. Leave that baby alone. <laughs> and because she was, like, a couple years younger than him, and she was still a kitten, and he's trying to get her. And I'm like, no, I will fuck you up. You better leave her be. <laughs> and then she learned that if she flops over, she can kick his ass. So she ain't not if she flops over. <laughs> he gets a skin like it's a, a skin allergy every spring, and oh, he no. will rip like. So I got new flea collars, and because that the neighbor cat kept getting in, and um, Aww. I went and got new flea collars and shit because I'd seen a flea on one of the animals and bomb the house, yeah, the course. critters, all that jazz. Well, last year we paid to bomb the house, and it was fucking outrageous. I know. I dude, mean, three I floors know. in the basement, we got a lot of space to cover. Well, then when we finally got that sad sucker from coming over here, but I had, well, we thought we did. Sean had to do it again, but ain't no fleas, and I got new flea collars, and they're, they're little things to go on their back that I always buy. Like, you put it on the back of their nape where they can't lick it off. Yeah. And little tubes of but uh, flea anti flea whatever's, and um, well he st he ripped a big bloody spot in his fucking neck, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck? And I'm like, it must be that flea collar, because he fought that cat once, and I thought the cat had did it, but then I realized that cat hadn't been in here for a while, and uh -huh. he uh had ripped that big old whole gash in his neck, so I oh, took the no. flea collar off of him, and I'm like, well, you've been treated, so and there ain't no fleas in here, so you should be copacetic. <laughs> and I looked the other day, and he's done ripped another big hole in his fucking neck. And he did it last year, but last year I thought it was because that cat brought the fleas over here. Oh, my God. And um, my friend is a vet assistant, so I asked her, I'm like, dude, what the fuck? I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with this cat. And she was like, yeah. he must have some kind of skin allergy that every year, because it's like seems like right as soon as I get him back all, because they're all black, both of them, all black and fluffy, and then he starts ripping right. not the hair out. And she said that's probably why Moshe won't let him get it because she senses something wrong with him and she don't want to have a litter by him. Oh, okay. I guess that's how cats, you know, they do they do sense stuff like that though, for real. They sense it in their newborn, they sense it in their mates. Like they really truly do. I learned so much by having these cats about them. I, I read a lot about what they do and why they do what they do. They're very, they're very uh I mean, you know, of course, dogs, same, you know, but mm. they're very particular with what they do and, and how, why they want things done a certain way. And Well, I noticed, you know, like, have it with me. she went to heat a few times because when he first tried to get it and I chased him off of her when she was so small or she hadn't even gone into heat yet. I'm like, get you fucking bitch. Leave her alone. And yeah. now I know she's gone to heat a couple of times, but she's like, yeah, I ain't having it, bro, back up. Right. I'm like, thank God, because Angela's cat, that thing, she lets them outside, like, in the morning time, and they use the bathroom and stuff and come back in the house. That motherfucker's had, th she's pregnant now and had two other litters, like, in the last four months that Angela's had to get oh, rid of. Wow. I'm like, I could not have eight, nine kittens crawling around my house. They would drive me insane. Yeah. I would be, I don't know, she does a good job of getting rid of them. Like, uh, one girl was from, like, an hour away, and Angela met her. And she took, like, three kittens. Oh, shoot. We were talking about... She was real close to my foster brother, too. He was just, like, 
everybody's mm-hmm. homeboy. Ty was real cool people's and she's only had like been she only has two people in her life it was me and him and she said it because i could never remember the day he passed and i was like maybe it's better that way i don't want to remember Mm -hmm. because she called me she had drove her daughter to a volleyball tournament and she called me crying and i'm like what the fuck is wrong right and she couldn't speak to tell me and she was when she finally got out she was like tyrone died i'm like man shut the fuck up Oh no! Like I right, man, go on somewhere. I'm like, what is wrong with you? I'm like, who told you that bullshit? Oh, I'm like, no. I'm like, dude, I just talked to him like yesterday. Right. Oh my and god. Then, I so I jumped. I couldn't get a hold of anybody on the phone, so I jumped in my car and went down there. And his girl's best friend, they live. Their mama lived around the corner, and they was always over there. Well, wasn't nobody answering the door at Tyrone, so I went around the corner and I. I said her two daughters' name, and I'm like, I'm friends with them and Tyrone and, and Simone. Right. And the one daughter came around. She's like, yeah, mom, she's cool. We know her. And um, they was like, yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? Like, he's 48 years old. Like, people just don't rock dead. There was nothing wrong with dude. Right. Yeah, there was. He had congestive heart failure, and they gave him freaking oh. uh, a muscle relaxer because they profiled him as an addict and thought he was drug-seeking when he was in massive pain and Oh, are you kidding me? How do yeah, you girl, he took one muscle relaxer and dropped dead in 20 minutes. How do you profile somebody as a drug addict without having a, a medical history of them being a drug addict? Well, like I told Simone, and I'm trying to get her to freaking sue because they got a 15-year-old and a 9-year-old. Pearl might be 10 now because I think her birthday's in February. Oh, my goodness. Um, he, Tyrone was like 6'4", dark skin. He went in sweating and freezing. And she said the doctor kept asking him, what kind of drugs do you take? And he's like, I don't do drugs. I don't smoke cigarettes. I smoke marijuana. I have my my whole life. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't do anything. They didn't do the on-site assessment where they check your heart, listen to your heart, listen to your lungs, listen to your bowel sounds, which they're supposed to do for everybody that comes in the ER. Because he was cold but sweaty, and to be frankly freaking honest, a black man, they... prescribed him muscle relaxers and sent him on his fucking way being some lazy night shift ass doctor and nurse. He gets, cause his leg was in massive pain. So they thought he was seeking drugs. He didn't know he had congestive heart failure yet. Oh, whoa. Okay. When the coroner, mm, uh-huh. his leg was hurting because he had a blood clot in it. And, um, when the oh, coroner wow. did the coroner's report, he was like, y'all got a lawsuit. He was so full of congestive heart failure. He was throwing up fluid. Because he'd really? been coughing, coughing, coughing for like two months and just throwing up water. And I'm like, Tyrone, that, something ain't right, man. You need to get that shit looked at. And yeah. because his heart was basically surrounded with water, Mm-mm. when he took that one muscle relaxer, he dropped dead in 20 minutes. His heart wasn't strong enough to beat through the fluid wow. in the fucking muscle relaxer. And here's Simone, skinny as real. She's like 115, 120 pounds and about five foot six, five foot seven. You turn the girl sideways, she disappears. And he collapsed face down. She was like, if I could have just turned him over, I said, Simone, there was nothing you could do. It wouldn't have mattered if you could have got him turned over. You could not make his heart beat on a muscle relaxer through that fluid. Right. Dude. I'm pissed. Yeah. This, um, let me see if I can get it out here. Woo, woo, woo. Hold on. Woo, woo, woo. This necklace has his ashes in it. Oh, let me see. Oh, my goodness. It says inside of the heart, um, always on my mind, forever in my heart. Oh, that's too cute. I'm just, and she's not went nowhere with the lawsuit. I'm like, girl, Mm -mm -mm. like, fuck that being high and lazy. Well, and I know you don't want to deal with it, but you're dealing with it every day of your life because they've been together for 18 years. Like, no, it would have been 20 years last year. Because they were together longer than me and Sean. And we've been together 17 years in May. I'm like, you need that. He worked to to raise them girls. And uh, although, you know, it's like ripping open a, a wound. You, I had to the hospital, the doctor as an individual, the nurse as an individual. Because you lazy fucks had anybody did their fucking job. And right. I profiled my brother by the color of his skin. And what he was going through at the time and just put the damn stethoscope. All they had to do was stick a stethoscope to his chest 
and they would have heard his heart was like, you know how when you go swimming and you could hear things underwater? Yes, like it's faint, like, womp, but you womp, can womp, still womp, hear womp, it, womp, right? Womp. That's how his heartbeat would have sounded because it was surrounded with fluid. But they didn't do wow. the on-site assessment. They just profiled him as a fiend and gave him a pacifier prescription and sent him on his way. That's what they do around here with addicts. If somebody comes in and they think that they're drug seeking, they give them a, a muscle relaxer and send them on, on their way. And when the coroner cut him open to do the um, autopsy, he was just loaded with fluid. He was like, he was plumb mm -hmm. full of fluid and he had a DVT in his leg. That's why his leg was hurting. Mm -hmm. That's why I told my son, don't you go to EMH, they'll kill you. You go to Oberlin. Damn. Don't go nowhere yeah. to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> they closed down the maternity ward because um, something happened. They killed a girl's baby or something. Either they they pulled it out with forceps and hurt it. Something happened. But she got millions and millions of dollars. I'm like, when wow. I last year, my daughter came to get her nails done on Christmas Eve. Uh, yeah. Not this past Christmas, the year before. Uh -huh. And I, she gave me a cold. But... It, it did. Mm -hmm. I didn't heal from the cold, and it kept getting worse and worse. And I couldn't. I, by the time I got to the second floor to pee, I was smothering. So, so I'm like, it just kept getting worse. I had a nebulizer. I had uh, powder and inha steroid inhalers, all kinds of shit. And New Year's Eve, I go up to use the bathroom. I'm like, man, you got to take me to the hospital. Once I get up there, I ain't got enough wind to even get on the toilet. Wow. He's like, where do you want to go? I said, Oberlin. You're fucking taking me to EMH. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Oberlin and um, they came back in and she was like, you have a pulmonary embolism. I'm like, well, what do you do for that? <laughs> like, I, that freaked me out. Like, Yeah, I like, uh, like I know what that is and what to do right. with it. Right. And she said, no, we, they call them um, clot busters. And they gave me shots in my gut, in my belly for like two days. It was like three shots twice a day for two days. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't come off the oxygen. Like if every time I took the oxygen off for those two days, my pulse ox would drop down in the eighties. So they wouldn't let me come home until my oxygen, until I could keep it up above 94 after, with taking 20 steps without having the O2 on. Wow. And um, I'm like, y'all, I got children at home. I'm like, I'm going to have to get oxygen ordered for at home or something. I can't just stay gone. And um, so they can't send some pulmonary pulmonologist up to uh, assess me the next morning. And after giving me steroids all night and shit, I could walk 20 steps down the hall and keep my pulse ox at 95. So they let me go home. But that scared the bejesus out of me. I'm like, oh, man, I didn't had two strokes and now I got a clot in my lung. What's next? <laughs> Well, but, you know, the 18th, because today Angela was like, the 18th is the anniversary of Roni. Oh, yeah. so she got a, Ooh, that's too big. Me, a, they didn't have like, she got these real pretty Christmas charms. Um, they're letters, but they didn't have like um, a D and an A and an um, a S for Simone. So, she, but they had three R's and they only had two T's. And she, we called him Roni. I called him Tyrone, but I mean, we call, I, hell, I called him <laughs> Buffalo Butt, too. <laughs> yeah. Because he was a big dude. Like, he looked like Fat Albert when we were younger. He was huge. And I called him <laughs> Buffalo Butt most of the time. So, <laughs> but she got us all three R's. And I got mine hanging on my little, my tree in my uh, nail room. Yeah. Right now it's got shamrocks and shit on it. I had hearts and stuff on it. Like, I just do you, you Do you have those season, you use, I mean, I'm sorry, you use, you keep a seasonal tree. Just this little one in my nail room, not the big Christmas tree. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I was going to do that this year. I, I meant to do it last year, but then, like, not, I'm sorry, this year. Last year, I was going to do that, but I did, I, it was like too much happened. And so, um, the year before, I attempted to do that. Like, it was Christmas time. We had the tree up. Everything was wonderful. And then I remember I had seen people doing that, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to do that, too. Like. Oh shoot. That's um, a lot. That's a lot. No, I know with. it is, dude. And but for me it was like at the time I was, we were at our, at our old apartment. I had to okay. like um abandon ship on that one because every single time like I struggled with Christmas with the cats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they would be up, up in my tree, tree girl. Yep. They'd be up <laughs> in the tree. 
Moses does that. I'm like, get your ass out of there. Up, I'm like, up inside the tree. And I'm like, oh, no, you didn't. Get your butt out of my tree. Like Lampoon's National Christmas Vac thing when they the yes. squirrel was up in the tree. <laughs> Girl, I was like, what the? Man, the first time it was like, um, we had a cat called, her name was Faya, which basically means ugly in Spanish. <laughs> mm. Poor kitty. <laughs> she was she was she was cute. She was all black, but she just was like she, she was just oh, real mangy. You, Eileen, honey, I try. I'm sorry, she, PJ. That was good. <laughs> she said, "Donna, you're so strong, Donna. I girl, it is. <laughs> it's from a lifetime of getting beat over the head with life. <laughs> I mean, you either learn to fight back or go down. So you said, yeah, fight back is ugly in Spanish, PJ." I'm sorry? My bad, baby. I said, you said Faya is ugly in Spanish? Faya is ugly in Spanish, yes. <laughs> I'm over here having Henri thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Faya. Like, so just so you know, when you tell somebody Faya, you just calling her ugly or him ugly. So, yes, or, or Faya is ugly. Faya is ugly. Faya is for boys. Faya Masculine. Faya is feminine, right? But, um, so, yes. I was like, where's Faya, man? She hasn't came out to eat or nothing. So we're all looking around for her like, Faya. So she was like, she was like a rescue type cat. She was a kitten. She was uh, where we lived in the apartment we lived in. It was overrun with cats. And they were like constantly being birthed in the laundry room and the apartment complex. I mean, it was like an ongoing issue. So uh, it was like every month there was a new litter coming out of the laundry room, you know? <laughs> like the new so, look out um, the laundry room. Oh, what did I do that? Dude, I totally got green and yellow together. Shit. Um, bling. Ah, it's stuck to me. Get off my thumb. Let me switch these two around. I forgot to put the bling. Uh oh. Right on this pinky. With this yeah, pinky. I know. After I realized, like, you know what? I need to add it to the other nails. I don't have crap on them, and there's still little manchas from stuff. So, anyhow, um, we're looking for her. We're looking for her. I can't find her anywhere. I was trying to panic. And then I was like, where did she go? Did somebody open the door? Y'all let her out? Because she's a stray. So she was, um, she's always been real, like, just a uh, scaredy cat. You know, scary cat. Mm -hmm. She's never, she never fully adjusted. She would, she was like, she still expected to get fed. And if you didn't, she'd make up an issue about it. But she did not like for you to pick her up. You know, she ran. But um, but if you sat there, she'll come up to you and lay with you. You know what I'm saying? One of those little girls. Like, mm -hmm. don't pick me up, don't touch me. But if you get, but if you sit chill there, I'll come sit with you. <laughs> right. It had to be on her terms. Right. Exactly. So anyhow, long story short, too late. No. Uh, we finally found her up in my Christmas tree. <laughs> She's up in there chilling. <laughs> I was like, get your butt down here right now. Should I was on the couch and the tree's like shaking around, shaking around. I'm like, what the fuck? And then here comes Moses flying out the side of it. I'm like, get the fuck out of there. What are you doing? I know they'd be like doing the most of them in them trees, messing with my with my um what are they call ornaments. I know mm -hmm. knock the little balls down and be chasing them all over the floor. Oh, then the, the low hanging branches, they start fighting with them and like tearing shit up. So <laughs> they stay my tree was like stiff and then by the by the time close to, like Christmas was almost over, the branches were like this, like just hanging. No. <laughs> Cause they were like they kept uh, attacking the branches and pulling at them. And they were making them fall. So man, I was so mad. Like, y'all get out of my tree and leave it alone. Fucking chat. Mm -hmm. I done got my stones are now frosted because I don't got matte coat on them, but oh well. I think they look pretty cute like that, honestly. <laughs> They're beautiful. So, yeah. Um, and then they all, I mean, they were just, I would just find them all up in that tree constantly. Like, okay, that's it. Because I wanted <laughs> to do, like, New Year's on the tree. I wanted to do, you know, the next, what's the next holiday? Uh, Valentine's. Valentine's. St. Patrick's. Easter. Blah, blah, blah. You know, all of I mean, all of them. I wanted to, to decorate my tree every season and have a seasonal tree. Like I said, I had been seeing people do them and I was like, that is so cool. I want to do that. But nope, I couldn't because the damn cats didn't let me have a normal life with my tree. <laughs> Valentine's Day, I had like 
little um, gold high heel shoes and silver crowns. I got gold and silver. Oh my gold God. Tiara oh, and pink hearts and red hearts and little um, clothes pins that have little red lips on it all over it. And then I, I haven't finished it for St. Patty's Day yet. I got to get some shit to go on there before we get to the day. And I know it's right around the corner. Um, yeah. I right so far, it's just got green, like Mardi Gras beads on it. And cool. um, a couple of little shamrocks that I oh, hot glue gun to little uh, clothes pins from the Dollar Tree. So That's I want to get some more true. little green thingies to go on there. My girl, my friend did a Mardi Gras tree. She has like a pencil tree in her hallway and she did a Mardi Gras tree. It was pretty cool because Mardi Gras is right around the same time as Valentine's. And she had just caught homeboy with that broad. So she didn't want to do a Valentine's Damn. Day or nothing. Yeah, so she did that Mardi Gras tree. But I think there's trouble in paradise. He's a narcissist. He's he's an ass. Oh, like me and him Lord. did not get along. He, first of all, homie, I know you're addicted to Percocet because I know to get down <laughs> and you ain't got nobody fooled there, Barbara. And like, girl, he kept trying to say, oh, it's GERD. I'm like, that is not fucking GERD. Your girl's a whole RN. I've been, I've worked in the nursing field around it since I was 16 freaking years old. You right. got your freezing but sweating you're in the shower out the shower face uh -oh. leaking your eyes are running your nose is running your blood uh -oh. pressure sky high you yeah. got diarrhea you're dead sleep for two days then up for five like that's not good bro you're in withdrawal because he never he worked but he never had any money he was always broke oh good lord Jesus. and he made 17 dollars an hour and worked full time like come on now you ain't pulling nobody. <laughs> he had no bills, dude. His daughter paid the phone bill, and he was staying with his mother for free. And when he would go in withdrawal, he would hide at Angela's. And I'm like, honey, oh, he's Lord. hiding in your house because he's in withdrawal, and his family's going to call him on his bullshit. Yeah. What do you think, PJ? I'm done. Oh, dang it. Oh, nice. Let me see. Hold on. I got to get, get my phone closer. Look at it. Oh, that's oh! I love those flowers. That is so beautiful. I like those little ones that cup upward. The little with the gold rims on them. Oh yeah. And this I one, I just happened to have a jelly polish that was that color green because it had a clear center. It didn't match. That is so cool. Yes, I'm. I'm so. I love, I, love, I love the way you were able to um, pull in the. Um, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. Pull in get the stripes, both the color. Mm -hmm. And the white together really makes them pop. Yeah. That's the what lines. I'm sitting there looking at. Definitely. Like the, the plain, just the color just looked like it was lacking something. I'm like, add a little white. Bring it out. It's springtime. We need spring flowers. I don't know. You know what? Let me just do a little heart. Or a little flower. My pinky got crowded, but it worked. I had to do it different. I had to put the flowers all the way down the line because I ran out of real estate. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Yeah. Miss Marie, you back. Thank you, Carrie Walls. Hello, Thank Carrie. You. I'm so sorry. I would see you come in, girl. Thank you so very much. Oh, uh, Miss Marie's not at work. But Thank you, Miss Marie. Thank you, Eileen. Hey, Marie. A1 from day one. Mm-hmm. And you know, um, while well, I'm thinking about it before I forget again, mm -hmm. Eileen, it's not even about being strong. It's just when you've been dealt a crazy hand, you just right. learn how to bully your way through it because it's either that or the world eats you alive. Right. And like my stalker, he's like, oh, I'll beat you into submission. I said, bitch, you have to kill me first. Thank you. I, I bet you don't. It's me or you, bro, and it ain't fixing to be me. So let's do this. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Let me get the blue one. And, nah. Thank you. It was very, like, so my whole family lives in West Virginia, my whole blood family. Right. My parents moved up here because my dad got the final layoff. Thank you, Marie. So he could be yeah. a truck driver. And they just oh. up and decide they're moving back to, they moved up here when I was 11. They just up and moved back to West Virginia when I'm almost 18. Uh -huh. 
I had no interest in going down there. I, at that time, I had my own apartment. I had a kid already. I grew yeah. up here. Moving up in the sticks was not for me. <laughs> my sister was 16. She had 15, 14, 15. She had no choice. But, yeah. And, but at that point, I was just kind of cut off, out of sight, out of mind. I was a collect call once for 10 minutes every two weeks. Oh, okay. So it was figure it out or get chewed up and spit out. Thank you, Eileen. I love these. I'm, I'm loving these pastel colors. Thank you. The whole springy vibes. Oh, I decided DJ, to put I a, love those. I'm going to put a bow on my thumb. That way it's not too close to my other bow. So it won't look too... Um, Trying to pull this down so I can see what you got going to on. To gender reveal. I love those neon stones. I do too. I'm torn, dude. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think because I really want to leave these matte. I've already, I already, uh, I did top coat, shiny top coat on these and I was going to do it on these three, but I wanted to leave these matte because I love the way they look. You, you think I would top coat these because to see what's inside of them, but I just love the way they look like that. Let me see that middle finger. Just... Oh, you already did those two shiny? Yeah, do the ring finger shiny and leave I your did. thumb I, and pinky matte. Because I had done this one shiny, but I was these were all supposed to be matte, all of them. But I used the top coat on this to lay these, to hold these down instead of the matte, like, without thinking I did it. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, fuck it, man. I'm just going to do the rest of them. So I was just going to do them all sh top shiny. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm really struggling with that because I really, I'm just, I don't know. I like the way they look. I say that. leave the the thumb and the pinky matte. All right. I gotta wipe the oil off my nail. I got it carried away. It's not just on my cuticle; it's all over my fingernail. <laughs> I'm going to want to post a picture. So. Mm -hmm. I'm digging these. I'm digging these. I'm kind of glad I ain't got to clean tomorrow and jack my fingernails up. <laughs> that, that's why I didn't take these little, these are about, had it, but I didn't take them off because I didn't want to put those uh, butterfly ones over on this hand and then do nails and screw them up. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, I'll just go ahead and leave these on because my friend was like, you going to change them? I'm like, yeah, but not till after we go live because I'll get acrylic on them and I don't want to jack the other ones up. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. These in here. Real quick. You know what? I need to go over it with the um. Uh, this one's so like I feel like it's so plain, and I don't know what to do with it. I just want to just I'm just gonna have to leave it. Which one? Like it's not. It has the bow. It's not plain, but like when you look at the other ones, I, I just don't want to go overboard. It's fine. It's fine. You know, it's fine. I'm I'm cool. That's it. I'm good. Get over it, PJ. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> let go and let God, PJ. Let I know me let being let me, go. I would end up bringing it the hell out. But. I know, but I sat there too long just like contemplating. And then I was still trying to figure out what I was going to do with the other ones. And then by the time I figured it out, it was really like, okay, forget it. Now what am I going to do with this one? Nothing. Just leave it alone, PJ. Leave it alone. I love these. Robin says, beautiful PJ. Eileen, I love this entire live. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love thank that you. bow. Nails on MJ said, PJ. Juice Fruit said, it's perfect. Thank you so much, Marie MJ. Mar 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 MJ. How about we just call you all your names? <laughs> all at one time. We just write them all together. Because that was enough. Remember, it was like J. Joe? It's yeah. me, J. Joe. Where's she yeah. been? That's MJ. That's nails on MJ. Is J. Joe? Yes. Uh huh. Right, MJ. Marie? So, weren't you J. Joe? No. I, I could have swore that she. It's me, J. Joe. Is nails on MJ? Is Marie? Am I right or am I wrong? Uh, I'm lost in the wind at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't hard to get me lost, y'all. I got three quarters uh, of brain I, in my head now. Come on, somebody break it down. <laughs> Oops, I just hit the back of the stupid dryer. I'm a few oh, sandwiches shy of a picnic. Wants, 
Yeah, see, it is yeah, it right. That's you, right? That's all. That's her. Yeah, that's her. Eileen said, "J Joe, M J Marie." Yeah, she said, "Just call me one of them." Yeah, J Joe, M J Marie. That's her. Yep. Yeah, I said, "I'm a few sandwiches shy of a picnic." Y'all got to keep me up to speed now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a few, uh, hold on, let's see. Oh, okay. What's this? Thumb? Ah, I'm throwing butterflies everywhere. I got to oh. find a home for these in my bling box, but not tonight. Oh, crap. Um, y'all give me a minute. I got to go back to, let me see. Hold on. Give me a second. How can I figure this out? Um, where are we at right now? We're at one. Well, no wonder I've been lost in the wind the whole time because I'm like where is the world is J. Joe? But I knew it was Marie and no, Right. But I didn't know that that was but that J. Joe. Was, well, I found out I found that out semi recently. Hold on, I'm trying to I need to go back in this live. Oh, I can't go back in the live. Um why not? Where'd you go? No, I'm trying to go back to eleven, but then it's not gonna tell me Hold on. Okay, hold on. How can I figure this out? Okay. So it's twelve thirty right now. So an hour back would be 11.30, right? Yep. It's 1.30 for us. Well, for me. I think, I don't know, who else is 1.30 for? All right, where's my bag for my little flares? There it is. All right, let's see here. It says, oops. Um... Oh, yeah, 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 I keep messing it up. It's one thirty for you too, Robin? Yep, girlfriend, me and you up burning the midnight at all. <laughs> these little no, flowers I are so cute. It. I'm so glad I ordered these. I was trying to find... Um, Eileen, yes, I love all nails, all nails. All nails da, 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 da. Hey, there he is. Bye. Cutie. So the kitty was mixed with Tabby Cat. Oh, Tabby Cat. No, that wasn't that, that wasn't that time though. No, he wasn't a Tabby. Or well, I guess he was, yes. I'm sorry, you're right. The dad was a Tabby and um the mom was um I went back to the old comments. The dad was a Tabby, but aren't yeah, and the mom was a uh, he was a ginger, tabby ginger, and the mom was I can't remember which mom which one was her mom. Oh, the mom was like um, God, what was she? <laughs> she was just like a regular, you know, those regular yeah. tabby also, I guess. Yeah, but just black and gray. I can't find it. I'll look for it later. I want to see what she was talking about. I'm confused about that, but that's okay. About what? Um, I don't know what happened sometime back. I guess Latina left me a message that I never read. <laughs> I, said, I figured um, she gave up and went to bed on us too. <laughs> yeah, what in the world is this? What page is this? Oh. <laughs> For, um, uh, what was Eileen's message? I don't know. I think I got okay. lids on everything. Okay, so I'm gonna have to let me see where's my where's my mat? I'm gonna just throw it on top of here real quick to, to cover up the shiny glue. You know what? I really don't have to, dude. That's okay. It's it's yeah. It's already yeah, it's a night. So we're done. <laughs> I love long stiletto like that. What? It's like my favorite shape. Girl, I was gonna do all them these uh coffinettos. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love how those look with that flat top tip, but oh, they aren't they cute? I, I and I didn't realize how that these were deep sea curve until I was already knee deep in it. So, oof, I'm like, well, I guess I could have, but I like a set that has like a square set with a stiletto pointer and pinky. The the what you call it? The and it's not that I can't. I mean, usually when I'm doing practice sets like on my mannequin hand, I use my old my 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 uh nail tips that are c curve because i'm not going to use them on anybody you know what i'm saying I'm trying to figure out how i'm going to take this picture probably like that I know, but are we supposed to do this little doing a screenshot this or yep let me get my fingers on the buttons um i can't see your pinky 
Hang on, hang on. I know, hold on. Let me, um... Crap. Hold on. And I will make us a thumbnail. Good Lord. I'm just knocking everything off my table. Uh -uh. Ooh, Robin, baby, I feel you, honey. I gotta get up at 5.15. <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing but here, torturing ourselves like this. I gotta take Sean to work at 6. I come back, I wake Donovan up. He just works five minutes down around the, down the road and around the corner. Wake Donovan up at 6.10, and then I wake Michi up at 7.10. Donovan gets on the bus to go across town to the junior high, because, of course, the south side the only side town don't got a freaking junior high, but, you know. And Michi goes to the high school... And then I'll get dressed and go over to my friend's house at 9.15 and be there till 2.15 and then leave and pick Sean up and get back to the house and make some dinner for everybody. <laughs> my goodness. That's my nah. daily routine, girls. Nah, you ain't stuff, busy um, at all, girl. You got Tuesday I clean. What Monday today I just had to go to the doctor. I didn't have to do any any kind of work. Wednesday I do all that and I go to the vampire clinic for two hours. Then I try to come back and get a video or something done. Thursday right. is nothing. And Friday I go to the vampire clinic. Hang on. Uh, okay, because I need light. I have no... 12.30 she gets off at 8 a.m. God bless you, honey. I could never do no night shift. I always felt like I had a flu. I tried. It ain't work. All right, there you go. Let me How come you can ready. see yours and I can't see? I can't see my... You can go like this and see your thumb and I can't. There we go. There you go. All right, you ready? Yes. Now, wait, push your middle finger down or your ring finger up. There you go. So they, they're either even. Push your pinky down. Dude, it's... Ah. <laughs> I have crooked fingers. It's hard to do. It is. How are you saying so still? Here we are. You say it's stupor... I don't even know why I didn't rest my elbow on the table. Like I was holding it up in the air, shaking. I should have just went like this no. and just. Did I get it? I think I got it. I've learned how to control this glitchy hand because like it'll hop around a lot. So I'm like, once I got it, you see how tight my fist is? <laughs> I no, no. I can tell in all your pictures. I always like, I, like, as a matter of fact, earlier today, I was like all to myself. I'm, I'm in the room with myself and I'm like looking at your video. I'm like, man, Donna be holding her fingers down for real. Cause you know, hey, you can see the tension here, and I'm like, she must. That's how she does it. She pull, push her fingers down for real, like. Mm, yeah, I, I have to hold it tight. Cause if I don't, like, what was I was doing something earlier, and this finger just kept going. I'm like, stop it. I know. And then look at when I this, like, even this one, my fingers hide underneath each other. My pinkies, they I have to like, cause they hide. And look at that. See how it hides under my hand. Mm -hmm. that's why I stopped doing my left hand on, on press-ons and I just use my right I mean I'm sorry I stopped putting my press-ons on my right hand because I can't get my fingers to stay straight and this one my middle finger is really crooked bad like this but like this it's not so I'm okay like this now, Robin, once I, I do like this you can see to go this. pee and then get up at 5 15 I usually wake mm -hmm. up around three Sean has this stupid 4.30 alarm set for fucking nothing. It drives me fucking what crazy. What in the I world? I'm going to throw his phone out the goddamn window. <laughs> Robin says she got to get up at 7. And she, uh, I yes. said I get up at 5.15. And she said I get up at that time to go pee. I get up at 3 to go pee. But he's got this stupid alarm set for 4.30. For what reason? I don't know. Because he doesn't get up. It wakes <laughs> me the fuck up. And then I can't go back to sleep. <laughs> I told myself, I'm going to throw that bitch out the window. You ain't going to have no motherfucking phone. I don't know why they why do why do they do that because my son does that he starts setting alarms like at four in the morning five in the morning my daughter too my ten year old and they don't get up until like eight or nine like what are you doing I'm like Sometimes you're not you're up. just gonna roll over and snore and now I'm just up for my fucking health yeah don't mm -mm. nope I'm like do it again turn it on again watch what happens <laughs> watch it go <laughs> flying out the window <laughs> okay are you juiced up I love how they look yeah there you go. Those are pretty. I should have done it like that with the points in the hand. <laughs> Stab. I know one time somebody, Julie was talking about this. She was like, don't nobody want to see your arthritis hands. That is not how you take a nail picture. <laughs> <laughs> so I always try to put my thumb up here. Because you know what happens every time. If I do a short, uh huh, 
Yeah, convinces him that he can sleep longer. Yeah, he's going to convince him that I'm going to knock his ass out. He's going to sleep longer. <laughs> That's true. That's true, Eileen. <laughs> um, if I'm doing a short and I go from this and then like put the thumb in it, it will put the thumb as the thumbnail for the short. It drives me insane. So I've been trying Just to- Just change the thumbnail, girl. Change the thumbnail. It won't let me every time I- for a short. Yeah, for the me. short, before you post, look at the picture. Before you post the short- when you're doing your when you're doing your your title or whatever, look at the picture on the top left hand square. There's a pencil. Touch that pencil, and it'll let you slide it and stop wherever you want your picture to be. Oh, I didn't know that on the short. I knew I could on the video. Yeah, on the Robin short too, you can do that. <laughs> you sure can. There's a pencil right in the top left hand corner. I think it's All left right. right. I guess we should let Jens go so some All right. people get a little bit of sleep. Thank you for going live with me, PJ. Oh, anytime, dear, anytime. And um, <laughs> I'm going to hit some folks up. Eileen, if you want, babe, we could do next Sunday. Yeah, Eileen, go. We got to, we want to get to know you guys. You want to hear some voices and know what you sound like. Come on now. Girl. But I'll hit you up. And thank Don't you all for riding. Like, girl. Y'all are some yeah. real ones. You're still here in the middle of the mother effing night with our crazy ass. <laughs> Good night, my beautiful <laughs> Robbie Rob. PJ, I'll Robbie. hit you up sometime tomorrow, if not the next day, because I'm pretty tired when I come back from being with old girl. <laughs> I know. It's okay. I'll be here. I'll talk important. to you later. Bye, y'all. Love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye, Robin. Bye, MJ. Bye, Eileen. Beautiful Robin. Who else is here? That's it right now, right? 